Welcome everybody to MSQ stream. Oh, is that what we're here to do today? Uh, I thought yeah, we were yeah. starting. I thought we were starting professions. Yeah, we're we're gonna go do crafting. Gonna go do some Namatsu. You know, we, we got we got stuff to do. We gotta yeah, get my alchemy up. Listen, I, I don't think I'm gonna get the full Shadowbringers experience unless I max out the Namatsu tribe. It's okay? true. Uh, I'm very sorry, everybody. I did not mean to deceive you like this, but we got you. Nope. It's just a profession stream today. We're just gonna sit outside the free company house have everybody give us everything for crafting that we possibly need. <laughs> That's our master plan. We're giving yep. in. Yep. I, you know, I logged in. I was checking our dashboard this weekend, and I thought, you know, we have too many subscribers. What can we do to get that number down? And I thought to myself, you know what, Kyle? We should tell everybody we're going back to MSQ and then pull the rug out from under them. Need some Doman restoration up in here. Oh, yeah. We must restore the Doma. We must. Ain't fair to oh. him after all he's done. After all Happy he's Monday. done. Happy MSQ Monday, Kyle. Thank you. Thank you. We got we got 20 seconds left in the sweet song. Let's go ahead and crank it. I can't hear it, so it just means nothing to me. It's just awkward sounds on my head. Yeah. Welcome everybody. Welcome. Welcome everybody. To the, the crystal thing, <laughs> the, 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 it's the crystarium. The crystarium. We're you're gonna get this today. The crystarium. You're gonna get this. You're gonna get this. I I'm I'm gonna be very kind to you today, but I promise I am going to ream you every time you say crystarium wrong. Uh, okay. It's gonna be it's gonna be the one thing today. Uh, I, I didn't just like. I didn't realize. I didn't know. I didn't know you I'm had just such a vested interest. I'm just telling you now. I'm just telling you now. I'm going to be that live YouTube comment in real time going, did you know it's the Kisterium? That's what I'm going to do. That's fine. That's, That's fine. what I'm going to do. Don't take it too seriously. Or I'll keep calling the Crystal Nasium <laughs> where I do my crystal <laughs> workouts. I would, wouldn't would have it any other way. That's how you should behave. Uh, it's good to see you all here today. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, first, let's welcome our fabulous mod team keeping us safe today. Appreciate y'all yes. being here. Do your part today and thank Ahmad, because I've already seen multiple people get timed out or have mm -hmm. their stuff redacted. Mm -hmm. uh, so the spoilers are already flowing today. Uh, don't spoil. Nope, do not spoil. Just, just don't do it. Be cool. Just don't. It's cool. it's very it's very simple. And if you're thinking to yourself, well, what constitutes a spoiler? Um, if that thought entered your head when you're about to type something, it's probably a spoiler. Yeah, uh, it's probably a spoiler. Let's just keep it safe. You know, keep it safe. Keep it on the on the safe side. You have your fun, uh, but you know, it's just uh, no spoilers. Yeah, it's no yeah. spoilers. Yeah, and and so I big do... thanks to our big thanks to our mods and big thanks to uh, John as well. Uh, John working in the background, our, our secret companion in the background, helping us guide us through, making sure we're ready, making sure we have good stop and start points. But and I'm gonna mute myself to Garrett. But some of y'all need to calm down Why? with, with the, because it's spoilers. Because I got I got a reprimand. I got a reprimand, Garrett. I'll be right with you. You you got I got a, I, I got a reprimand. Wait, hold on. No, I need, now I need to know why you're muting. No, well, because because I'm reprimanding spoilers. Spoiled? I'm welcome. I'm Did... reprimanding spoilers. I, I don't understand why I can't hear you reprimand spoilers because if I unless you yourself got well, spoiled. Because I would say spoilers and then you'd know the things that I know, so I don't want you to know. Because so you're you're going strong. Okay. Could you clarify to me that you have been spoiled on something we're gonna see today? Yes, I have. Okay, that okay. that's what I was curious about. Uh, that sucks. Okay. All right. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. I'm, I'm, I'm here. I'm talking to chat. 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 Y'all think you're real cute sometimes. Y'all think you're real cute with your red pill, blue pill thing. I get it. Like, I, I get it. But you know what? Those characters wear those colors. And some of you use the names on me. So be careful. Garrett hasn't been spoiled here. So don't, don't go into red, blue pill, blue pill, red, blue pill things. Don't go there. Let Garrett enjoy the organic conversation that's about to happen. Let him enjoy it. All right? Let's be cool. Let's be cool. All right. Let's get let's get back. Let's get Gary back here. All right. We're all good. We're all good. I turned off my Twitter was, DMs. These were all uh these were all Discord DMs, sadly, so. Was this all Oh, this was Wait, recently? Yeah, yeah, no, over the weekend, lots of people uh, you know. They're they're excited. People have heavy preferences about what we're doing today, so, you know. You know, we'll we'll get oh. there. We'll get there. Okay, I will block you. Like straight up. Like zero tolerance. I will block you. Yeah. Do not send me that stuff. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah. That ain't. It's not. That's not cool. That's not cool. Yeah. But, but I don't. I don't know what's gonna happen today. I just know the framework of what's gonna happen today. So there'll still be organic moments. You know. I don't know like visually what's going down. Okay. So. Okay. So everyone be kind to Garrett. Everyone be good to Garrett. I'm happy to hear Garrett. Well, I- yeah, I would listen, dude. I would, I would add on to that by spoiling House of the Dragon last night, but I literally couldn't see what was happening, so I couldn't spoil it for you if I wanted to. Did okay. I, I'm not it's sure. The darkest bad night filter I've ever seen oh, used. Sweet. In in video, it was it was horrible. Sweet. It was horrible. Uh, yeah. Kind I watched- of a good episode mm-hmm. uh, once I could see what was happening, which was only about half the episode, but it was I- half of a really good episode. I watched Spy X Family, had a wonderful time. I've been watching uh, Parallel World Pharmacy, super cute we, show. Oh, oh, yeah. oh. We, we started a new anime last night. What's it called? Uh, 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 what's it called? Uh, it's called Housing Complex C. Uh, just debuted, had its first episode on Adult Swim over the weekend, but you can watch it the next day on HBO Max, which is how we watched it. Hmm, I've never heard of it. It's creepy. I like it. Cool. I like it. It's it's creepy and weird, uh, but has a lot of heart. Nice. I, I, the first episode sold me. I think I'll be finishing uh, this thing. I, which this is for if you're new to the stream, this is a big deal. I, 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 it takes a lot to make me give a crap about anime. Um, I'm very picky. I'm very very picky. Um, anywho, uh, dude, we had a lot of thank yous to the yeah, shop. Yeah, we got a lot of thank yous. Let's get the day started. Yeah, drummer. Remember for two months saying throw wide the diagram. If you don't know what that means, you should have watched the stream <laughs> on Thursday night. It was a good time. Uh, Super Sideswiper, no. Neither of us have watched Gundam Witch of Mercury's first proper episode yet. No, no. No. I no, have I seen three Gundam series. I really like them. I've tried many others that I haven't liked. So I'm not deep in the well of, of Gundam watching. Uh, Fish Mob, welcome to the Gearbox. Welcome, Fish Mob. Thank you for joining our membership. Okay, thank you for the super chat. Said only been a lurker since I found your channel two months ago. I've only finished five oh a week ago, so excited for the stream. I've been binge watching all your other Final Fantasy fourteen stuff in the meanwhile. Well, hell yeah, good thanks, idea. Kay. That's a good idea. While you wait, and I'm just now retroactively reading your message in the voice of Tommy Lee Jones. Men in Black. Okay, that's what the joke was. Kyle's. I can see your gears turn. Okay. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yep. 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 Kamor, thanks for being a member for two months. I'm sure you'll hear it many times in the future, but BGM 100 is the minimum for this expansion. Enjoy bringing those shadows. I have yet to hear anyone tell us to turn the music down. No. Yeah. I've had to know what that's up to. Well, we've done it ourselves because in particular cutscenes at the end of Stormblood, those trumpets were going too hard. Yes. Couldn't hear a damn thing. Except trumpets. Yes. Anastasia, thank you for joining the Gearbox. Welcome, Welcome. to your, your membership. We appreciate it. Yuki, celebrating two months by just giving us a three, two, one, go. Well, we're going. We're going. The One Gunslinger, thanks for the super chat. Good day. Here is some spending money for your day trip. Don't forget sunscreen and to stay hydrated. Oh, yeah, that's true. We get to have daylight streams now. I am um, mildly sunburnt because I spent about an hour on my own roof yesterday. It's a mess up there, Kyle. I'm not done yet. Sure. It's bad. Hi, if you're just tuning in for the first time, I live in Florida and a hurricane just hit us and it sucked. Uh, dude, um, by the way, if I ride the mute button today, my allergies are off the charts from Makes how much sense. shit was just blown out of trees yeah. around here. I, I believe it. Well medicated today. But if it starts wearing off, uh, I, I, you might be, be up to you. Mama Bug celebrating three months saying going to miss most of the live stream due to work but am here for every moment until the end walker let's go well we hope to uh entertain you when you can sneak us into your work day join us later hello from later (laughs) in later (laughs) rachel thanks for joining up joining the gearbox we appreciate your membership joshua stingle just gifted five memberships so if joshua gifted you a membership make sure you send a thank you joshua's way Vernacular Ham just wants to say riding home. Riding home. Uh, someone told yeah. me to check out the lyrics before our next video. And yeah, those, those lyrics, <laughs> they made no sense. <laughs> <laughs> Every time someone tells me to check out the lyrics to music for Final Fantasy 14, it is 100% like when your friend in high school m- m- sat and watched you listen to something you didn't like even yeah. remotely as much as they did. 
I'm just like, oh, that's their lyrics. I like yeah. to fly. I'm eating carrots under the sky. And you're just like, okay, you do that. What? You do that, dude. What? And the lady comes in. Yeah. Yeah, riding home. Is, are those the, are those the I think that, that's lyrics? why people jump on the riding home because they know the riding home part. You know, everyone's kind of mumbling through the rest of the national anthem. But when you get to the good part, everybody joins in. <laughs> All right, then. All right, then. Hold your applesauce until the end. Uh, that's what I have to say to that. Uh, Yashana, thanks for the super chat. Says, been following your adventure since the start and have enjoyed every second. Your journey is far from over and I cannot wait to watch the rest. Yes. That is true. We are, we are told by a few people uh, uh, that feel the need to remind us how far we are from the end. Almost like they want us to go I'm faster. I'm okay with that, you know? We're going as fast as we can. We're yeah. going as fast as we can. Yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy. It's a good pace. Yeah. Yeah. But thank you for that, Yashana. City Thunder, thanks for the super chat. After a cumulative 74 days of gameplay, I have beaten Endwalker. And let me tell you, Ooh. this is the greatest story ever told. I was tearing up, and I am a very aloof person. Mmm. High praise. That's an important note to have. Yeah. That's an important note to have. Yeah. I too aloof. I, every, every once in a while, I'm like, how's Garrett not... I get a message that's like, how's Garrett not cried yet? And I'm like, I don't... It takes a lot. Yeah. It's, is it like a, a handful of Pixar movies that have made me cry? Uh, like the end of Fast 7, because Paul Walker tribute really got to me. Uh, and then like real life things. Like it's very rare that fiction makes me cry. It's very rare. So we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Calzone, thank you for the super chat. MSU Quest, let's go. We will. We will. As soon as we finish dishing out thanks. We shall. Here in our, in our, uh, our, our now, what you call it, traditional yes. start of stream Absolutely. vamp? Absolutely. Oh, thank you, Sid. Thank you for the lovely armor. Uh, let's see, getting back into it. Zora Chibi celebrating two months, saying, I've been following since you started your journey with us. Looking forward to you guys experiencing Shadowbringers. We have uh, a lot of friends who, uh, person like even personal friends who are all about us starting this. Uh, one That's of which true. sitting over there at Blizzard Entertainment, uh, very impatient with us yeah. starting Shadowbringers. We're you know underway you today. You know who you are. I hope you know I'm not playing Wrath right now. That's <laughs> <laughs> it's all for you. It's all for you. Actually, I'm very excited about this. Uh, Rocket celebrating two months saying riding home indeed. Enjoy the MSQ boys. I hope you enjoy it as much as I did. We'll see. I have a feeling I like it. I like Stormblood for crying out loud. I'm sure I'll like this. I'm sure I'm, I'll like this. I'm not worried about Stormblood. I'm worried about Endwalker. That's where all my worries are. Mm. I'm not worried about like cool uh, whatever other world journeys. It's about how you end it. That's the whole, that's the whole trouble today. <laughs> Oh my God, I'm seeing so many very generous super chats come in. We're we're trying to thank you all in order as best we can. Thank you so much, everybody. Lost Mythic sent in a generous super chat saying, "If we're throwing wide the gates, aren't we doing a golden saucer stream or a gold saucer stream?" They do call those gates, which is also an abbreviation for uh, you know some other like active time event thing. I'm now missing a gate on my on an actual fence that was thrown so wide thanks to Hurricane Ian. Our fence is jacked up. Yeah. Uh, I didn't realize until this weekend when I removed a lot of debris. Our, mm. our fence is going to need some serious fixing. It's, mm. I'm not looking forward to it. Garen, thank you for joining up. Welcome to the Gearbox. Enjoy your perks. We've got some new emotes in there, by the way, everybody. If you haven't yeah. seen the, uh, the the Val and Tuna emotes or the Garrett and Kyle emotes, they are in there for your peak and pleasure. Yeah. Bloodsy, Von Snugglegore. First of all, off, your name is amazing. Secondly, thank you for gifting five memberships. Make sure you send a thanks, Bloodsy Way, if you got one of those uh, those free memberships. Kids go. Thanks for the super chat. Dome and restoration limited to one donation a week. Well, Kyle, we need to go do that right now instead of MSQing. I've, I've done it quite a bit recently. I'm getting there. I've had like two <laughs> cutscenes of improvement. I think I've made a rice cookery or something. <laughs> Uh, I haven't done it at all. Sorcha Silver Willow. Thank you for the super chat. The long way to Shadowbringer started. Have fun. Enjoy your time. And, well, you'll understand soon enough. Sally. Updated name, finally. Nice. Hell yeah. Well, thank you. Jeff H. Thanks for the super chat. Roll quest. What is a culinarian's favorite quest? The roll quest. Yes. Still making this everyone's problem. Roll quest. I get I've it. Got it here. Yep. Yep. Ooh. yep. Are they Hawaiian? Yep. King's Hawaiian rolls? I would be down for that. Jack Wolf, thank you for the super chat. Jokes on you guys. A lot of us would be down to see you two goofballs level crafting or grind PvP or do <laughs> tribe quests or clown around with Blue Mage. 
a day will come where we yeah. do all of those. There will be. There will be a time. I'm, I'm fairly averse to PvP, but, you know, even I, even I, you know, can get around to things. Palea, thank you for the extremely generous super chat, simply stating, happy MSQ day. Thank you. Uh, thank you for your support. Yeah, we really appreciate, appreciate it. it. Gabriel sent in a super chat, so uh, said, so between you guys, who brings shadows, who brings light? Oh, I definitely am the shadow bringer. Yeah, oh, look, uh, look we I'm even a... did it in our outfits. We didn't plan this, but yeah, nice job no. putting on the cyan outfit. Well this. done. Yeah, yeah, I'm a big old grump. Yeah. 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 Well done, well done. Go us. Especially lately with everything going on. I've, 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 dropped, I've not been well rested. Uh, my allergies are uh, in full force, and I've had to fix a lot of things. So, yeah. Yeah. Bahamut, thank you for the generous super chat. You joke about being given everything for crafting, but I could give you each a full craft package for all crafter jobs from 1 through 80 plus equipment for the level brackets with macros and instructions. Costs about 2.5 mil total. Dear God, Bahamut. You just wanted to flex your Omni craft. That, that's a big. You? That's a big flex. I'm <laughs> dick, you know, someday you just wanted to flex. This someday. is like showing up. It, it, it's the it's the Final Fantasy equivalent of like showing up in like a McLaren or Ferrari, right? Just uh, just flexing how much gill you you're you're sitting on. Well, could all, it's like an infomercial where you have all the ingredients already in little bowls, or you're cooking with mm, toddlers. That could also that's uh, it's uh, sure. I I have no experience cooking with toddlers, but. I imagine you do. They eat all the brown sugar is what they do. Hmm. I liked, you know, raw raw cookie dough and still do. That was my jam. I was not above raw cake batter, though, which my mom always thought was weird. And I was like, oh, it was sweet and delicious. Who cares? It's great. It's great. Bert, thanks for the super chat, welcoming us to Shadowbringers and selling us to enjoy and ride home. Ride home. But we are we are home, and we're here to ride through Shadowbringers. That's what we're doing. Yeah, I, I haven't really analyzed the you know implications of where are we riding home back home, or are we making this yep. place a new home, or you yep. know, home is where the heart is. Mm. I want to give a shout out to just chat in general. I haven't seen any redacted messages lately. Yeah. Um, thank you for great. behaving, everybody. And also, I haven't seen a redacted super chat yet either. So thank you, everybody, for behaving. Das, thanks for the super chat saying happy Monday. I'm excited for redacted. redacted. Good to see you, I've never seen I've never seen that glitch text before. That's cool. Oh yeah, you can do uh, generators. That's how I do tiny text on Twitter sometimes when I handle my uh, Twitter jokes. Go to yeah, Twitter usually I'm generator. involved in those tiny texts somehow. Mm. Usually a, a bad name, a bad like screenshot of my face while you're editing. It's true. I do like that. Sir Johnson, thank you for the generous super chat. Said, "Welcome to my favorite expansion, guys. I am new game plusing with you for this expansion. Nice. I hope you guys don't mind. Hell yeah, come that along." Fun. Come along and ride on a, a fantastic voyage. I didn't mean to go that way, but right apparently home. that's where I ended up. Callie, thanks for being a member for two months, saying using my message from my gift sub to thank the mods for all their work. Yes. Nice. Like I said at the start of the stream, do your part. Thank a mod. If you see a mod, thank them. Even if they redact something you said that you didn't think was a spoiler, you should say, th thank you, mod. <laughs> there is also in the description of this channel you can see a link to the discord go in there there is a spoiler section you can talk about us we'll never see it we have it muted enjoy gossip yes whatever we have a dedicated predict. channel for it dedicated channel in our discord so that you can talk in real time about anything spoilery you want to it's there for your spoiling pleasure but be super nice to the mods in there because we don't see it so we can't ban you or if you're being awful so be super yes. nice <laughs> to the mods in there because they're the ones who have to deal with you, not us. <laughs> Swordbreaker, thanks for the super chat. Don't tell anyone, but Shadowbringers is actually about giving everybody funny shaped wide rimmed hats. Arianje in a sombrero. I would, would like help. to see that. It would help. It's very sunny out. What, would it? What, I, oh, you know what? That uh, would help. Yeah. I had to bust out my straw farmer hat this weekend. Dude, the sun was just brutal. I'm sure. I was up on the roof yesterday. Kujar, thanks for the super chat. Thank you, YouTube, for the recommendation, but I didn't get a notification. Changed my alerts to all. Remember, click the bell button, everybody. Mm. Mm, good, good point. Good point. Overall, very happy with discoverability on YouTube, but you know. There's always ring, ring the bell. Ring the bell. Joey, thanks for becoming a member. Welcome to the gearbox. I expect to see you <laughs> abusing emojis today. Kizko, thanks for another super chat. Said so just ban spoilers, uh, spoiler users off the Discord server. Uh, you know, if it comes to that, if it comes to that, we shall. Hopefully it won't. It won't come to that because everyone here is great and behaving themselves. 
Yes. 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 Dino, thanks for the super chat. Be cool, chat, or else. Have fun, guys. Thank you, Dino. <laughs> I'm glad that you paid for that threat. Uh, Leaf Stranger, thank you for being a member for five months. Said Ocean Fishing Stream. More seriously, enjoy MSQ. We shall. Leave. I've heard thanks good things. Well wishes. Heard good things about the ocean fishing. Mmm. I thought that you would like in real life. Oh, yeah. We yeah. should do that. <laughs> uh, in real I, life, we should just book a chart. Oh, you get motion sick. I, I'd be so medicated. Uh, I'd be asleep. I'm sorry. I forgot. I forgot that you get motion sick. Monkey, thank you for the super chat. Have you checked out like chorus recoil? No. I have not. No. I haven't no. heard this one. Remind me uh, to Google that when on a, on a non MSQ stream. <laughs> uh, genre is listed as girls with guns. Of course. Honk. Thanks for becoming a member. Welcome to the Gearbox. And then we got multiple members celebrating their time with us. Gustavo celebrating four months saying Shadowbringer's time with a shocked dragon emoji. Nice. Still need to one commission of my a custom one of those. Yeah. MMO Richard, thanks for being a member for four months. The music for the expansion is some of the best in the game, at least until Endwalker. Mm -hmm. We'll be the judges of that. Mm -hmm. However, thank you for sharing your take with us. Tear, thanks for the super chat. Have fun today and bring that shadow. Shall. Appreciate it. Micah Boy Super Chatted Shadowbringers is filmed in front of a live studio, live audience. studio audience. It, I mean, kind of true. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they're not in the studio. We well, don't have a live audience. Track. Yeah. 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 I was having to explain my switch to YouTube to a friend we gave shelter to over the weekend because they were displaced after the hurricane and we hadn't, hadn't seen them in a while. They were like, how are the podcast going? I'm like, most mostly they aren't <laughs> it's a new <laughs> era they aren't anymore the youtube is doing too well and commanding too much of my time uh snow bites thanks for becoming a member welcome to the gearbox enjoy what? your snow emojis bites. and your your custom chat channels in our discord winkle celebrating two months saying it's good being manager don't tell the subordinates i'm here <laughs> okay <laughs> very well why wouldn't they know your manager well, like an undercover boss, you know? Kind of, ah, yeah, see okay. the real work environment. All I can think of now is uh, uh, the, the, that skit from I Think You Should Leave where uh, he's done up like an old guy a la jackass, but the makeup's really bad, and that's like the whole joke. And he just gets more depressed as the skit goes on. It's, it's fantastic. If you haven't watched I Think You Should Leave, Kyle, I highly recommend it. I've never heard of this. Uh, I highly recommend it. Although you didn't laugh at Mad because small, so the humor might be lost on you. <laughs> the pinnacle of humor that was. I loved it. I loved it. Katie is now saying Mad because small because after that stream, I went and made her watch it because I, I loved it so much. I can much. see it getting, you know, there's like five episodes. I can see it getting, you know, the joke, you know, you get ingrained in the, in the <laughs> culture of it. I get it. I can see it being more funny as yeah. we go. Yeah. Terry Shaw, thank you for the. Did you see this dude? This this red super chat yeah. that's still still pinned at the top. Thank you so much. We'll be looking at those high heel boots for a while because that's pinned up there. Thank you very much for the generous support, Terry. Uh, said, "Here's to everyone. Enjoy the ride. Thanks to the mods. Don't spoil them. Why? Because it's better for us to watch them be surprised by stuff. Also, be kind to each other." Yes. Well said. I can't disagree no. with any of that. There's nothing disagreeable at all. I cannot disagree with any of that. Eric Nielsen, thank you for becoming a member. Welcome to the Gearbox. Jeff H. Super Chatted, uh, secondary Super Chat. Gundam Witch for Mercury has a neat thing about it. As of right now, each company in universe has mecha designed by a different designer, so they all have their own style. Oh, that's a cute touch, yeah. I, World I've seen building. so... I know how many Gundam series there are, so I've seen so few of them that I wouldn't know that that was special. Cool touch, though. Yeah. All right, Wojo, thank you for the super chat. Please stop trying to be clever, people. You're not. You're just spoiling stuff for the guys and are making their experience worse. It's all good. It's all good. We're getting through it. Full harmonic. Thank you for becoming a member. I miss that. I miss that experience at Disney, even though I'm sure now the 3D animation would look bad. Oh, it's gone? Oh, that thing it's was been gone for years. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah well, they closed it down years. a while ago. There's there. nothing new there either. The the sign's still up. You just can't go. Oh, well, the, yeah. the, the, the facade, you know, you got to keep it. It's yeah. better than the, what was it, the Lion King they had in there before. I guess that was okay. Lion King was okay. Did they have the Lion King? I think it was the li where the Lion King was. The live action show. And you kind of uh, got a I, little yeah, mini just, Broadway. Just wanna, I just want to hear Disney music on a high quality speaker system. I'm fine yeah. with that. I'm okay yeah. with that. 
Nakaru, thanks for the super chat. Twelve hundred views and only three hundred likes on the stream. Shame. First shame of the stream. Ah, but the shame First is shame working. Of the, stream. the shame is building. <laughs> Gatsu, thank you for the generous super chat. Hey guys, have fun with the MSQ. And if you see Guts Wayne, that's me with the Batman glam. I am always <laughs> watching you, not being a creep here. No. Yeah, it's just your job. You're hey, Batman. You're joining us in person. Nothing wrong with yeah. that. You are the knight. Although this seems like a bad star to be on if you're Batman. You, there's no there's, the shadows are hard to come by. Be the ha hardest level of Arkham Asylum. Yeah, yeah, you could. I don't know. You could dress like a rock out there. <laughs> you could get all Frodo you with your could elven just be a purple, cloak. A purple bushy Batman, and then sure. you'll mix in with all the flowers. Sure. Gilly suit. Snow <laughs> Snowbite, thank you for the generous super chat. Y'all say some super chats are too generous, but you provide hours worth of entertainment. Those of us who can show monetary support do so to say thanks, and y'all deserve every bit. Hope you enjoy my favorite game story ever. We're still humbled. Uh, Absolutely. We've been streaming for a long time, and the support for this uh, is we're not used. To, we're still we're still getting used to it. Yeah. Um, so thank you for the support, everybody. Well said. Well said. It means a Lord lot. Lord Abyss. Yeah. Yeah. It it really does. Lord Abyss. Thanks for the super chat. Said throw wide the gates. I am glad Ian was not a bother to you, and look forward to your journey as Warriors of Darkness. Thanks for the for the kind wishes, and everyone else. I got a lot. I got even more messages over the weekend. So y'all have been super kind so thank you for that uh even checked a few of them while i was on my roof like oh, oh thanks for that as i'm <laughs> removing branches from the roof of my home uh d bell boy super chat and no spoilers if at any point you guys need to take a breather we 100 percent understand is mm -hmm. that a i think that's an allergies joke mm -hmm. or it's an in joke that i'm unaware yeah, of this is, yeah a very yeah. cleverly disguised in joke Phil Harmonic is curious if we've played some of the classic Final Fantasy Shadowbringers and Endwalker have references galore. We've been told of that, and I believe we have not played any of the Final Fantasies that are referenced. No, just 10 is the only one I played all the way through. Yeah, 10, 10, 2, um, and, and that's really it for me. I played Kingdom Hearts. I like me some Kingdom I knew a lot from Osmosis. I, I lived with some Final Fantasy fans in college and uh, was surrounded by many more throughout all of school. So, yeah. Now, Zlana is uh, celebrating five months of being a member, Kyle. Thank you, Zlana. Nice. Saying, best part of my Mondays. You guys are fantastic. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Redacular Ham uh, super chatted redacted. <laughs> it was not actually redacted. Vernacular no. Ham paid for this joke, and I hope you enjoyed it, everybody. <laughs> Gary Nick said, no earbud allowed at work, but hoodie. So stealth mode. Nice. Hey, there you go. Nice. There you go. That's see, that's why you gotta you gotta, you gotta grow that hair out. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that would that would do it too. Yeah. Uh thanks for the super chat side swiper in case you uh, we already we already read that one. No is the answer. We already no. we read your first super chat. I think you might have missed it. No, we haven't watched it. But thank you for the super chat. Yeah. Dear Bertso, I don't know, just waiting here for you to cry, laugh, scream, and get emotional damaged. Oh yeah, and uh, your addiction to all of that. You know. Classic. Yeah. It's absolutely. a it's a it's you know, trying to explain this fandom to people outside of it. Like why people are so excited to see you play it and be like, well, they, they want to see us uh, be miserable. Mm. Um, you know, it's <laughs> but in a good way. Yeah, it's hard to make that explanation to people. Elvin uh, super chatted that I think I'll take Bahamut up that on that offer. If you guys won't all bartering aside, enjoy the journey, guys. And I've got a bottle of Dominican rum for you, Garrett, for the now confirmed by me, GG Con. What to get Kyle, though? <laughs> <laughs> you cannot bribe me to put to get put to to facilitate an entire convention just so I can just so I can have some probably delicious rum. Um, but, but it does help, does, all right. It does, but it does help. Yeah, it yeah. definitely helps. Motivating it definitely helps. factor. Yeah, it does. It does help lubricate those gears. That's for sure. That's for sure. Um, what to get? What to get? Kyle. Kyle likes ciders. I do like ciders. Yeah. Yeah. Non carbonated. Kyle's a big cider fan. Yeah. I've also, I know I've made you a bee's knees before and you enjoy that. So gin and honey, I guess. Yeah. yeah. I'm little clock. Thanks for the super chat. Just finished riding home to listen to the stream while working. Enjoy this expansion where nothing interesting or fun happens. Definitely. And there's definitely. a smiley emoticon, almost like it's betraying what you type there. Omelet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Yeah, I have no reason to to think you're deceiving us. Tazriel sent in a gem of super chat saying the Crystarium first appeared in the tech demo way back from E3 in 2005. Yeah, we watched, we watched that. that. Yeah, like three weeks ago. Yeah, it was. Um, I think it was like right after we got here. Someone sent over the video of like the arches and stuff. That was an impromptu watching. We weren't. It wasn't part of our our reacts hangout night. Which we already have a just... huge pile of videos for our next one. Whenever we do that. Yeah, and if you missed that, the clips are now coming out on the Clips channel as of today. The first one dropped, which was for Pints, uh, How I Enslaved My Final Fantasy XIV Guild video. So you can see that up there. Uh, shout out to Noel, who's been editing those for us. Uh, Silver, thanks for being a member for th two months. Says DMing in three hours, so can't play Final Fantasy today. We'll live vicariously through you two while I put things together. Who brings shadows? Who brings light? Best excuse uh, to miss anything. I bring shadow because I'm emo. Kyle brings light because he grew out of it. Yep. Yep, sure did. I think, well, actually, I don't know. Do elves and, are elves and like classic elves? Do they live longer? Do they have longer lifespans or mature, you know, at later ages? I can see Lollafels being know. like 35 when they're 15 kind of thing. <laughs> uh, first response, no. Second response, yes. So that's all you need to know about how chat can be sometimes, Kyle. Slightly? Okay. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yep. XSV1 Ninja, thanks for becoming a member. Enjoy your perks. Fort Rocks super chatted. Did you see Pop Team Epic do a Final Fantasy skit? No. No. Team Epic. Did you make a note for later? Yeah. We, we gotta, we I'm gotta, not familiar. We gotta I'm not familiar. Sally Ford. Fjord Explorer said, Riding home. Have fun, guys. Thank you very much. We shall, Fjord. Bert Alvarez, thank you for the super chat. I think Garrett will love Shadowbringers. I think Kyle will prefer Endwalker. Mm. Make a note of this somewhere, Kyle. Make a note of it somewhere. We'll see. Uh, all right, hold on. Hold on. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to write a note right now. I'm do it right now. 10, 3, mm -hmm. started. My skepticism will only grow HB, the further uh, we Bert, go. Bert thinks... <laughs> Hear it. Uh huh. I'm just gonna write SHB, and then I'm gonna write Kyle EW, and uh, I'll I'll just have to go back in my book. I keep notes in order, so uh, rem just remind me the date that we started Shadowbringers. Okay, and we'll find that. Silabrius, thank you for the super chat. Hey, Garrett, hope you and your loved ones weathered the hurricane well. Glad to see you seemingly. Doing well. I look forward to you and your uh, uh, and Kyle's journey into Shadowbringers. Yes, we are for the most part. My family is still very flooded in, but none of the water made it into the house. They just can't leave without That's a boat. Good. That's good. <laughs> but they still have power, even though they're like completely flooded in. So they're like they have, they're on an island essentially. They have plenty of food and water and all that stuff. So it's all good. Book fiend, thank you for the super chat, and your message was deemed a spoiler. It looks like mm. apologies. Uh, oh, Diz. What? Oh, but they, they powered another one back on shortly after, so. Oh, we're did, all good. oh did they? Oh, we're okay. Uh, it's, uh, it's a, uh, and, and it's a shame one. Shame for only the 549 likes. Thank you, Book Fiend. Perfect. We appreciate the double support. Appreciate it, Book Diz is a member for five months saying, Have fun with Shadowbringers. Chat, don't forget to smash the like button. Yes. Yes, that is something you can do if you're new to watching streams on YouTube. That is something you can do. Uh, Jedi Burner joined the Gearbox. Vex Heart super chatted. Sup. Oh, Hi. you know. How are you doing? Yeah. You know, nothing. Nothing's up, Kyle, right? Nothing. Nothing at all. <laughs> nothing at all. Ro RoboVin super chatted, finding and watching your content videos through the MSQ and all your back and forth on opinions and theories have really invigorated, reinvigorated my love for this game. Nice. GG's and hope your shadow bringers is emotional. Hell. That's awesome. Yes. That means a lot when we hear that, which is interesting because I still think of myself as new to the game, even though we've been doing this for like roughly a year. Yeah, but to hear that we as newbies are having an effect on people like who already finished it all and they're like, oh, I'm more into this. Like, that's all awesome as hell to hear. Um, My dashboard just took a poop. I nope, there we go. OK, I got it back. OK, I got it back. Vivian super chat and I'm glad you survived Florida. Uh, my whole life has been surviving Florida Vivian here to show my support as you begin this journey, not to tell you to play Monk. I crap. I did it again. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. It's good. 
Uh, Das, thanks for the super chat. By the way, glad you're okay, Gary. My apologies, uh, my apologies for triggering your fear of heights a bit with my pecs. By the way, as a certain someone said, twas not my intention. Uh, what the, the pics specifically that triggered it? It was like the thought of doing it, but mm. it's, it's fine. It's, it's it's fine. It's fine. There was some there was some zip lining going on. Oh, Kyle. zip lining. Yeah. Okay, I'm good. I don't need to do that. Okay, I don't need to do that. Allison, thanks for being a member for five months, saying the tension between wanting to support the channel with Super Chats and wanting y'all to start playing been here since the beginning. <laughs> oh, I'm feeling that. I am feeling that. Seriously, I am I am bouncing in my chair, man. I am yeah, so stoked. Yeah. yeah, we usually set aside the first hour to chat with you all and uh, and thank Super Chats, and it seemed like maybe we needed to set aside more time for the start of Shadowbringers, <laughs> my God. Snow White, thanks for the Super Chat. Modding Shadowbringers is hard AF. Been there. Thanks, Mods. Well then, mods. Hell yeah, respect for the mods. Daykoth with the hype sticker. Thank you, Daykoth. I'm a, if you're hyped, I'm assuming there's some hot monsters today. Probably. Yeah. Uh, if you're if you're new to our stream, Daykoth has a brand, and that brand is loving hot monsters. Lunar, thank you for the generous super chat. I missed welcoming you at the title card drop, but welcome you to, uh, to Shadowbringers, aka known as Tearbringers by the community. It's actually the first time I've heard that. Mmm. Yeah. Please keep your hands, arms, and legs inside the quest line at all times. Enjoy the ride. You can't tell me what to do. I'm now sticking my hands out. <laughs> I'm sticking my hands out. This is just like the land at Epcot. I cannot be told to keep my hand inside. Well, we were at all times. generously informed throughout our YouTube comments last week that we are not at the beginning of Shadowbringers. Apparently. Yeah. Apparently, Welcome to Shadowbringers bringers. is a, is a click-worthy title. Yeah. Um, so maybe we'll get to whatever that is today. Cuddly Zombie, thank you for the super chat. If you like ciders, I recommend Polish martinis, vodka, honey liqueur, and juice. Hmm. Also, Shadowbringers didn't make me cry, but I thought it resonated emotionally. Okay. All right. Never heard of a Polish martini. Yeah. Never heard of a Polish martini. Interesting. Sideswiper, thanks for the super chat. Important bit of assurance. They have really placed a lot of good points to stop, so don't worry. Perfect. What? We're, we've we've gotten some notes, some some spoiler free notes from yes. folks. We're, we we'll, be, a, we'll be all set on stopping points. I think uh, we have a we have a pretty good one picked out by by our. What well, well, we need a name for John? We need like a like dramaturg or um, <laughs> expert MSQ divider, uh, keeper of our sanity, portional expert, <laughs> the great segmenter. Director, director's good. You know, it's kind of it's kind of producery in I, that way. I was a curator. I like curator. Tour guide, that's good. Yeah, curator. The really MS classic. curator. Yeah, MS How's curator. That sound? Ooh, MS curator. Yeah, that's, that's got with a Q yeah. in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's nice. John, our MS curator. Yeah, MS curator. Well done. I like yeah. it. I like it. Yeah, yeah. Chris Majors, thank you for the super chat. This is the last super chat Garrett will read before starting Shadowbringers. Not how this works. <laughs> <laughs> Not how this works. But thank you for the attempt. <laughs> Israel, thanks for the super chat. I don't even like most of the uh, of the run of Shadowbringers, and I'm hyped. Ooh, Ooh. got a got a. I would call that a unique opinion. Yeah, uh, uh, compared to what I most of what I read. Lyman Tree super chat. I got a funeral in a couple of hours, so can't stay the whole stream. And also, and now I realize the inflection of my voice is betraying the sadness of this message. Uh, so here is a preemptive welcome to mm. Shadowbringers. Well, thank you. Because Sorry for the loss, Lyman Tree. Yeah, I hope you can rejoin us later. I hope all is well, as well as it can be, and be well. Good luck to you. Yeah, I'm always sad heading to a funeral, but I always have a weirdly good time afterwards because they become impromptu family reunions. Yeah. So hope 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 some of that energy is there for you. Uh, Winkle super chatted that for Kyle uh, music emoji. One brings shadow, one brings light. Two toned echoes tumbling through time. Three score wasted, ten cast aside. Fourfold knowing, no end in sight. Those are words. Those are words. Three score wasted. Ten. Hmm. You can think about that later. Luna, yeah. thanks for the super chat. Don't forget to grab your ether currents before you finish Shadowbringers. Yeah. Wait, before we finish Shadowbringers? Or before you finish Shadowbringers. We don't have to. I mean, we're going to, right? We'll see. We'll see. You know, like... In, uh, what was it, Stormblood? We kind of, like, we sort of did it. We'll, we'll see what Rhythm is feeling it, because, you know, I, I'm i a distracted man as well. Yeah. Uh, Garrett has to wrangle some cats sometimes when we're going mm. to new zones. Well, when it comes to ether currents, you have to wrangle me, because I will get them. I'm yeah. getting them. Yeah. I'm going for them. Fort Rocks super chatted, when is Kyle doing Florida Extreme? 
Uh, I'll invite you over in the fall. I was there <laughs> for <laughs> Irma. I was in, I was in town for Irma. I did a power out D and D session. You on a cruise though, weren't you? No, no. For well, that was right after. That was right after for oh. Irma proper. I was up in Jacksonville and we did D and D in the dark. Oh, that's right. I forgot that you got you got stranded by that. It was a, yeah. It was a good. It was a really good session, man. I kicked ass. It was great. <laughs> Irma came right over our house. We went outside during the eye. It Creepy. Was, uh, yeah. We were lucky though, because it had already made landfall, and it was only a cat two by the time it got to us. Um, it really did did a number further south though. Uh, Dwaygon, thank you for the generous super chat. We'll be looking at your name up at the top for a while today. Welcome to Shadowbringers. It is great, uh, or sorry, it's a great journey. Can't see what, or can't I'm assuming can't wait to see what you think of everything. Enjoy one of the best, in my opinion, RPG stories ever told. The best being Final Fantasy XIV as a whole. Uh, high praise. High praise. Thank you for the support. A lot of high praise. No, no, we've only had one person managing our expectations so far, Kyle. One. Count them. One. It's true. Yeah. Aurora, thanks for the uh, three months of membership saying enjoy Shadowbringers, guys. It is my personal favorite, but that's because I'm biased when it comes to crystals as crystal is my name. Have fun. There you go. Hey, that's a good I'm reason. Not sure, I've met a crystal where their name is spelled with a C. That's cool. I like bluebirds because they arrive in my birthday month. What does that have to? What? I'm just saying, you know, you can like all kinds of things for cool reasons. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I have an affinity for cardinals if we're talking about birds because they're they always nest everywhere I've lived in Florida. There's always a, a, a couple of cardinals that decide to nest regularly where I live. Yeah, see. So it makes me see? makes me think of being home. Wandering Faust, thanks for joining the gearbox. Enjoy your perks. Daraxis celebrating five months by saying, please feel free to pour in those super chats, guys. I'm not home from work for three hours, and I like that stream too. <laughs> <laughs> That's you know, usually folks are yelling, get to it. That's that they haven't gotten that one before, which is please send more super chats so they stall longer. I I appreciate your <laughs> desire for our support. Yeah. Biden super chat. I always feel sort of weird being psyched for Shadowbringers because I don't want to overhype the experience for new players. All I'll say is I'm super grateful to share this experience with you, bros. Hell yeah! Nice. Buddy. I don't I'm, think I'm, I don't think overhyped. I don't think overhyped at all. Yeah. Um. I try not to read into it too much. Yeah, that that, that too. Uh, I've yeah. I've been told this this is like for me, so I'm I'm excited <laughs> for what that means. Like everyone's yeah. been like, this one's for you, Kyle. <laughs> uh, Velridge and Mood Dutable are now members. Thanks for joining the Gearbox. You Welcome. do enjoy your perks. Kel LG Chaos super chatted that Hi, Garrett. I'm going to Disney for the first time this April. Any more recommendations besides Haunted Mansion? And does Epcot have beers of the world outside Oktoberfest? Yes, they have beers at almost every country from that country, if not multiple beers at every country from that country. Um, uh, just enjoy it. If you're hitting all the parks. I'm a big fan of those Star Wars rides, but dear God, make sure you like get a queue. The lines are ridiculous. I, if you can do like the lightning lane or whatever they have going on, do that stuff. It's insane. The wait is insane, Kyle. I avoid I avoid Hollywood Studios like the plague now. Yeah, it's bad. It's bad, but those rides are worth it. They are good. They are good rides. Uh, Lord Abyss, thanks for the super chat. So you'd rather encounter a pack of cuddly gators or a pack of angry beavers? Cuddly gators. That sounds wonderful. Yeah, they're not angry. Yeah, they're all fed. Yeah. They're pretty chill. You ever seen a beaver's teeth? They're they're terrifying. Oh yeah, we got we got beavers, local, live in the rivers here. They're cute. Oh, they're super. Fluffy. I only see them when I go up to the Smoky Mountains. That's the only time I see beavers. And it's very rare. Emperor Uncarnate, thank you for joining the Gearbox. Welcome. You're welcome. Enjoy your stay. Voice super chat. One more super chat for the delays. <laughs> <laughs> also, hello to an FC member who is waiting to super chat. I see you, Salas. We're getting meta with our super chats now. <laughs> Kyle. <laughs> um, all right. Udnert, thanks for the super chat. Twice the viewers to like. Shame. 14 bit members for five months saying fi have fun. I'm gonna I'm gonna rapid fire these unless it's all an right. important question. Surubachi, thank you for the super chat. Need to go to sleep soon, so cannot keep watching. Good luck for the episode. Wonder how far you'll get. Enjoy the VOD. Perunariaska. Welcome to the gearbox. Thank you. Ellie, Welcome. thanks for the super chat. Finished Shadowbringers in four days after taking three months for Stormblood. I wish I gave it the time it needed. Wow. Such an amazing story, and I hope you guys enjoy it as much. We will definitely take more time because we got to edit videos. 
while yeah, we do it. That, that's the, that's yeah. the crux of it. And we don't like getting too far ahead of our videos, so don't worry about us. Emperor, thanks for another super chat. It says, it is I, the Golden Dragoon, with the long overdue membership. You guys are my favorite streamers, and I just want to say I love the Cyclops, Wolverine, Leonardo, Raphael dynamic you do have. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, that's so good. I was more of a Donatello fan, though. I will take Wolverine over Cyclops. Yeah, we, I will literally, I'll take Jubilee over Cyclops, though. So we both like yeah. Donatello, but yes, absolutely. I'm the Cyclops. Yeah. I'm a Cyclops yeah. through and through. Yeah, Cyclops is the lamest. Where, where yeah, where yeah, Golden X Man. Where yeah, Golden. He was here first. Like they were here first. Yeah, one of oh, there they were. Yeah, they they yeah. found me first today. So they they win. They win the hide and seek. Yeah. And Pulse, welcome to the gearbox thank you everybody we we'll do it. our best to keep up with super chats as we play through uh bear with us today it's gonna be a popular stream seeing as we are almost at 2,000 viewers before we even started playing so let's hope you enjoyed go. this if you're new to our stream we usually take the first hour to vibe and hang out and chat with everybody uh just tends to be the way things go so hope uh thank you for being patient thank you so much for watching even if you're not a member or even if you didn't send in a super chat thank you so much for the support just with your eyeballs we really appreciate it i agree let's go let's <laughs> all go kyle you can do the first like 20 voices after i read all those super chats uh do we have a grahatia picked out because we never met him when we were oh, streaming I'm together happy. i'm happy to graha i okay, think i've been right. reading graha you, you wanna, I'll, I'll stick with it you want to graha also, we're still assuming it's Graha. Too. Yeah, we're supposed to. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what character it was, but some someone commented on our clip that said, "If they guess X, I'm quitting." <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, I okay. Oh, down, I down. We we we're yes. off to the meet the people. Meet the people. I don't people. know. There's a cat. There's a there's a not Hunger Games to talk to down here. Catless. Yeah. Oh, it's it's well, it's it's probably a reading. I assume it's a reading. I forgot to fire up my OBS for got clip purposes. Yeah. Or oh, she's begins. got some good hair, it looks like. Unless that wasn't who we're talking to. Hit got, me, Catless. I got a I got a Sky Pirate hat on, so I, I can't Okay. Rare to see a place so well stocked with goods, isn't it? But not here. I'm going to guess you're new to our fair city. Well, for what it's worth, you've chosen a fine sanctuary. The Exarch can throw up a barrier if the city eaters come knocking. So it's a damn sight safer in here than it is out there. Safer and more civilized too. Thanks to us in the mean, we work together to procure materials and resources and craft the goods which make the city life possible. This is the place to visit if you need a coat mended or a kettle forged. Just don't go thinking it'll all be handed out to you on a plate like those Elmuran layabouts. Here in the Crystarium, we work for a living. Though I see you're no stranger to honest labor, you don't have that whiff of <laughs> indolence about you like some folks I've met. Still, I can't quite pit down your profession. Where is it you come from? <laughs> One of the Exarch's countrymen, you say? I see. Well then, I'd work twice as hard to make you feel welcome. Our city wouldn't even exist if it weren't for him. And any friends of his is a friend of ours. It's really quite incredible when you think about it. They say his grand magics summoned the Crystal Tower into existence, Pulling the entire thing out of thin air. It wasn't long before droves of refugees began congregating around its base, desperate for shelter after losing their homes to the flood. And that's how the Crystarium began. At the Exarch's invitation, buildings started going up, and with the help of some curious relics brought forth from the tower, the place gradually expanded into the thriving metropolis you see here today. The cities stood here for decades now. Oh, yet the eldest among us swear the Exarch looks exactly the same as he did back then. He is indeed a man of many mysteries, but for all his secrecy, he has never yet let us down. 
So, if he and you wish to remain silent about your shared homeland, then the folks here will respect your wishes for privacy. I am, however, more than a little curious to see any crafting talents you might be hiding. If uh, you've ought to contribute on that front, be sure to come back and visit once you've had a chance to settle in. Just ask for Catless, and I'll find you a niche here in the crystalline mean. You can help us keep the cogs of the city greased and turning. Your exchange with Katniss has taught you about the life at the Crystarium. That was very kind. I definitely am not running around getting Ethernet uh, points while you read that. What? Okay. All right. Well, while you do that, then, I'm going to question the reliability of growing plants only in sunlight, if that can actually happen. If you could 100% sunlight plants into existence, if they need night, uh, I don't know. I would imagine it would depend on the plant. Also, we now know that time moves differently here. And that we won't be gone that long, right? Because time moves slower here. No, it's going to be like World of Warcraft. We're going to have a time jump that's going to be super important and everyone's theory crafting about. Time jump? Oh, in right? are they doing a time jump in Dragonflight? Yes. Oh. Huh. Why? I don't know. I don't play WoW anymore. Oh, okay. All right, I'm heading towards the, the thing. The Musica Universalis. Are you ready to braggy? Uh, where are we going? Where are you? Well, I was just grabbing crystal things, uh, and my thing is pointing me to City of the First, which is over by the Cabinet of Curiosity. What are you getting pointed towards? I'm the, the, the Cabinet of Curiosity. Up in the top left, current main scenario oh. quest says oh. City of the First. When I click on it, it takes me to North Middle. Oh, I guess I was I was moving in an unoptimized way then. So or should I do Braggy, and you can hit him up later? Who the frick is Braggy? I'm down here what in the in about? the Musica universe. Here, let's be in a party. Let's be in a party. Pardon me. Why are you there? Because it was a simple jump down the hill after going to the the plant place. All right, the, the point I'm trying to make, which feels like it's being uh, misunderstood or not landing, is that when I click on the thing for the quest I need to do, it points me north. Oh, oh. look, yeah, there is a... Why is there a meteor icon there? Oh, it's probably more... Um, it's it's probably more, like, boring crafting stuff that I'm going to not pay attention to and go click on crystals during. All right, but don't be <laughs> mad at me later when I have to collect my crystals, and I haven't done it yet. Uh, what, what we got? We got, like, a... <laughs> Were these cat men new in this expansion? When did the Catmen come out? When were the Catmen here? Oh, I forgot that we left off with a quest to go talk to a bunch of people around the city. Wait, did you go talk to all the people without me? No, I still have these. Okay, okay. They're just not particularly interesting in my opinion. All right, Raggy says, new to the city, friend. The spinning head and wide eyes is a giveaway. I'm a Catman, meow. Welcome, my name is Braggy, and I am the master of these markets. They gave the district another official title, but I am not in the habit of using it, to floor it by half. In any case, our merchants stock a range of equipments for elves such as yourself or humans whenever he gets here. So, finding something... Wait, he called me elves. Oh, uh, yeah, so I can call you human then. It totally works. He no. called me Hume. Hume. Oh, well. And, and now I get to have a response. Do you get to have a response? Mine said he called me Elv. Uh, well, I can respond. Um, I'm actually a here, or I could ask him what humes mean. Oh, cool. So finding Do something... You, you, you didn't get a choice? Oh, uh, I haven't clicked forward yet. I got oh, okay. It. I might be insulted. Oh. <laughs> I, I'm fine being called an elf. Okay. But this, this now means... Canonically, I can now call them elves, and no one can say... Can correct me, because I'm just using... Crystalnasium logic. They're, they're freaking elves. <laughs> I abide to Crystalnarium, uh, Crystarium? <laughs> I. Something wrong? That way. Let's see if we can straighten this out. See those two in front of us? The shorter one is a Hume, or is a Humi. Oh, they got they got fancy names for everyone. And the taller one is an elf, like you. 
That sturdy individual over there is a Galgent. Whilst the one with horns is a Darn. A Drawn? Then you have the large scaly chap with a long tail and the knack for raising livestock. Those would be the Zun. Which is apparently not the name you know them by. Now I'm curious to know which far-flung region you hail from. Ah, the same as the Exarch, eh? Well, that explains it. You don't get much further flung than that. We've had a few of your lot pass through in recent years, and despite their obvious learning, they founded, they floundered over the simplest things. But not to worry. Should you find yourself confused by the local language or customs, I'll be here to answer your questions. Your exchange with Brenny has taught you about the peoples of the first. Oh my. All right. Are you at the Curio cabinet? I'm heading that way. I had one more Ethernet chart to grab. Okay. So I, uh, I went to the Amaro launch so I could run over to the Crystalline Mean because right. I was missing the Crystalline Mean shard. I'm going to go grab the shard here and I will head your way, possibly. Wondrous. Wondrous. So the Exarch is apparently fast and loose with telling everybody where he's from. Yep. That's what I gathered from these from these little little tidbits here. I have to go to the Rookery because that's what I have. The Rookery. Ah, uh, yeah, so if you go all the way up in that library you were very excited about, there is a dude to talk to. I still am excited about the library. Looks like he is a Hume. Did you see the secret room? I hope it opens. There's a secret room? Oh, uh, you know, there's like a, a stairway leading down that's currently locked. And in the library? Yeah, there's nothing as good as a forbidden book section. Ooh, okay, okay, we'll see. We'll see. Oh, look at that. Uh, but the staircase doesn't connect but I see what you're talking about. There's a room under there. Yeah, it's oh, like a... yes, it does. You need to go all the way around. Then, yeah, then it picks yeah. up. Yeah, okay. a little, little cage here. Oh, I so, hope that opens eventually. I know someday it could be like, hey, you got to go into the secret section. I hope so. Don't don't tell us if it doesn't happen. Yeah, don't, don't, don't do it. Let our, let our hearts be full. Let us believe. Boy, some of y'all are, are, are rocking some serious exposed thighs today. Why not? It's always day. <laughs> Uh, this, I, I hate getting up on the roof, man. I, it's, 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 I, I'm going to talk about it a lot today because all I want to do is wear shorts because it's hot, but you got to wear long pants in case you fall down. Mm. Ain't nothing worse than getting like freaking tar paper friction burns on your knees. All right, you're Morin. Morin? Oh, I'll be Morin? Okay. Yep, you're Morin. My hair is uh, fabulous, apparently. Just, just freaking fabulous. Uh, excuse me, sir. Are you recently come to the city, perchance? I'm quite familiar with our civic rules, you see, and well... <clears throat> what I mean to ask is, have you brought any books with you? A rumpled scroll, even. A scrap of scribbled on parchment. Of scribbled. A scrap of scribbled on parchment? There we go. Got it. I figured it out, Kyle. I know how to English. Keep messing My up apologies. and make me look good. What's that? Keep messing up, it makes me look good. Okay, I'll do my best. My apologies. Literature is something of an obsession of mine, as well as a profession. Librarian Morin, at your service. In this humble collection is known as the Cabinet of Curiosity. As your powers of perception have likely informed you, my colleagues and I are responsible for curating all manner of tombs, tomes, documents, and other vehicles for the written word, but not literal vehicles. I know it's confusing since there are cars in this world actually we can't mount up on the first yet so maybe not as horrific as the loss of life and land wrought by the flood unquestionably was the damage to recorded knowledge was no less catastrophic we few do all we can to preserve what wisdom survived but tell me what brings you to the cabinet today looking for any title in particular mayhap a spot of academic research Make sure it's a site in APA 7th style. 
Oh ho! So, you've an interest in modern history. Splendid! A thorough review of recent events can often yield novel perspectives. I quite agree. If you would prefer something visual to accompany the account, then I think I have an illustrated history f book for children somewhere. Just a moment, I'll fetch it for you. Do I look stupid? No, you gotta have a, you gotta have a start point. Let's do PowerPoint. <laughs> Let's do PowerPoint. I want it. I actually wanted this, to, like, you know, this is when I want it. Yep. And here we are. Would you like to pull up a chair? Make yourself more comfortable? Um, <clears throat> on with the lesson then. Do it. I did school this morning. I don't want to do school in game. <laughs> I, I finished my assignment do for it. a week. Yes. over my morning coffee. Yes. All right. Oh, God, let me clip this. For the, okay. <laughs> Oh, I missed the first thing. Record could you read that this. First it's lines? important. Could you bring up record that? Could you bring up that first line and read it so I don't need to show UI while a my a hundred clip years ago or near enough, uh, not to that matter. Villains known as the Warriors of Light slew the Shadow Keeper, the Steward of Darkness. Is that the first line? Yep, I'm done. Wonderful. In the wake of this tainted deed, light began to pour into the world as if from unseen cracks. It pulled and swelled without ease. And so the day, an enormous, blinding wave rose up and swept across our star. We called this calamity the Flood of Light. Everything it touched was leached of life and vigor, leaving naught behind but the luminous wasteland. On oh, no turn page set? No. Nope, you heard it. You heard it. There was a sound effect. Oh, okay. There was. Okay. Yet, just when it seemed that all would be lost, a savior appeared before us. Eh, that could be an you ear on the side. That's Menphilia. It looks Menphilia, but you see the little, what could be a little... Eh, no, it's Menphilia. It's, it's, it'd be like giant it's, it's World Menphilia. of Warcraft ears. Yeah, yeah. It's Menphilia. Got no pants on. It's Menphilia. It's even... Uh, okay, here. The Oracle of Light. You know Menphilia that you saw when you were flying through space towards a crystal with Menphilia uh -huh. in it? And when she talked to you, the title was the Oracle of Light? Yes, Garrett is right. That's all I wanted to establish to you, Valgant. She stood twixt us in approaching doom, and by her power did she stay the flood. Thus was Norvrant, and Norvrant alone spared the fate of Erasure. I like the style of these uh, illustrations. Here on my 4K monitor, though, I would say they could be a little higher resolution. <laughs> you poor thing. Tragedy would, however, arrive in another form. From the blasted emptiness descended horrors of strange and terrible aspect to bedevil the few folk who survived. Oh, hey, that lion looks familiar. Yeah, stupid hat lion. Yes, yeah, stupid hat lion. That looks like something we already fought. These sin eaters were light incarnate and their fulgent presence stole the night from Norvrant's sky. Children's Even now. Rocking. Sorry, what? Children's books rocking with vocabulary. Hold well on. <laughs> Even now, they circle the remaining bastions of civilization, ever on the hunt for us, ever hungering for our flesh. Okay. It's not very light of you. Biblically accurate uh, angel. Well, I, 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 that is an important hat. note. It was something I was curious about, because if you're a sin eater, I assume you eat sins or perhaps souls, but the fact that they're hungering for flesh... You know, they're not even worth reasoning with. They're monsters. Mm. And thus did the world become what it is. Should you ever wish to hear the tale again, I would be glad to retell it for you. Oh, or if you would rather I speak of other matters, that too would be my pleasure. I should be glad of the company. Your exchange with Morin has taught you about the Flood of Light. There will be a quiz on Monday. Where are, they? are these going in like a journal or something? I guess so. I don't in, know. I mean, we book. can just talk to him again. I'm assuming, hey, Morin, what's up? Oh, uh, is there an apartment book. here? I want to, uh, yeah. Yeah, you can to click on Morin. There's an option to review modern history. Okay. I, I Where are you the, running? I want to go to the apartment here. I want to see what this apartment looks like. Oh, there's an apartment here? I don't yeah, know if there yeah, is. Yeah. But there's like those little there? crystal domes outside. Is there uh, an apartment you know, here? We'll, we'll, we'll continue this tour. They might even show us in the tour. Because we got some bells. We got traders. Okay. Sky Watchers. All right. We'll oh, there, All there right. it is. There it is. The personal suite. You can't access it yet. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So we're off to the green check mark. Oh, uh, was there? A... Nope. You can't get to that crystal there. 
Nope, it's on the other side of a wall. Let's say, because the docile gate is a is a crystal. You had to climb those stairs every day. You wouldn't wear pants or shard. Either. Everyone has rocking <laughs> legs. You never skip leg day in the crystarium. That's a, that's a very nice crystal texture there on the ground. Dude, the uh, the Wait. the the crystal tower. The graphics are they're phenomenal. Do you even have a job, Skywatcher? What do you what do you do? What what are we talking about? <laughs> the weather forecast. Nice. Well done. Well done. She's working Kyle, hard over there. While Kyle runs, I'm going to thank Justin K for the super chat that says, unlike the previous expansion, this one starts hard and fast with the emotions. At least it did with me. Excited to watch. We'll, uh, we'll see about that. Mm. And then Book Fiend super chatted. Hey, just wanted to clarify. I deleted my first message since I spelled something wrong and then sent in the second. LOL. Sorry about that confusion. Oh, cool. Uh, thank yeah. you for being very generous very today, cool Book of you. Fiend. You don't feel like you need to. You can always add us and uh, add us a few times if it takes a bit for us to see it. Um, instead of sending it a super chat, but we appreciate it. And then uh, Snowbites is celebrating three months by saying free chat. Oh, anyway, amen about Cyclops being lame. <sighs> My people. It's okay. it's, I accept it. I accept it. And then Sideswiper a while back super chatted. They're tiger men. And yes, they're from Shadowbringers. Oh, they're all they're all tigers. Yes. They, well, I, I guess tigers kind of have manes. OK, OK. The 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 the. the, the Wait, what? They don't have manes? No, the no, tires. no, but you know, they, they, they floof out. They, um, they Sylvester. Yeah, but the, the character model doesn't have a mane, do they? Oh, but, but you know, they, like, uh, we got one, uh, here with the, uh, wait, is that, is that Brucey next to us? I can't click anymore. Oh, it's, it's a tiger with hair. Yeah. It's a tiger with hair. Yeah. Well, yeah, if, if you're a cat man and you have large hair, I would call it a mane. Okay. All right. Well, let's talk to Crystal Exarch here. He says, well, how did you fare? Did my colleagues help you from a, a form a clearer picture of this world and its people? Well, let me just hand you over three oh, wow. individual things. Wait, what? It's our report cards, Kyle. I know you like to hide them, but we have to hand them over. Yeah, interesting. Okay, sure. <laughs> it's a deep cut. Not taking our Kyle word for it, Crystal Art. Jeez. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it seems you were treated to a most thorough introduction. I understand. You sent us on yeah. that thorough introduction. Wait what? Wait, what? Is it? Did it just get darker? Oh, it did. I can't look what around. The frick is, what's I guess, happening? I guess there's a cloud. Oh, maybe. Yes. Blah, 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 blah. I understand it was something of a chore, but it was necessary that you grasp these things before we proceed. As for the Crystal Tower's origin, you may have noted that details were sparse. The structure is, in fact, the self-same one you know from the source transported to the first in its entirety. It was my first attempt at breaching the boundaries between worlds, something of a trial run for your eventual crossing. And although I do not know which era I tore it from, I do know that its arrival served to set the wheels of fate in motion. Have a white oak chest coffer, I level 385. Very well, sir. All right, what, what, why did the sky get darker? Oh, you know. Oh, well, oh. No? I mean, or maybe there's a sun, it moves. I think the sun moved, and we're now in shadow. But the no. sun's always up. Continue. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Looking good. Got some potions. You've done as I requested and learned something of the world in which you now find yourself. Now it's time I fulfilled my half of the bargain and explained what has befallen your comrades. That is a conversation I would rather have in the privacy of my quarters, however. I must go ahead and uh, go on ahead to the tower and organize a few things, but I shall see that the guard knows to admit you. <laughs> bottom? Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna say that bottom one. Yep. <laughs> I'm not familiar with that name. Is there something I should he's know? Like, he's like, shut the hell up. Yeah, yeah is, okay, sure, sure. Uh -huh. An extraordinary tale, but I'm afraid I found no such individual residing in the tower when I passed into my care. Perhaps we can revisit that mystery another time. 
For now, I think it best that we focus on the present. I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna fry squint. I mean, in he has, his general direction. He has been here for fifty years, so you know he might be getting a little. Time could work age. differently. Yeah, yeah. I'll die on the sill. Oh, hi everybody. Gatekeeper. Greetings, sir. The exarch awaits you within. Shall we sink? Oh, we're uh, not even. Late. We're not even. Too late. Sink. Yeah, we'll, we'll do it after the first line. Ooh, you're gonna like this room. It's a nice room. You're gonna like this room. I look good in this room. You always look good. Thank you. So do you. <laughs> okay. Not the music I would pick, but I like it. It's chill. Welcome to the Ocula, my private study. We can speak here without fear of being... Let me know when you're at Overheard. Oh, speaking of music, dude, I started playing Jedi, whatever it's called, Outcast, did the new Jedi game. Whatever song he's listening to at the beginning, All that's the best order. song in the whole thing. Like, All, You started playing Fallen Order? Yeah, I started playing it last night. What? Oh, hell yeah, that, like, man. That throat singing, like, Star Wars thing? That, I, I want more of that. It's, like, it's, a very, it's a very good game. All right, I'm ready. All right, our first uh, sync up of the day. I'm hovering over yes. Are you I'm hovering ready. over yes? I'm ready. Three, two, one, go. I have much cheek. to explain, but the truths which I must touch upon in doing so would cause only distress and confusion to the people of this world. Pray keep that in mind. Now, I am sure you are desperate to know the fate of your fellow scions. To put it simply, they are here in the first. Their arrival, however, was not as recent as you may imagine. Here, time flows at a different pace from that of the source. Called it! Oh shit. In the space of a single hour in your home world, an entire year might pass in the first, and the reverse could also be true. The pace fluctuates without rhyme or reason, and it cannot be predicted. That said, we seem to be entering a period of near equivalence. And thus, for the moment, you need not overly concern yourself with the passage of time. This is the developers going, don't think about it too much. As for your companions, however, Eustola and Urianger have dwelt here for three winters, all told, while Thancred's count stands at five. Oh, all of our buddies are yeah. older. Even our more recent arrivals, Alfino and Alize, have lived in the first for almost a year. What? My intention had been to summon only you, but the art of reaching across worlds has proven exceedingly difficult to master. Thus it was that my fumbling hand closed upon those to whom your fate is most closely bound. Ah, uh, okay. Nobody likes Kryl. Confirmed. Worry if I doesn't like Kryl. the object of my summons, their transference was incomplete. Sink or naked again? <laughs> to possess corporeal bodies, they are, in truth, merely spirits that one can see and touch. He's used to it. Consequently, Just show his butt already. will be able to pass between worlds with relative freedom, they will not. Oh. Much as it grieves me, they are stranded here, unable to return. Did he summon a copy of Menphilia then by accident? That's a pretty big reach ball, so why should, would she be a child? Because it's only a tiny piece of her, like proportionally, you know, there's only like a <laughs> tiny piece of her left, so it brought in a tiny Enjoy one. Is now Lala fell, it's yeah. canon. Yeah. Uh, then find a way to send them back, or what have they been doing all this time? Yeah, I'm more concerned uh -huh. about them than yelling at, I want to go bottom. Yeah, I, I lean that way as well. So let's go uh, three, two, one, go. We spent every waking hour searching for a way to reverse the summoning. In the beginning, at least. As you may have surmised, however, our efforts met with little success. And then we all but abandoned the endeavor once Urianger shared with us the vision he had witnessed during his journey through the rift. It took three years just to hear that story from Urianger. Yeah. In that chaotic no man's land between realms, Time and space warp and blend in unexpected ways. 
What Orionje saw was the future, that which would one day come to pass. In his vision of tomorrow, the first was rejoined with the source. This collision of worlds brought about the eighth umbral calamity and the deaths of countless multitudes. Amongst those who perished, Orionje clearly saw the fall of the Scion's mightiest champion. He watched you die. Oh, snap. Yeah. And thus did the Scions embrace their exile and began searching this world for a means to forestall the coming catastrophe in yours. Just stands up full. Their souls are stranded naked. in the first, yes. <laughs> but they have fought on, desperate to save their home and you from destruction. Nor have their efforts been in vain, for it was they who finally established that the elimination of the Sin Eaters will indeed serve to prevent the calamity. Considering these circumstances of our meeting, you would be forgiven for doubting my version of events. And so, before all else, I would suggest you track down your comrades and hear the tale from their lips. I shall of course be happy to assist in these reunions and you need not make any decisions regarding your involvement until you are certain of where you stand. Meanwhile, I promise I will not rest until I have found a way to help your friends return home. What say you? Have I earned your trust for the moment, at least? <laughs> for the moment, I, but I'll see you keep that promise or for want of a better choice i'm not really i'm i'm on board with yeah, mr I'm crystal cat man here so i'm going before the moment cool three two one go warrior of sass <laughs> excellent you will not regret this with that settled we shall have to see about getting you ready for the road Traveling across the rift has no doubt left you weary. I will arrange for a room where you might rest in comfort. While it's being prepared, perhaps I can show you around. Sure. Tell me your name first. Tell me your name! Probably doesn't know it. Oh, little, little amnesia going on. Hmm. Let me, uh, let me, uh, I'm curious. I'm going to go back through the text here a little bit. Strolls trained on thirst. Yeah, Orion Shea would have stood straight up butt naked all to see and just started talking. <laughs> Please, won't you put on some clothes? Not now. I haven't uh, the time. Would thine close thine window? Okay, in a single hour in your home world, an entire year may pass or might pass. Strolls here three winters. Anchored five. Anchored's been here the longest. Okay. And then Al Alpha and Alize have lived here for almost a year. Okay, cool. All right. Cool. I was just checking that that all lined up in order, that we weren't out of order and things were getting displaced across time and space or something like that. You're displaced across time and space. Sometimes. Arzalan, thanks for the super chat. The Hrothgar are like Leonin from D&D Magic. At least that's how I see it. Kyle. Mm, okay. I hate them. I hate them already. <laughs> they all gain and, life and get buffs, and I hate them. <laughs> and Amarok super chatted, I will have you know the proper term for big cats are Catman dudes. Catman dudes, sure. Catman dudes, okay. All right. Sounds good. Sounds good. Uh, Jack Wolf super chatted back during that same explainer that for all the people that don't know, most of the racial names in the first are taken from those used in Final Fantasy XI. The exceptions are the Ronzo, Hrothgar, who originated in Final Fantasy X, and the Vils, which are the Viara. Oh, or Vs. right. Vies. Vs, Vies. Wasn't the one in Final Fantasy X blue with like a unicorn horn? That was probably a piece of armor, I guess. Beats me. Beats me. Karen, thanks for the super chat. It's the time to go to work, but I can't wait to watch the vibe when I get home. Hope you guys have fun. Hope you're having fun watching this after the fact, Karen. Hi, Karen. Enjoy. In the future. Elvin, thank you for the super chat. It was uh, removed by Kara. 
Mm. Apologies. Being the spoiler. Yes, thank you for the support. And Dave Moore super chatted, you guys are going to find Shadowbringers and Endwalker incredible. Cannot wait to hear your thoughts as you go through. Well, that's what we're here to do. Very much so. Blank, thank you for the super chat. Also, hi, welcome to the stream today, Blank. I'm um, slightly late. Enjoy Shadowbringers. Also drawn are the final evidence that Aura aren't dragons or Voidkin. Why? Why is that evidence? Are there no dragons here? It's just a description thing, right? Like when you're when you're making your character, it says something along the lines of, and the ladies are small, much like the dragon uh, ancestors are thought to have or something along those lines. <laughs> but I don't think it's real. We, we haven't we haven't confirmed that there are no dragons here. Yeah, that's true. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, Kyle. I don't know. Ayo. Ayo Kaze, thanks for being a member for three months, says his name is Robert Paulson. <laughs> what is that a reference to? I assume that's when we were going in the door wondering what uh, the Crystal Exarch's name is. Oh, is that who voices? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. <laughs> Could be. Gotcha. Wait, oh, really? A Fight Club reference. Voice actor? We'll see. His name is Robert Paulson. Yeah, it's a Fight Club. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's what right. they chant. When, yep. Oh, yeah. God, I haven't yeah. watched Fight Club in a very long time. Very, very long time. Uh, Justin super chatted. Fun fact, Thancred is the only one who showed up naked. The Exarch isn't quite sure why, but thinks it might be a fetish. <laughs> 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 well done. And Dwagon HD, thank you for the wildly generous super chat. Thank you. Uh, where are you on the sus scale? From Alizé to the Exarch, I place myself firmly as Oriange level. Oh, wow. Wait, uh, wait, who, how, how suspect people are? Um, I Alizé don't find... being least sus and Exarch being most sus? I don't find him sus at all. Uh, he's, he's trying to do a thing and Oriange confirmed the thing, which would be bad if the thing happened. So we're all here to help out. I'm... Honestly, my biggest mm. concern is that Alizé is like losing her mind somewhere and going mad because she's been stuck here for a year and she's not that old anyway, so a year is a long time. <laughs> um, yeah. Engage? I was just thinking of the sus scale. Based mm. on, I was now I'm just trying to like convert my own sus scale. Orianje's pretty high on the sus scale for me. Uh the Castarium boasts a number of residential districts, but I have been informed that a room has just become available in the pendants, or at the pendants, which, as it turned out, is perfect. Our path there will take us past the markets, and I was hoping to give you my own introduction to their wares. Come along. What in sweet and bird hell are you wearing what? on your head? What? Who are you shaming? I'm not. Sh I'm not shaming. You know, they've made who, a bold who? statement today. Who? I am oh, talking yeah, about that. yeah. What is sweet bird hell? Yeah, Voynar, that is quite the birdilage, look. the birdilage mask. All right, uh, we're heading over to. Oh, we uh, gotta go. Looks hey. like we're going back to the, the Catman, Catman dude. Yeah. Oh, we could have gone to the Universalis Markets Crystal. Tap two to gain five life and deal five damage because it's crap. What are you talking about? The cat people and magic are crap. Uh, it's, I haven't played Magic in a while. It's, uh, it comes and goes. Oh, it's a cinematic. Oh, it's him. It's he. Nice crane shot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good job, crane operator. Although everything is perfectly in focus, so it could be a drone. World of Warcraft. There's no aperture. Well, the Warcraft uses invisible bunnies for everything, but in order to make sure it's authentic, Final Fantasy uses this real cranes. This is the Musica Universalis, the commercial heart of the Crystarium. I'll meet you at or here. You might need to prepare for your journeys. This Shoot. is voice acting. I clicked one more. Meet you on that cross. Because you've never done it. Ah, yes. You must be curious about the currency. Fear not. The gill you carry will serve you well Not enough. really. Yeah, I wasn't that worried. I'm ready. Three, two, one, go. That's a nice umbrella there. Each nation once minted its own coin, 
Indians, but was all a jumbled mess following the flood. <laughs> After much debate, the local merchants eventually elected to revert to the old ways, wherein a coin's value was decided by the worth of its metal. You're As clearly dying to know this. We agreed upon the term gill, a word borrowed from coins uncovered within the crystal tower here. And as our traders paddled their wares across the land, so too did our usage of gill become common practice. From what your stola tells me, a standard coin from the source equates to exactly one gill here, or near enough not to matter. Our way of life has benefited greatly from the artifacts we recovered from the tower, some of which may be familiar to you. <laughs> Is that a smartphone? I believe that's what a tombstone looks like out in the world. <laughs> oh, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one you get out. The tombstone emote looks like that. I never noticed that. Oh, that is hilarious. But I fear it would not be practical for us to provide everything to which you are accustomed. You shall need a means to access the commodities of your home world. A van Kerm Sin? What? Hmm. Yes, I'm here. Of course oh, I'm here. Oh my goodness. What amusements do you have for me today? <laughs> <laughs> that is not the voice i would have my dear fail with that character paragon of pixie kind for you i have the most vital task what is happening <laughs> this fine gentleman is a friend from a distant realm the gentleman is a bit presumptuous you know how many people and i've we murdered have need of a means to ferry things back and forth from his home might you be able to assist us in this matter From beyond, didn't you? From beyond the rift. How wonderfully exciting! What a brave and reckless and marvelous thing you did! You've the heart of a pixie, you do. Oh, After your nails are creepy. I have decided to grant you my assistance. Make a pact with me, and the fun can begin. <laughs> I don't. I don't want to. But answer me this, traveler: Did your garments come with you when you crossed over? Your teeth? Your nails? <laughs> It, did, did one of our friends miss, like not get their teeth when they well, came like over? Tooth fairies, you know? Concerned about the teeth. Just as I thought. Then you've a good stout connection with your home through which all your belongings, great and small, may easily pass. From this moment forth, I will be your Isnefis and you my Snay Yak. <laughs> like the branch which sprouts from the sapling, our bond will flow unbroken from one to the other. It'd be great if one of those brackets said redacted. Raise your hand. I do so cautiously. <laughs> Even Shadowbringers wants me to play Scholar. Tis done. We are bound now, dearest sapling. <laughs> come, come then. Make your request. Tell me your desire. I wish to visit this world of yours. Mayhap her message to your friends in the source to inform them of your safe arrival. I will only refer to this character as Manic Pixie from now on. Uh, oh, snap, you gotta choose. This is just rude. Who's your favorite, Tataru? This is just rude. I like I like Cryo a lot, but Tataru will I message like Cryo. You know? A lot too, but... The, the, the school tree, you know? You start Tataru with someone... Tataru is... Tataru is is OG. She's got, but yeah, exactly. She has the Rolodex to call everybody else. Like, it, it just makes sense. Mm. Cry would be like, oh, that's great, and then move on with her day and never tell anybody else because she's too busy in Eureka or whatever, so. <laughs> on your mark. <laughs> I'm choosing Tataro in three, two, one, go. Consider it done. Tatara is going to be so confused. She's probably As you used heard, to stuff. that was Feo Ul of the Pixies. Their kind possess an affinity for magic akin to that of arcane beings. They rarely show themselves in populated areas, 
But Feo is insatiably curious even by Pixie standards, and seems to have taken a liking to the Crystarium. Right, we were going to organize a room for you, weren't we? Come along. As a result of your pact with Manic Pixie, you now have access to delivery, Moogles, and I collect. <laughs> <laughs> and market boards and that, you know, that sort of stuff. You can now yeah. use this as a hub. Cool. Cool. And we're off to the pendants. Which are... Oh, they're not the things up by the thingy. Okay. <laughs> Where we started, there were like all these little hover houses, which made me think, oh, oh, is there? Bro, this is cool. Where are you? When oh, you, you go there, okay, you okay. walk inside. It is very neat looking. It it looks like a, a high fantasy apartment complex. Yeah, I look at that. Super into this. Are they going to add housing here? That'd be cool. Yeah, man, oh. I would freaking buy a house here. Uh, this quest, is cool shit. Question for the chat. Is there any Idleshire stuff going on here? Like, is this advanced past when people saw it originally has it changed did it like get built up on and we're seeing like the late form of it or is this just the way it looked when people got here okay not here okay cool cool crystal exarch says oh there you are i was just finalizing the matter of your accommodation you'll have a private room here at the pendants for the duration of your stay to make use of as you see fit when you are ready to retire, the manager will show you to your lodgings. Pray, rest, and recuperate, and we shall reconvene in the ocular anon. I believe that covers all of the practical concerns. Thank you for answering my call, Tune and Val. We are denied the comforting blanket of night, but may peaceful dreams attend you nonetheless. All right, but where are my blackout curtains? I need they them. might have them. Might be clickable. <laughs> Manager of Suites. A pleasure to meet you, sir, and welcome to your new home at the Pendants. Your room is ready if you care to retire. I do. I do. Let's have Finn sleep! I mean, we just went on a long talk about, like, why you can still send mail. Of course they have blackout <laughs> currents. Look at them. They're right there. They're right there. Hey! Hey, there they are. Yeah. Look at all the stuff that you still can't put in your personal room. Mm. Was There's an you? aggressive window opening. <laughs> <laughs> I seem disappointed. I seem extremely. I look so depressed. You? Who, oh, oh, that. Oh, oh, oh damn! Darkness. Yeah. I know you. You're the warrior of light from the source. Shall we sync up? I went to source because I didn't realize the first line was even voiced. Yeah. So I'll see you at source. Yep, I'm or at you source. already there. I'm here. Okay. Yeah, I didn't hear the U either, unless it was like really right. quiet. Three, two, one, go. This dude has the worst facial hair. He's trying. How old is he? Like. That's like 21 year old facial hair. It's fine. Dude, looks like Fred Durst. Oh, oh and, okay. and we're going to freaking do it again. Uh, I'm going to go on Warrior of Darkness because I, I have eyes that work in a, and also a functioning memory. But you, well, I, that's what we fought him and like when we were mad at him. I kind of want to say who you are. Not because I've forgotten who you are, but because I'd like to know your real name, bro. He's the Warrior of Darkness. I'm going with that. That's rude. You do what you want. We will diverge. Okay. In let's, three, let's... two, one, go. Did you just... You can hear me? <laughs> He's such a dweeb. Oh, God, how long has it been? And who are you, he says. Enemy not worth remembering, apparently. <laughs> My name is Ardbert. Ardbert! In the first, I was a warrior of light. But in the source, you knew me as the warrior <laughs> of darkness. Man, if my name was Ardbert, I'd use an alias too. 
If you recall my tale, it was my comrades and I who caused the flood. Clean your axe, bro. We thought our home doomed. And so we listened to the Asians. Let them guide us to the source and try to hasten their god's damn oh, yeah, Ravana. I remember when we fell, defeated by you and yours. I remember our audience with Minfilia, how she listened to our pleas and returned our souls to the first. The flood was poised to swallow Norvrant. Minfilia and my friends, they... They surrendered what little they had left to hold it back. Just faded away. Leaving me to bear witness. Tell me, do you know the year? How much time has passed since we caused the flood? I do? A hundred years. A hundred long years. There we go. Okay, yep. yep. Ghost confirmation. My hands find no purchase. My gestures catch no eye, and my pleas, be they whispered or screamed, reach not a single ear. But we can make some pottery, bro. I am a shade. Cursed to do naught but drift. I feel as if I've been walking forever. I hardly noticed when my mind and body began to fray at the edges. Then bang! My senses were sharp again. I felt like a fish being reeled in, and before I knew it, I found myself in this room. Why is it that you can see me? What are you even doing here, come to that? So much just happened, and I'm just accepting the fact that I can see you. I have no questions. <laughs> right. You were summoned to save the first. A waste of time. This world is beyond saving. Like those who try to save it. Muddled as my mind may be, I've not forgotten that. But if fate has brought me to you, the one person in this God's forsaken world who can see and hear me, then perhaps there is a reason I endured. If I can find out why I was left behind, then maybe, maybe I can bring this journey of mine to an end. The flutes are rocking. <laughs> well, I'll be watching, Warrior of Light. But do me a favor. Be careful out there. This world has had its fill of heroes. Ooh. Ooh, that's a good line. I like, oh. Mm. Mm. Mm, that's an epic shit. I like that. <laughs> My warrior of is just standing here like, bro, all I wanted to do was take a nap. <laughs> but there we go. It's <laughs> just in my armor. Just full armor. Still buckled in my boots like I'm at a con. <laughs> Taking a snooze in the hall. <laughs> Speak with the manager. There's a ghost in my room. <laughs> Excuse me, I would like Sir? a ghost. I've requested a ghost free room. Should I speak with it? Wait, oh, I guess I was completing the goal to speak with the manager. Okay. <laughs> we have now spoken with the manager. <laughs> we can continue. 
Where are we Lovely. going? Oh, back to the back to the tower. What? What's in this hole? Back to the tower. There's wait. There's nothing in this hole. Wait. Why is there nothing in this hole? Are we above nothing? Or is that? Oh, it's water. Oh, okay. All right. I need a little bit of light. Okay. Like, what are you talking about? There's a hole. Yeah, there's a hole. There's a frog and a log in the hole. <laughs> You're a log and the frog. A handsome city. Talking to the gatekeeper. 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 Raise the gate. Shooter. <laughs> you, you guys had <laughs> you got matching uniforms. All right, you head in. Yep. Oh, cool. it does not trigger a cutscene. I'm assuming. Oh, cool. Ah, this is a nice room. Oh yeah, good yeah. room. It, it, the doors work now. A portal to the source in the oh, back here. Oh. Ooh. 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 Sorry, bro. I, I come, I come and go freely, but I'm gonna click on it. I want to see what happens before I talk to him. Are you gonna try? Does it kick me out? Oh, it, it just it puts you in the trench. Oh, nice. Can you click back on the trench and come back? Uh, that's what I'm trying to figure out because it put me in the middle of the trench and yeah. there's nothing to click on. Uh, it would appear no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it would appear I cannot click to come back. Oh, you talked to an NPC. Oh, there's a beacon keeper. Cool. Beekeepers. Oh, and there's also, you can uh, exit out to the silver tier. So, cool. Very thematic. I, I appreciate that. Let me know when uh, you're back. Are you ready to click on the crystal exit? I am ready. Uh, look at that. The crane work is back, Kyle. Oh, shoot. When you said ready, I was like, confirmation. I'm, I'm catching up. What? Uh, We're gonna have to sync up anyway. All right, see you on rest. I trust you are able to rest. I'm, I'm at rest. Are you at rest? I'm at rest. Three, two, one, go. Oh, and straight into more talking. Oh, you know what? Uh, you, you could come here for all your sleep and save time, right? Yeah, I'd do that. That'd be badass. What? You could go Doesn't to the matter. first for all your naps, come back to the source like five oh minutes later. Oh my god, you dork. And not have any time left. Oh my god. Play video games all night. So I kind of want to tell him I had a ghostly visitor. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, wait. What? What are you confused about? What? Oh, uh, uh, nothing. I was making you big so everyone could see the puppy. <laughs> do you want to do ghostly? I'm down with ghostly visitor. All right, three, two, one, go. I was not aware the room was haunted, <laughs> and you were rather tired. Well, should you receive another visitation, be sure to let me know. What? Now, what you, let us return to the subject of the Scion's whereabouts. <laughs> Just gonna skip right past my concerns about ghosts. <laughs> Your your question wasn't canon. He ain't afraid of no ghost. Ooh. This map shows the lands of Norfrand, the only area to be spared the flood of light. It's flat. Are are the oceans the also like is here, light the region known pools? As Lakeland. <laughs> Lakeland. <laughs> to the north is Funny the very kingdom of Ilmec. That is where you'll find Orianger. Of course. Oh. So who to do we get to choose between? The because it's the beginning of an expansion, and we're going to have an option of two zones. Your stoler is stationed there, in the heart of the forest. Oh, maybe that's the forest we see burned, Kyle. Alas, oh, yeah. neither location can be reached without considerable difficulty. I see a castle. As such, I would suggest you first seek out one of the twins, each of whom is stationed but a short flight from the Crystarium. Oh, we have to choose between Alice or Alphino. Yeah. Alphino is on Calusia. An island off the western shore. It is home to a city called Yulmor, where the rich and privileged while away their days in idleness. For his part in furthering our cause, 
Alphano journeyed there to meet with the citizenry and forge alliances. Of course he did. From what I hear, he has since kept himself busy gathering information around the main settlement. That's the city with like the zeppelins and shit that we saw in the cinema. Alize, meanwhile, traveled south to the arid wastes of Armoreng. They lie upon the very edge of the inhabitable world, where the flood of light was halted. Those who dwell there live in constant fear of attack by the Sin Eaters. In contrast to her brother, Alize felt that her energies would better be spent learning about the enemy, and thus she sells her services as a guard, both to hone her skills and gather information on her foe. So, will it be Calicia or Armoren? Oh. It matters not which you choose to visit first. Please don't ask me Simply that. Simply inform remember. me once you've made your decision, and I will see to it that you are provided with a suitable mount. Hmm. Ah, but you must be wondering about Thancred. He <laughs> has taken up with a new companion, <laughs> and is presently engaged as a wandering hunter of Sin Eaters. Being ever on the move, his whereabouts are often difficult to ascertain, but I am certain your paths will cross ere long. Well, seems we have a choice to make. Pants. So, I was spoiled on this choice. This is the only thing I was spoiled on, was that this choice was coming up. That oh. we must choose. That's, I would say that's, I wouldn't really consider that a spoiler. It's pretty minor, you know, but still, but still. I, I would nip it in, in the bud, you know, make sure, you know. Oh, God. Don't message okay. me these things. We yeah. have, what what, what what we call John? What, what, was, what was our name for John? The the uh, MS curator. MS curator. We have the MS curator. We have the MS curator. I mean, we'll pull you guys for fun, but we're making this choice. We'll pull you guys yeah, for fun, but we're making this choice. Yes, yes, yes. Um, I did see a, a very generous super chat come through from Jason, which looked like it was just saying which one Jason would prefer, which because I did catch it for a hot second. That's what it looked like to me, and I wouldn't have considered that a, a, a spoiler saying which you prefer. Um, if I read that correctly, um, cause we had already kind of figured out that it was going to be Alphano or Alice. Um, we should do a three, two, one and say our answers at the same time, Kyle, of who we would prefer. Okay. Why don't you want to count down and, uh, uh, stepbrothers, John Stamos, this thing? Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> All right. Are you ready, Kyle? I'm ready. Well, to set up the poll first. Okay. But, but, but cover it up. I don't, don't have it influence your, your choice. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna. I have my choice already figured out. Okay. All right. Let's do it. But I'm curious who chat would say. So I, I do want to know, even though we're not gonna let that choose for us. Uh, but go ahead and let us know who you prefer. Uh, but Kyle, all right. Uh, Al Alpha no first or Alice first on the on. Uh, uh, we'll just go one two three and then yell the name. Yep. Sound good. All right. One two, two three. three Alice. Alice. Okay. Yep. Alize, perfect. Done. 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 Choice is made. Done. Choice is made. <laughs> One, two, three, Alize. We're in a very pretty Done. room though. Should we uh should we hang out for a little bit? Do some do some catch up? We could do some catch up. We could. We could. Also, uh uh uh, uh J Jason, am I on am I was I in the ballpark of what you were trying to get across there? You were you prefer Alpha No first? Cause because I'm okay with that if that's what you were trying yeah, to say. If, if it was just mentioning your own personal preference. Yeah. Yeah, also, thank you for the very, very generous super chat. Um, and I'll keep an eye out. Add us, too, if you're trying to let us know, because it'll help you stand out in chat. But, uh, I'll, get uh, it, I'll get into my logic a little, too. If Alizé wouldn't like it here, but Alphino would. As demonstrated by him going off to some... Like, he shows up butt naked, and he's like, Ah, oh, are there people I can talk to here? And they're like, uh, yeah, there's a whole city. He's like, excellent, well... Pulls on like a pair of pants. I'm off. And Crystal Legs starts like, all right, <laughs> bye. He's like, yep. I'm off to go do politics. <laughs> Alice would be like, where am I? I have places to be. I'm too busy. I want to go home. And that's why we should save her first. 
Mm. My my thinking was just Alphino was already off doing his own thing, uh, and we had went on quite a journey with Alisay, and I feel very close with Alisay at this point in time. Yeah. So I just want to pick right back up. You know, we were already pretty removed from Alphino when when he yeah, went on his his let's call it spirit walk. I guess he was already he was already off. He was already doing his own thing. Oh. Uh, Looks like we are uh, we are not special. We are not original. Kyle Al- Alice is currently dominating the poll. Sure, as as it should. I mean, it literally was like excellent. Would you like to go talk politics when you just got here, or would you like to see why this world is dangerous and cool? And you're like, well, yes, I, especially I, after the intro quest, mostly just told us why money makes sense here. I kind of I kind of want to go see like the wall of light and like the sin eaters coming out of it and like you know some badass yeah. stuff. Let's go do it. Yeah. I want that all. Yeah. I want all of it. And then later we I can go to Alphano and be like, have you seen this shit? And he's like, yes, that's all well and good. Are you aware that the cat people have a tower over the, the poor and destitute? Well, get prepared for faction names because here we go. And you're like, okay, well, at least I've digested this place a little bit. <laughs> uh, you want to catch up on some supers before we move on? Yes. Cool. Hey, Fane, thanks for the super chat. Said Jonathan Bailey, Lord Anthony Bridgerton voices our crystal friend. Also, hi, guys. I'm late, but hope you're having a good stream so far. We are. Well, thank you. We are having a good stream so far. I'm sorry. I'm getting a, uh, a hurricane alert from my, co- my county. Why? Mm. Oh, they're informing us of some garbage pickup. That's actually quite important, but I'll read that later. Oh, because of the garbage. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> There's a yep. lot of crap to pick up. That makes sense. Um, that yeah. makes sense. Yeah. Uh, Ryan, thank you for the super chat. Subs for Scotland. And uh, they followed immediately by Gabriel in super chat. I don't know the Scottish are here. I thought it was a really good choice. I assume in Japanese, it's more of like the... I would assume in Japanese, it's more of like the little girl cutesy kind of voice they do. I'm not sure. Actually, what, what is the voice in Japanese? What accent do they go with? Because I think they nailed it, keeping it in something that was more curious and pixie fun having rather than mm. trying to do what i think a lot of animes do and they're like oh we'll just do like a little girl voice for it and it never lands for me it's always kind of weird and mm. i don't think english sounds it doesn't really work for me it's always kind of weird gotcha well this casts more light on a browsy sent in a super chat that said that uh pixies like feo ol are non-binary and use they them pronouns yep yeah, that makes sense gotcha gotcha uh, Tryhard Songbird. Oh, this is a message. Just gifted us a membership. Thank you, Tryhard. Thank you very much. Uh, dear Burzo, super chatted, fail all best side person for the Warrior of Light. Great, great voice. Oh, that's, that's the name of the pixie. Got it. It is yeah. a great voice. It is a great voice. This came, the, when the voice was disembodied, it was just like, there's a lot of energy. This is yeah, I, I thought they nailed it. Very extra. They nailed the pixie energy. Mm. And Dino, thanks for the super chat. Congratulations, your fey packed warlocks now. That's true. It's a D&D are, reference. Are, are they a familiar now? Is that how this works? I fey packed warlocks are is a D&D reference, but no, nah, it's um. Mm. You mentioned like the long fingernails and stuff. That like pixies need an element of danger. Like that's more classic fairy tale. And I think they're gotcha. doing it very well so far. Gotcha. Sorry, I'm getting Discord DMs. I don't, I don't read Discord DMs during the stream, so uh, all it does is confuse me when I see a bunch of notifications pop <laughs> up. <laughs> um, let's see here. Kiyoshi, think of it, Super Chat. I love how they take advantage of different accents in the games, uh, in this game's voice acting. Some really great acting in this expansion. It's been fantastic yes. since Heaven's Ward. Uh, and there's even some Realm of Born voice actors. I straight up miss. I think Merweb was better in a Realm of Born. Well, it bothers me in, in, in English dubs, they often get rid of all the accents. But even in Japanese, you have like high end and you have like, you have uh, regionals and gangsters and like all, and then they, they just, English, it's all just a bunch of people talking. So I'm glad they've like, they found ways to localize it and like a Scottish fairy showing up. We're like, oh yeah, this is mystical. This works for me in English. This is great. Mm. Gaius was a straight up upgrade though. Oh yeah. Oh, if we're yeah. talking, yeah, if we're moving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If we're moving between, yeah. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Super Sideswiper, thanks for the super chat. Meet your first pixie. They're the source of the battle tribal quests and sh- 
she, I believe they, uh, one of the less manic pixies. Less manic. <laughs> yeah. My goodness. Well, they've got to participate in society. I bet you they're all, you know, what? you got to like hyper violent pixies. If they don't do hyper violent pixies, they're doing the fairy tale wrong. I hope they do it. Mm. They do it. Mm. Gotcha. Austin super chatted uh, Fables pronouns are they them, as the Exarch says, and their actor is genuinely Scottish. Nice. As, a, as opposed to most dwarves in Lord of the Rings and World of Warcraft where they're fake Scottish. Well, also with this is a UK based voice acting company that does like BBC That's radio true. plays. So they would have yes. access to actual accents, not yes. American. That would make a lot more sense. That would make a lot more sense. Fane, thank you for the super chat. Ardbert here is voiced by Gendry from Game of Thrones. Yes, I knew that. Yeah, he's I doing good. He's doing Even though good. Gendry doesn't, you know, Gendry is not in Game of Thrones a lot. No. Pretty involved in season one, and then it kind of falls off forever, and then comes back right when the show gets terrible, sadly. But yeah, poor, Gen he, poor Gendry. He was almost like a red herring of importance. He thought he was going to have a really big part to play. The, the final two seasons was a red herring of importance. We don't need to kick it while it's down. Everyone never knows it's bad. Yes, we do. It's literally <laughs> the worst ending in the history of anything. They deserve it. Uh, Baggins, thanks for the super chat. If Garrett's name were Ardbert, he'd use an alias. I'd suggest Gardbert with two R's and two T's. I'm just going to write that down for my mm. next tune if I ever make an alt. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yak D culture thing of the super chat. I'm very happy that you guys are finally in Shadowbringers, which I think is the best expansion of Final Fantasy so far. Please come to Brazil. I'd love to. I'd love to. We would need to have a talk about that. That would be a major expense. Yeah, it would be uh, a <laughs> coordination. But yes, I would I would not be against that. Would not be against that. Other than I would probably feel very self-conscious if I visited a beach. I hear everyone takes good care of themselves down there. You'd have time. You, you My understanding is everyone's extremely hot. Yeah. Everyone's extremely hot. Uh, Guardy, thanks for being a member for two months. Don't you love it when your break at work lasts 20 years? Are, are you taking a break on the first? Would be yes, right? Yes. Yeah, I get I get confused sometimes, but yes. <laughs> As a Brazilian, that's not true, said Henry K in chat. <laughs> The, the 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 did I ever tell you about when I went to Toronto for Jocelyn's wedding, Kyle, and my my how astounded I was at Canadian security at the Toronto airport? I don't think so. Everyone, they all look like UFC fighters. Oh, just every single they just jacked, perfect shape. Everyone was just super. All the guards were super hot. Maybe it was the workplace. And, Maybe it was and it would have been terrifying if they weren't the, the most polite people you ever asked for directions to the next gate. It's just that workplace culture. Like, you know, the second someone takes off, all that motivation goes. Oh, you and got it. Got it. Been, so one yeah. person showed up and they were into like working on and themselves. And they get everyone, and everyone else into it. Yeah, yeah. Everyone so, else starts yeah. lifting. Yeah, maybe that, maybe that yeah. was it. Maybe that was it. Now I'm curious who patient zero was. Patient zero of, of uh, being fit. But yeah. Desades, thanks for the super chat. Said simping for Exarch and Ardbert's VA. Yes. Mm. <laughs> yeah, you do you. Yeah. You do you. They all sound very handsome. Yes. Snowbites, thanks for the super chat. Chat, calm down with telling the gents what choices to make. Thanks. It's all right. We don't we don't listen. Yeah. <laughs> you can tell us what you want us to do all the time. We will not listen to you. Have yeah. fun. Yeah, Have that's fun. that's not a spoiler. No. Have fun telling us what to do, even if we won't do it. Uh, Valea, thanks for another super chat. Choose your fighter. We do. Alice. I choose Alice. P. Max Shao super chat. Basically, polling and not giving us a choice is like your mom asking if you want vegetables and giving you some, regardless of your answer. I'm legitimately curious what the popular choice is. Well, even I did... if I will not, even though I am listening to it, but I'm not listening to it, we made our choice based on our own choice. I did label this in a very certain way i said what did you choose on your first playthrough i didn't ask which is the correct choice because <laughs> there's probably a correct choice one that like you're good like that yeah yeah i mean honestly if if we if we disappointed you i'm very sorry we mistook the twin for the other that's my answer why are you confused i'm not confused i I'm I'm fanboying too much in the fact that if you still confuse him at this point, you've been skipping. That ain't right. Like there's there's so much going on there. 
Chris Sotols, thank you for the super chat. It was us and Alice against the world, and then and when she left, and I, or, or and then she left, and I didn't want her feeling like she abandoned us, so it wasn't even a choice. Yeah, that's how I'm feeling. Yeah, we were together. Lunar Lucario, thank you for the generous super chat. I picked Alphano first and personally liked that choice. Uh, I feel backed by this choice as the official soundtrack of Shadowbringers has the music for the areas unlocked by the <laughs> Alphano choice on the soundtrack first. Ow, ow. It's musical canon. Um, it's auditory canon, Kyle. How do you spell Alizé? It, every time I, I every, every time I... I feel like when I spell something out for you, it doesn't help. Okay, no. So, yeah, I was just checking if they were in ABC order. But, yeah, the music might be might be an influence. No, they aren't. Yeah, Alice would come first. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, our love, Jay, thank you for the super chat, says, Fun fact, Joe Dempsey, who voices Ardbert, also voices Arnvald. Arnvald has, like, two voice cutscenes. Doesn't he? I feel like Arn I very vaguely remember Arnvald even having a, a word to say. Uh, he had a lot to say when we got into patch content there in Stormblood. We did that whole oh, city with right. him and stuff, and he was talking that's, quite a bit yeah. at that point. Yeah, dude, looking back on that, uh, the, the the point one patch is not the most interesting. I don't re I don't retain a lot of the info from that. I really like the Arnvald stuff. I there was also a lot of setup for that first dungeon, and you got there, and while the dungeon itself looks very cool, the monsters were, I thought, pretty, they were kind of a letdown. Yeah, when they were t when they were talking about the curse and all that stuff going on down there, and you just kind of like fight some dudes. Anyway, I digress. Uh, this doesn't tell me your name. Somebody was celebrating their three month membership, and the message was retracted. But also, I can't see your name for some reason. Is that GG well played? Is that their why is their name tiny? Is that their name? Oh, I, th I thought it always said GG well played after a member. Oh yeah, you're right. Oh, they have, they have no name. They had no yeah, name. I don't know. There's I don't know what's going three on. Three months a member and no name. Yeah. Weird. Maybe Silver they're just a Maybe. Maybe they were blank. <laughs> oh, it was Eva, says Kara. Thank oh, you for okay. the information. Silvernode, thanks for the super chat. Did you notice that the floor inside the Exarch's room is what appeared in the visions when talking to the Exarch before Shadowbringers? Oh, I feel like I sort of kind of thought that, but... Yes, it's hmm. the platform we were standing on when we met the Exarch. What? Are you freaking counting the circles? Yep, there's 14. So there's 14 hole. Yep, that makes sense. It's 14. Yep. Cool. Oh, it's like a star map. So, yeah. uh, so it would all be converging on the source uh, is where all those lines. You see all the lines are? Yeah. Oh, and does that tell a story? Because then there's lines like linking other with direct lines from one world to another. Excuse me of being nerdy and you're going deeper than me. Well done. No, but you're not you. It's your fault. <laughs> it's your freaking fault. It's a diagram. It's a yeah, diagram. you've got, I, I guess it would be the, the 13th reflection of uh, 12th, 11th, 10th is connected directly to the 10th two times for some reason. I don't know. I don't know why. Yeah. I don't know what all this means. I don't know what all this Probably means. Some stuff. Some YouTube channels. And then are there others that are just like, are we just doing orbits? Like there's a circ there's a circle kind of around the center that doesn't really attach to any of the reflections. Why is that? What's going on there? They just think it looked pretty or is there a meaning to it? This is Kyle's fault, everybody. <laughs> Let it be known. If you shame anyone, shame Kyle, which by the way, Kyle, have you liked the stream? Speaking of Can shaming Can I like you, my own stream? Uh, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, I'm going to try. Yeah, go I'm for it. I'm going to try. Let's see. Can you like Let's your own see, stream? Copy. I am logged in to the main account. Can I like my own stream? Yes, I can. All right. Yes, I can. Nice. I am supporting myself. Do it. I'm liking I'm liking it for you, Kyle, not for me. Thank you. I like the stream. Yeah. It's a good stream. Umatsu, thank you for the super chat. In Final Fantasy 14, English is the canon. 1.0 only had English. Because the cinematics are in English, right? Really? Oh, I didn't know that. Weren't there, weren't, uh, at least, I mean, it could just be in really good localization. I didn't know. I didn't know. Coral, thank you for the super chat. Every time I go to a hotel after playing Shadowbringers, I get disappointed that a complimentary ghost boyfriend is not included. I'm sorry. And going I'm sorry to for hotels. your disappointment. You can go to haunted yeah. hotels. I can't say that it'd be a ghost boyfriend. Yeah. 
Ryan, thanks for the super chat. I went with Red Alpha now. It's the correct choice. Yep. <laughs> not really. Not really. I'm not going to tell you it's the right, right or wrong choice. Yeah. Omelette O'Clock super chatted that musical canon sounds lovely. Musical canon sounds painful. It's a visual gag. There's a second N. I get it. Yeah. I get it. F fire the <laughs> fire the music. Yeah, D Culture, think of the super chat. Gaius' new voice actor also voices all the Moogles in this experience. Is that true? <laughs> no, no way. That would Is be that great true? if that was the case. It's just Bruce Bolton out there just laying it on thick well, it's for true. all of the Moogle. When it comes to voice acting, the lower voice you have, the more often you play silly characters because you can crack your registry. Ah. And then Caddy. Thanks for the super chat. The twins have been here a whole year, and we thought having to wait a few weeks since you finished 456 was rough. Someone should have told us about the time slippage, and then we could have waited a year and just been like, we were just going with the, you know, we we're just trying to keep it in the in the world yeah i don't know alizé might be the type to give us the slap when we see her you know like it's gonna be one of those visual gags mm. where she's like you and then like approaches you as though you're gonna get a hug or something but then you get just smacked across the face if the crystal exarch knows where they are i'm assuming the crystal exarch has had words with them so he's probably already explained this to alice well who did, knows how time works did he give up by then though because he was saying with Oriange and Yishtola, he worked a long time to try to send them back. But sounds like by the time Alize and Alphano got here, he was kind of done with it. So, yeah, but it seems like they all started here. So I'm assuming he at least would have talked to Alize and been like, "Hey, just so you know, time is wild here." But Alize, he's five people deep, so he probably had like a brochure. He's like given up. He's like, <laughs> all, right, well, "All right, welcome to the first. Here you go. Here's your pants. Here, I got this printed at the local print shop. Mm -hmm. uh, I paid with Gil from your world, yes, and I've... now I'm going to launch into an explanation of how Gil from our world and your world works the same, and we call it the same thing." As you might be aware. All right, uh, Loy. Think of the super chat. It was removed from uh, our lovely mod, deemed uh, deemed spoiler adjacent. But thank you for the support. Shall we click on the crystal legs art? Let's do it. Uh, oh, oh yeah, we get to make a, ch a choice here. So uh, clicking on in search of Alize in three, two, one, go. Oh, oh God, there's an accept button. Oh, how it's just a reedy. How many do you, okay. Ready to depart for Amarang. Oh, here, you said this and I don't remember how it was pronounced. Uh, Alize will be overjoyed to keep you safe. I know she was particularly concerned for your well-being. She, uh impressed upon me how regrettable the timing of her summoning was repeatedly <laughs> i great. bet i bet i only hope that my part in sending you to her will garner me oop, punch things garner me some measure of forgiveness here this is a letter of introduction addressed to a man named cassard the master of a merchant caravan there are a few who know the ways of the desert as well as he does find him at the amaro launch and he will see that you reach your destination does he have amaro to them to the something i i would like an amaro i mean should we pick up alpha nose now so we have it no i don't want to leave it here for theming i because he might he might be like you need, you must go and talk to so and so and by the time we do it i'll be like who the heck are we all talking right. to all right where, where am i all going right. Uh, I'm just going to exit because it looks like we, I mean, we need to exit from the Crystarium yep. anyway, so I'm going to be slightly less. Uh, all right. Where are we heading? Where are we heading? It's like we're going to a porter or the something. Am the Amara launch. We got laser guns. We got laser guns and people doing push-ups and squats by them. All right. And this fine chap up here doing pull-ups. Cassard. Oh, you gonna do a voice modulator? You want me to hit him with the New York X? Oh, what are we doing? I, I was distracted by the giant laser guns. I want. I'm excited to see the lasers, cause you know that the Heavensward City never really became under attack, like in a participate kind of way. I, I don't know what you're talking about with the laser guns, cause I'm already locked into conversation. Laser guns over there. All right, I'm just gonna believe you. I'm heading towards Cassard. Cassard says, Hmm, if you've come looking for work, I might have a spot under the guard. Give me the missive. 
Oh ho! A friend of the Ekthorn. Hoping to meet someone in... Uh, what, what was this? I don't know. Bangarang. Are you? <laughs> then I shall be your guide. I was about to set off to, to our outpost there. As a matter of fact, so we can leave right away. Assuming you have everything you need. All set. And off the unforgiving sands we go. <laughs> Capcano, thanks for the super chat. You clown on the currency thing, but do you really want another currency to grind for? Have fun with Alice. Eh? Much like the Warrior of Darkness ghost appearing yeah, to me, I have no questions. This is insane and off the rails, and I just accept anything that happens at this point. I didn't need an explainer for money. I'll be like, sure, fine. Here's my money. Let's move on. <laughs> Are you ready to advance past Tamer to Fly the Desert? Uh, wait, what? What the frick are you talking about? You can also use Aether Compass. I assume, like, advancing past these is going to cause a cutscene to begin. I'm at all set, then off to the Unforgiving Sands we go. What are you oh, talking shoot. about? Oh, shoot. Well, I'm already ahead of you, then. Catch up. Catch up quick. You can now travel to... Now keep going, uh, keep going, keep going. Um, Meringue, oh, speak with the... You can also use your ether Earth, the nation of Nabath, Arang once Too late, I'm enjoying the cutscene. When I journeyed here long ago, I spoke with a sun-weathered elder. He told me Armarang meant majestic land in the language of his people. And so it might still be, were it not for the light's unrelenting onslaught. motorcycles everybody well that was gorgeous very well before we set off uh we have been live for over two hours want to take a stretch yeah let's do a little stretch you go first i go first I rock go for paper it. scissors me for it now nah, you go for it you go for it i'm i've got my i, I want to see these these tilted buildings i do too i'll look at them when i come back be cool. right back all right see you in a moment garen hi everybody welcome how y'all doing today? Hope you have a good Monday out there chilling. Motorcycles in my fantasy game? Outrageous. I hate every second of it. It all it, it makes that you do you do Alexander like everything's fine now. The music hits and Alexander you're like, "You know what? I I will allow this." Oh, sick. But I do agree with Garrett that like it, they're so we're just on another star so I, i'm i'm down for anything it's nice they're justifying so much but also i'm just like hey well, you know they just let it happen like time is different sure why not it's all down i love the sunken little city thing going on here <laughs> coming to you live from the first live from the first we got so ooh, oh we got some monster models oh look at you oh look at you Oh, look at you. He's a cutie. <laughs> well, hang on. Nope. Come on. Nope. Come on. There we go. <laughs> it's a very chill soundtrack. I've liked all the music so far. Best named fate in the game? I don't know. There's a lot of pun fates. I don't know. He's vast. Yes. Vast is a good word for it. Turn around. Let's see your lovely face. And when we got, what, like, uh, uh, Ankylosaurs? All the new monster models coming out. Welcome, Fred Neck Teddy. Glad you could join us. Other super shall await the arrival of Garrett.
if you aren't watching spy x family just start up again it is very fabulous so much happens in an episode it's such a satisfying watch but i am really enjoying that really chill show i found um uh, a parallel world pharmacy it's a bizarre premise and it's super duper cute prepare for the best battle music of all time oh oh big big throwdown i liked heaven's words a lot i liked heaven's words a lot it's fun for the whole family, the Spy X family. It's just a cute show. Though I'm, I'm sad that they redid the outro because the outro was maybe my favorite part. Max, five out of five borfs. Five out of five borfs. Oh, you started after the podcast. Nice, nice. Yeah, if people aren't familiar, we do do a podcast where we have prolonged conversations about other things we might be digesting. Last night, I dove into... Jedi Fallen Order a little bit. So I'll be talking about that this week. And I started playing Yakuza 0, which I am not far at all. I basically fired up the game. I'm saving that for when Chris and I can hang out because we're going to enjoy. I've heard that's a good introduction because it's not too deep in the lore. We're going to get to some Yakuza 0 eventually. And then their uh, Game Pass is going to have... Persona 5, I guess, day one. That's why I signed up for it, because I was going to buy that anyway. But if Game Pass is going to have it, I have been recommended that game so many times. Persona 5. Sounds like the perfect chilling game for when the newborn gets here. It's coming up fast. Coming up fast. End of this month is the due date for number two of the family. But Persona 5, oh, it's turn based. I'm going to chill, have a baby just sleeping on the couch, full, you know, full back. It's going to be chill. These guys are cute. Gantz? Yeah, I've seen Gantz. That was a weird show. Gantz is a, it was intense. Granted, I'm a little older now. I've seen more intense animes, but... Uh, and Gantz came out before a lot of TV was doing that sort of thing. So, Gantz was intense. Very intense. I really like Heaven's Word's music. I think Heaven's Word, uh, to me, like the, the operatic or the um, organ kind of sound was my favorite so far. I need to change out my mount. I need a I need a first worthy mount. I'm here on my Stormblood themed mount. What have I got that's first adjacent? I got a robot. I got a Mega Sheba. Midgar's probably not doing. It. Uh, Antelope's kind of all bathed in light and stuff. Uh, that looks pretty good. Maybe I should just get out my Chocobo since we'll be adventuring proper. Got my Yole. Just go to bed. Do the chair. Never did a Realm Reborn Extremes? No. Um, I did a few to, like, get this pony. But I never... I, we haven't done them, like, on minimum eye level and all that sort of thing. <laughs> Do the gorilla. The gorilla of the first. Actually, this thing's kind of bathed in light. It's got those, like, glowy wings. But I guess I won't be flying here, so it won't be as cool. Let's, let's, let's do let's do bananas. Let's get out bananas. Who is bananas? Bananas is my chocobo. Since we're gonna be oh. adventuring, I'm gonna put my chocobo on my bar. Ah, uh, let me do the uh, let me do the same. All right, you are back. I have read no supers, nor memberships. Noise. We'll do those together. I shall return. Cool. Company chocobo. Where are you at? My chocobo is named Toyo. Oh, how we doing, chat? <sighs> What's up? How you doing? Give Kyle a good non-spoilery barding. Have a good break. I did. I went and stretched my legs. Make sure the blood was flowing. Snacked on an almond bar for a little energy. Am I enjoying the chill vibes? I am. I am. Like without the Ya uh, and Toyota, no, I named it after the Japanese tire brand, which is just called, to yeah, Toyo is a, 
Like T O Y O is just a is a Japanese tire maker. Yes, Toyo like the tires. Yes. Good old Toyo. I just sold a. Uh, no one cares about this, but I just sold a spare pair or set of Toyo tires I had laying around for my last car that I don't have anymore, and it won't fit the wheels we currently own. But yeah, made some more room in the garage. Ooh, excuse me. Have I seen Initial D? Yes. I've also seen the live action adaptation, which is one of the only live action anime adaptations I actually like. I, uh, I really like that show. I don't love the ending. Don't love the ending. Um, but uh, overall, overall, it's a it's a very good anime, especially if you are a massive freaking Japanese car nerd, which uh, I am. I like me some Japanese cars. And Initial D has some of the best ones ever. Initial D has a live action. Yes. Yes, it does. And they went out and they got all the freaking legendary ass JDM cars that are in that anime and put them in the movie. And it's great. The acting is like whatever, but I, you know, it's worth watching for the cars. It's a good car movie. Oh, where do we leave off? <clears throat> Do, 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 do. Didn't like Dragon Ball Evolution. I remember watching that with my roommates in college and we were just ripping on it so hard. Uh, let's see. Are you going to watch MF Ghost? It's an initial D sequel. Yes. That's not out yet, right? Because I believe. Yes, this MF Ghost stars my wife's actual car. <laughs> so uh, we were both very excited when we heard that this was happening. I think the manga is already out, but I, I, I don't I don't read manga. I will watch the show whenever it re releases. Garrett, which are your favorite car movies? Um, I'm not into a lot of car movies, but I, I, I like the the original Fast and Furious is probably the one I watched the most. Um, that or Tokyo Drift. Uh, a lot of people like clown on Tokyo Drift, but it's a really good car movie with some amazing car stunts, like real car stunts. And it's got a really good uh, mix of cars in it. Um, but uh, also, I'm a big fan of Gone in 60 Seconds, the Nicolas Cage one. That's a great car movie. Um, I haven't seen a lot of the older classics. Welcome back. Thank you. So, like, I haven't seen like Cannonball Run or any of that. I saw Smoking the Bandit way back in the day, but I, it's not really for me. Not really my jam. Have you watched Redline yet for me? I, I've, dude, I've only, I've seen the good scenes. I uh, haven't sat down and watched the whole movie. I've seen the best parts of Redline. I watched the worst car anime ever, which is the final two episodes of uh, Cyberpunk 2077. <laughs> we'll talk. We'll talk about it someday. Exactly. Exactly. Full Eagle's hour got of it. bumper cars. <laughs> yeah, Eagle's got it. Eagle's got Full it. hour of bumper cars. Um. Yeah, let's see. Thank you for reminding me that uh, Initial D is getting a sequel. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. Did you did you talk to the guy back here or did you just come forward to look around? Yeah, I was just looking at some monster models. There's like a giant cactus thing down there, so I have not talked to anybody. <laughs> giant cactus thing. Can we As... super before we set sail? Uh, Yes, where do we leave off? We were at... Uh, musical Canon, Gaius Moogles. Twins have been here a whole year. Okay, I think we were on uh, Al. Oh, I remember you clown on currency. Yeah. Uh, we're at Dottie. We left off at Dottie. Okay, okay. Thank you, Dottie, for the super chat. Said BGM 100 for this absolute bop. I uh, hope it was already there. Yep. I hope it was already, already there. at that volume. Sometimes it betrays passed. us, but it's there. Yep. Nick of Force, thanks for the super chat. Man, Garrett and Kyle are so cool. I wish they were real. <laughs> I do too. I do too. I want to be a real boy. Oh, I haven't seen the flying carpet mouse. Where? Damn, that is a high resolution carpet. Oh. Oh, oh, look at the design. Look at the design. There's a moog there's moogles. There's those weird uh, furry animal creatures I always forget the name of. Oh, this is fantastic. What a great mount. Interesting. Is this a store one or is this a, a, a achievable? I'm going to assume that's a store. I feel like every time I'm really impressed by a mount, it's a store mount. But 
Store. Ah. Uh, we'll see. Ah, uh, smog store. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. All right. All right. All right. I'll go. I'll go grab myself one. I like that mount. I'm gonna have to get that. Um. So I wanted to do my. Uh, I want to change the armor. Oh my chocobo, which I do so infrequently, I forget how to do it. Uh, you go. I believe you go to chocobo. Yeah, but where is Chocobo? Companion, I believe. Skills, appearance. Yep, companion. Companion, appearance. There we go. Let's see. <clears throat> I guess this world doesn't have Chocobos. It's got weird dragon beasts. You're a weird dragon beast. I wish. <laughs> you, you, that would be, that would be your reaction to being told that. That would be it. All right, I am now in the revelry armor, which I love for the chocobo. It's probably my favorite chocobo armor so far. Um, let's see. Dotty also joined the gearbox. Thanks, Dotty. Appreciate Thanks, your Dottie. membership. Torb. Torb is uh, celebrating two months at one of my favorite tracks in game. I sat here for 30 minutes when I got here just chilling. It is very chill. I, it is it is chillerific. What's the song uh, called? Well, Kyle, we know it's not the first one in line canonically in the music. Oh, that's right. That's you, well, yeah, I have to scroll too deep. So, yeah, save me from music spoilers and tell me the name of the song. There we go. Perfect. Sands of Amber. Sands. Fields of Amber. A land long dead. Lo no, uh, land long dead is um, the burn music, right? Something about amber, sands, sands of amber. Sands, sands of amber. Okay. Uh, VX Iceless super chatted. Starting Shadowbringers is very much a no time to explain type of scenario, and out of the frying pan and into the active volcano sort of deal. Except they find time to explain. They did, yeah, they did money. take time to explain quite they a bit. They definitely have time to explain. They 100. I don't. I feel like they don't, but they they do. They do. Kiyoshi thinks for the super chat. Your warrior of light has had to fight ghost trains and time controlling robots. He's probably not surprised by anything going on. That exactly. I don't. It's just sure. I yeah. accept it. I accept it. Uh, super sideswiper. Thanks for the super chat. Amarang, the Thanalan of the first crying emojis abound. Is that is that where we're at? I mean, it makes sense. It's a desert, right? Thanalan. I'm I'm blanking. What's what's the analyst? That's where you started. Oh, oh, the you'll die area. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, I got it. Yeah, got it. Got it. Whoa, Black Betty, thin on land. Where That's are, how I always remember it. Where are we on the map? Lakeland. Okay. We're in Orlando, clearly. Yeah, we're just outside of it. Oh, we're actually kind of just. Wait, what are we doing in the middle? Wait, aren't we supposed to be in the south helping Alize? We are. Look. No, zoom, we're not. Yeah. Zoom out on your what? map. Yeah, what the heck? Maybe we need to, I don't I don't know. Maybe we'll probably find out, Kyle. Hmm. The map marker is wrong. We might be no, but everyone's here. Maybe People we're are phased saying or something. It's inaccurate. The world map is quite often weird. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Fred Neck Teddy, thanks for being a member for so long. Says, "Hey all, sorry I'm late." No worries. Well, welcome to you. No worries. We didn't right wait for you. You don't need to apologize. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Jelani, thanks for the super chat. Prepare for the best battle music of all time. Oh, that's right. We haven't heard it. Yeah. Heaven's Word's still on top for me. I like the Heaven's Word music. Did I? Somehow my mount music got turned back on. You turned it back on so you could hear... I think you got like a Leviathan pony or something. One of oh, our that's right. That's right. Let's turn that off because the music here is too good. Uh, Fiend or Blackbird, thank you for the super chat. Money can be exchanged for goods and services. Thank you for informing me of that. I didn't know. <laughs> I, I really, I appreciate that explainer. Uh, uh, Sammy Lamb, uh, this this super chat was on all caps. Should we just yell it, Kyle? Sure. Back Holy crap, you should scream Yakuza. I'm not. I'm not gonna, not because I don't like y'all, but because that's like, that's the chill game. So Chris and I like to pick out a game for a chillin' at night and Yakuza 0 is gonna be our chill game. So it's it's on reserve, I'm sorry. Wait, I, wait, oh, did I miss myself. something where you said, you, you tell you, I thought you were playing the Star Wars thing. I'm doing both, Yeah, that that's my solo game that I'm playing all by myself. 
And then ah. I'm playing Yakuza with friends. Okay. You know, okay. With Kristen. Okay. The only thing bad about Fallen Order is uh, the, the, the lead character is the least interesting character in the game. He gets ripped on wrongfully. He's a great insert. Like he is, he's being bland enough that I can just go, oh, it's me. And then move. I don't know why people complain about it. We should all complain about the ending, which I already know. Well, you should just let me be me. The ending's horrible to the game. That's the, my biggest reservation about playing it. You've seen, oh, because you're a freak and you. Oh, cause look, look I, I, no, it was posted everywhere like two weeks later because everyone goes, oh my God, did you know it's him? And you're like, of course it's him. It's all we do around here. I, I like the ending of that game. It's great. Of course you do. It's great. It's with the horror that should accompany such a we'll, we'll talk about it we'll talk about it such a we'll such a it. such I'm a very running. impressed I'm really enjoying it I'm very impressed Kyle looks up the endings of things before he starts it which is why I'm judging him right now not not for this game but for <laughs> most things Steve it's good you know it has a good ending Delilah, thanks for the super chat I told Kyle now I'm telling you Garrett uh, prepare for the best battle music ever yes yeah Winkle, thanks for the super chat. Oh, God, where'd it go? I turned the battle music off once I reached Shadowbringers, not because I hate it, but because I love the area music and was tired of interruptions. <laughs> <laughs> fair. Yeah. Fair. Big man, thank you. Welcome to the Gearbox. Enjoy your perks. Welcome. Voiced, super chatted, Amarang zone music has what I call a lo fi beast to slay Asian stew vibe. Mm. That is accurate. Yeah, this is good work. That is accurate. Right here. Justin super chatted night version is called Sands of Blood. So good. Oh, it changes. A, wait, there's a night. What? There's a night. Oh, hmm. I don't know. Rami, thank you for the super chat. The map is showing you Norvrant, that realm. You are in Amarang, the southern region of the realm of Norvrant. Yeah, I thought that's what the crystal arc was so, talking about weird yeah our wojo uh, super chat just got off work and i'm riding home riding home have a safe ride and then jeff h uh, yelled something that has to do with y yakuza and i don't know how to inflect it i don't know either i'm not there yet i i i, <laughs> I, I assume that's kiru chan but i'm not sure who that is yet because i've never played yeah. a yakuza and i heard this was the right one to start with well i'm gonna click on kassard all right let's roll Oh, there's a motorcycle inside of him. Okay. <laughs> Oof. No matter how many times I come here, the cold never fails to catch me off guard. The sky may be as bright as the scorching hour of the day, but it gets brisk enough to make you shiver. Now, the Xbox letter said I was to take you to the inn at Journey's Head, which is uh, where this Alizé friend of yours is staying. But that's an fair old, wait, what? that's a fair old distance? Oh, I guess like I'm, yeah. So I propose we make a stop in Morg Soak to break up the trek. Allow me to attend to some business and you to enjoy the local hospitality. Sound good? Good. Y y you're not familiar with Morg Suck? No, I'm not. All right, you lot, I'm off. And better not see the goods covered in sand when I get back. Right. We head southwest, straight as an arrow. More soup. <laughs> More soup. Chocobo riding, Chocobo. Riding, Cho. Oh my god, look at this. Yeah, look at that. Isn't he cutie? Oh my goodness. Oh, dude, there's a freaking evil armadillo. Yeah, you've only shot its rock. That is a straight up Pokemon. That is a Pokemon. Wait, is this the I music? Will be, I will not be told otherwise. Wow, I feel like I just walked into a band practice. I don't. I, I feel like I'm I'm, in, I'm about to watch Fully Cooly. I'm gonna attempt to talk to him, but it's getting um, down all um, around me. No. Nope. Stop there a moment. This is your first visit to Amarang, <laughs> is it not? Before you cross the River of Sand, you need to turn around and feast your eyes on that. Oh, I'm feasting my eyes. Yeah, I'm, I'm feasting. It does look good. Should I be feasting in a particular location? Yes. Oh, there's an yes, ether current down the hill. Oh, and it started a cinematic. Ether current down the hill. I'm in a cinematic. It's too late. All right, I'm Yalman. I'll be right there. I'm sure it's not 
If, if anyone dies here, I'll be very surprised. I'll be yawning. All right. Slightly down the hill destination. I see it. them big, didn't they? That's Quasir... Sh oh, shoot. Auto advance. Uh, that's Quasir Shaw, a fortress meant to protect the northern reaches of Nambath Arn. <laughs> Seeing what's left behind, I believe it when they say that it was once one of Noran's mightiest nations. At least until the flood came along. Great chunks of Nabath Arung's land was lost to the light, its great city included. The few who did survive didn't see much point in staying. Most of them, anyway. No, not many chose to come here these days. Not with everything in ruins. Even that hulking great fortress has become little more than an Amaro roost. For me and my caravan. But not everywhere is as deserted as this place. Just wait until you see Mord Squawk. <laughs> Squawk. He's going hard. Let's press on, shall we? I'm getting an Easter current. Do it. Ah, good. We got it's some done. bones. Classic bones in the desert. It's done. I'm going to go check out those bones. It, where are bones? Literally shook. Uh, there's bones when the when the cutscene panned around. Oh, there's some bones up the hill. Oh, we got a red one. Uh, I see the bones. Yeah, we got a red and one. And I see the red giga cactus. Yeah, giga. Yep, exactly. That's what I was gonna go for. Uh, we got okay. We got we got some models. We got some reused models. No problem. No problem. It happens in MMO Berg. It is but a I reflection. Like, oh, it's all, it's all, it's got skin. You can climb it. It's like mossy. Yeah. I want all to right. see monsters again, Gandalf. All right, I'm heading to the steps. The field of amber. The fields of amber. Wow, that, that battle music is intense when it comes online. And Engaging. it's gone. Oh, I... <laughs> I still have the summoner. I'm not high enough level to start this quest. <laughs> Here we are. Morg suck. By the blessed <laughs> shadow. I love this town. Mord suck. Not just full of Mord, but humes. Humes? I would just say Humes. Yeah, Humes, and all manner of others too. It has been long been a refuge for folk displaced by the flood. So the population is nothing if not diverse. Oh, and have you met a Mord before? They might look like shifty little blighters, but a more welcoming lot you could never wish to meet. Speaking of which, we should pay our respects to Master Gen Gen. Gen Gen. <laughs> I'll go ahead, and I'll let him know we've arrived. Oh, look at the, oh, the crystal's kind of like a uh, crystal towery. Nice. Very, very, it looks very good. I guess my music hasn't engaged. It's very quiet in here. There we go. I'll, click, we go. On that, hey, I'll hey, click on that ether. Hey, sky watcher. What's the weather? Nice. <laughs> okay. That's, actually, that's one of my... We should do a Wall of Aetherites. I think this might be my favorite. I really like this Oh, my one. God. Listen, one day when we're current and there's two months until the next patch, we might have to do some weird shit, Garrett. <laughs> right now, that couldn't seem like a more unnecessary Yeah, video. no, it, it's deep on the list, but someday. I am heading to the quest. Do these doors work? Oh, cool. Does your door work? Yeah. Ooh, oh, look at this. Oh, there's a 
Oh. Yeah. Mm hmm. Hmm. A nice little house. Oh, they got a little Let's bit. To... Oh, again, again. Yeah. Are you ready? Uh, have, you, have you? Oh, you're already on him. Yep. I'm seeing windmills. I hope he's voiced. Oh, is he not a... Oh, my word, his face. Yeah. Oh, that's great. <laughs> that's a kobold. I don't think it's a kobold. It, well, actually... I'm, I'm going to say that's a kobold. Have, a, have they all had masks on? What, beady eyes? I'm just going to say that's a kobold. I feel like beady eyes is, a, is being very rude. These I'm all seem rude. Kobold. These all seem rude. All right, I'll go with you on the kobold. Judging by the music, is a reading. Oh, it's voiced! Master Are you ready? Oh. This is the friend of the Exarch I Are you ready was to telling sink? you about. I'm ready. At about three. Wait. Yes. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Very good. Very good. Oh my goodness. No friend or no, all are welcome in Mord Sook. Sook is Mordish for city. As things stand, this Sook boasts the largest and busiest marketplace in all Armorang. Kill me, the Griffin. You'll find ore from the mines here, of course, but all manner of other things too. Many of them rare. What an adorable little city. As I told you before, not many visit Armoring by choice, but Mord Souk's a different story. Merchants come from moms around to purchase the relics the Mord dig up. Really digging on moms there. Aye, that they do. It sounded like they were trying to figure out the pronunciation mid-word like us. <laughs> we clean them and polish them and reveal to the world their true value. That is why they come here, come from far away, come with much money. Real C-3PO energy coming out of this mord. And so Asuk is always busy, busy, busy. No such thing as a thing no one needs. It is like soup with a K in You here. say that every time, soup. Master Gengen. Some sort of family motto, wasn't it? This guy's evil sounding. Or perhaps a Maud philosophy, for which we should all be very grateful. Would that everyone was so willing to take in refugees, regardless of race or creed. Now then, if you intend to spend any time here, you'll want to gain the trust of the locals. Natural. And there's a little custom all newcomers are expected to observe. The cracking of the coin purse. You buy one thing from the market. Price can be low or high, just as long as you buy. As the good Maud says. In fact, the Exarch sent a little something to cover this very expense. Do you have any idea how much money I have? They always do this a in this game. gold great. piece, no less. The first I've held in years. There's a high resolution coin. Oh, it's just because of the low resolution hand. Feels like, really thin. <laughs> Crack your coin pass with me. <laughs> oh no, you want Michael to do cover. I have jars and pots all smooth and shiny. I do like jars. Over here! Come and look! You buy, you buy? Mine, mine, mine! Yeah, yeah, they managed Enough to. of that! Calm, I say! This one must still journey through the barrens. Nothing bulky, nothing heavy, no pots! No cakes. <laughs> yeah, I was just real no cakes energy. Belly. Spend that piece at Ron Ron's place, yes? Eat for three before you leave. Oh, it sounds lovely. Eating for three? Yes, yeah, that's what I do every time I go to Chili's. <laughs> Dude, I... It's a simple idea, but I'm, I'm getting out a very special notebook. This is my D&D. My DMing notebook. I love the idea of the cracking of the coin purse. That's a really cool, like, players arrive in a city, everybody's got to buy something. Kind of, mm, you know, local culture. The mood. Yeah, must, yeah, it's a great idea. Something. That's really cute. All right, I am going to reduce my... I'm sorry, everybody. I'm going to commit a sin. Some of the Sin Eaters, but I am going to reduce my background music. It's always a little too rocking since we've gotten in Shadowbringers. 
Sweet Red Beans, thanks for the super chat. World map is an analog for the source. Amarang is Uldal. Ulmor is Limsa. Ilmeg, Pixie Land is Ishgard. And Rock Tika Forest is Gridania. I was feeling it. And that also puts... I think the Crystal Tower in the exact same spot. Can I go back? Oh, here we go. It's in the top. Eorzea. Yeah, yeah. So it kind of cuts off around the shroud then. I don't like Rock Tika's chances given the cinematic. The what? The the the, the forest zone. Oh yeah, I don't like yeah. Its chances given the cinematic. Yeah, are they, are they just like making war up there? I guess. I mean, he was kind of alluding yeah. to it, like even in this time, people are committing. You know, don't want taking refugees. It's like okay, yep. Yeah, so nuts. Yep. Roleplay Gamer TV. Thank you for uh, becoming a member. Welcome to the Gearbox. Welcome. And thank you for your follow-up super chat that said, I love Shadowbringer. Have a nice adventure. Well, thank you very much. We shall. Thank you very much. And Chernolier, thanks for the super chat. Keep that D&D notebook handy. You'll find a lot. Oh, I will. None of my players are playing Final Fantasy XIV, so I can steal all I want. Just going to just steal just wildly. Steal everything I want. Steal. They won't even know. They won't even know. Welcome to Ron Ron's Traveler. I have wares to empty your purse and fill your belly. Oh, did you run to a... I thought you were here. Nope. It's all good. I saw it. I'm sorry. That's Ed. Oh, that's Edmund. I saw an Ellison with a film strip, which has been used so far today. Oh, <laughs> no good. It's all good. Take your time. Stare and sniff before you choose. No drilling on the merchandise. Yes. Browse Ron Ron's wares. You may move the camera as well as zoom in and out. Target a food stuff and inspect it with <laughs> left click. We got some Gabby jaw action going on. Oh, yes. Oh, my goodness. Oh, look at that. Oh, look mm, at those freaking mm, pitas. Mm, yeah. Maybe it's non. Right. Kind of big. Probably non. Uh, uh, we got some meat. This yeah, that does hungry. look like non. Non is good. I think I'm going to go. I'm going to go in on these, uh, these frogs. Well, everyone's though. favorite. Rump, white worms, slathered in honey. Once you eat a glazed wiggler, you'll never want any other treat. Oh, did you go for the worms? Ugh. You going worms? No, I'm, I, I just now noticed that there was words. Oh, you're like those chewy skewers. Yeah. Find small frogs hiding under rocks, spear with stick, then roast over fire. Crackly on the outside, gooey on the inside. Perfect for snacking. Nice. Oh, we have uh, to browse them all. Okay. Yes, you must browse them all. I'm going to browse these meats. No, it's not the Jabberwocky or whatever the shit that thing was. The what? House in Wonderland? Yeah, look, I don't, the thing, what the, what the shit was the thing you had to, we had to search? Oh, yeah, the, the, yeah, the, the, the Gabby Jaw, the Gabby Jaw. Jaw. The yeah, the, the literally the most difficult to complete quest we've had. Yes, it's the hardest quest in the game. That's my yeah, Casey. Yes, which to choose? Which to choose? Challenge worm jaw. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go frog. I was thinking that too, but uh, mushloaf. Remember the chewy skewer? Yeah, the chewy skewer. Because you know, I want to eat something legs. slightly exotic to show I'm cool. Mmm, <laughs> chewy. A quick and easy meal to carry you across the desert. You have the gold. I like frog legs. And done! One Vobertite honor buys you 65 skewers. Dear God. <laughs> I'm gonna need a dedicated bag for all these frogs. <laughs> My face. Did you see your face? I'm not there yet. Uh... I'm getting 65 skewers. Here we go. Oh, oh I was. I, oh, there's chewing and swallowing sounds. Uh, this just became an ASMR strip. <laughs> We're just having it. Huh? <laughs> oh my god. Are you to your choice yet? Oh my god. Every last mouthful. I think I'll share the rest. <laughs> Go with, I think I'll share the rest. Sounds good. <laughs> Our visitor invites us to feast. Let us give thanks for their great generosity and small appetite. <laughs> Cute. Consider your coin purse cracked. I am pleased to accept your custom and Gendian will pl be pleased that you honored ours.
keeping the merchandise down. Yes, no returns. <laughs> Is there one that doesn't make you sick? Cause you went yeah, is, the, is your reaction different or yeah. is it just because we're having to eat so much food? No, nope. they all okay. make us sick? Okay. Wonderful. I mean, we can freely travel to the source, so maybe I'll just go to the source for all my my meals. All your meals? All your meal needs? Yeah. Mr. Gengen, -Gen, so what guess you got to say? Eating a meal could cost you like a month here. I was watching from here, Tuna. Your, you honored our custom and with great relish. You too, Val. Thanks. Sorry. You would always be welcome in Mord Souk. If you need anything in Am Arang, we are here to provide. Time to talk to Cassard. Cassard. Oh, is this, am I on the right one? Okay. <laughs> you have courage, my friend. Ron Ron's wares are more exotic than harmful, but I don't envy you the bellyache you have on the morrow. Right. Now that you've eaten, I expect you'll, you're eager to get back on the road. Would you mind if we delayed our departure a torch? I have a few deals left to close before I can conclude my business here in Mord Soup. Oh, offering your services, are you? I, well, an assistant would certainly help hurry things along. I have a receipt here for some goods that need picking up from the market. All properly paid for. You just need to do the lifting and carrying. I'll go and take care of some last minute haggling then. See you in a bit. Table cactus. Yeah. Tom, Tom. Ryan, thanks for the super chat. Shadowbringers doesn't start slow. Also, here's coin lore and a quest where you eat. <laughs> this is uh, still more riveting than the beginning of Stormblood. Yeah, because there's a... I'll take, I'll take this over talking to Hancock any day. There's an exploration to it, and they're handling the other world cutely enough while still being parallel. Yes. But they also didn't promise, like alien world which i think is where i butt heads with a lot of fantasy particularly like andromeda mass effect like you went to a different galaxy like let's be weird this is a copy kind of source star adjacent thing so i'm not like ah, okay this isn't weird enough this place isn't bizarre there's a still a duck here i'm heading over to the chest of perishables this looks like it, there's a lot of uh, wrong things to click on, so I'm just going to be clicking on things oh, okay, until okay. I find the right one. Okay. Got to brute force it. We got to find Thontons. And I'll see you in hell. Well, I don't remember what kind of ore it was. Uh, the ore was... Iron ore is called Thole Tall. Uh, well, this is just copper, iron, or tin are your options. Oh. So iron? I assume iron, yeah, is the one we got to pick up. Bill Till. Okay. Here's the antiques. <clears throat> oh, table cactus and Naboth orang antiques. No touching the merchandise. But you're a box of antiques. Green of selling is going to hide a bit. Oh, no, no, no. All the boxes remedies, and isn't Oh, here's Thonton. Oh, it's a... Okay, I see. The name is not like a local name. It's the name of the dealer. Cool. Quickly purchase. The sky is very pretty. It's a great... Yeah. It's a great element to do, particularly in a game where day and night cycles are so short. It's very jarring. I'm really enjoying the light of the first idea mm. gives you more control over how things look too that is true yeah you can present the world in a more unified way iron ore cool. iron ore 
I have completed my job. Same. I'm heading back over. I'm talking to Cassard. Finally questing during daytimes. Exactly, Baggins Wolf. Good to see you. <laughs> Jake Smith, thanks for the super chat. If you click the kobold in that scene, he says you cannot eat him. I laughed when I saw that. Really? Cute touch. And Myth Swa, thank you. Welcome to the Gearbox. Thanks okay. for the membership. Don't tell me you've been around the entire market already. A lot of handover quests. Start things off. Aye, that's a lot, all right. Good work. And quick work, too, considering you've not set foot in the place before. I thought you'd want to sit in the city like the Exar, but something tells me you're no stranger to visiting strange lands. Unfortunately, your efficiency presents something of a problem. I had hoped to conclude all my business before you returned, but it seems there's been some confusion over one of our orders I placed. I'll have to drag in my middlemen and sort this mess out. I'm sorry to make you sit around and twiddle your thumbs. I don't know what kind of voice this is, but Cassard, it feels like an age since I last saw you. Nope. Mm, lady. <laughs> Keep the voice. <laughs> it's the first anything can happen. Well, if this isn't the lovely Teslin, it's, it has been a while, but your timing couldn't be better. This gentleman was on his way to meet with Alizé. I'm supposed to be taking him to your corner of the desert, but a misplaced order has commandeered, commandeered. my attention. Wait, I know who you are. Elize told me so much about you. You're Tuna and Val, aren't you? I knew it. How wonderful to meet you in the flesh after hearing all those stories. I'm Tesleen. I work as a carer. Carer? At the inn. A carer? Never seen that word before. And I've gotten to know Alize quite well since she took up guard duties there. Yeah, one who cares, I guess. Do you want me to take over as Tuna's guide, Cassard? My shopping's all done and packed for the road, so it would be no trouble. Yes, please. We might go quicker. <laughs> that would be a great help. Thank you. Well, it looks like you'll be able to head straight out after all. My caravan and I will be in the area for a while yet. Seek me out when you've had your fill of Amarang, and I'll send you back to the Crystarium. The delicious pie and meringue. Yes, except no, not a big fan of meringue. Um, no, what's the uh, key lime pie though? I like key lime pie. Oh, I love key lime yeah, pie. There's no lime. meringue there though. No, no, no. I just, I'm just mentioning pies I like that are kind of gelatinous. Genga has a blue quest, and I'm just going to see if there's an ether current. There is. You gonna grab it? I'm gonna grab this quest real quick. Okay. Greetings, friend. You like helping people, yes? Maybe you can help me, too. You see, my son, Gun Gun, makes me very proud, but very worried. He works very hard. Too hard for his own good. He follows orders, yes, follows them until he tells someone to stop. This is very dangerous. Bad for his health. You need to speak with him. Persuade him to rest. He should be near the Red Sarai, probably leaving no stern, st uh, stern, stone, unturned in his search for relics. Please tell him his father orders him to stop. And I will teach you the ways of passing wind. My God. Gun gun. Gun gun. Gun gun. So many guns. All the guns. Gun gun. All righty then. Chacon, thank you for the super chat. Shadowbringers has the advantage of being a full on isekai, so finding your footing makes more sense. <laughs> You're not wrong. You're not wrong. The evil genius, thank you for the super chat. This place may not be bizarre, but it is a bizarre. Good point. Get it, Kyle? Yep, get I it. get it. Nice job. Nice job. Daykoth is into Tesselin. Tesselin's not a monster, Daykoth. 
but you know, oh, maybe just, you know, they might be, they might be like, oh, they have an illusion oh, okay. cast about spoiler. Lighting, yeah. A uh, non monster looking character is a spoiler. Yeah, that's true. So, uh, please de ban Daycoth for a week. Um, <laughs> Udi, don't do that. No, don't Udi, do that. thanks for the super chat. Power just came back in my street just in time to catch this part of the story. Oh, congrats. Nice. Welcome Hell back yeah. to technology. Yeah. Magia Ar Arabia Gaming. Thanks for the super chat. I found you guys about a month ago and have binge your guys' content. So excited. Y'all are finally in the first. Hell yeah. Thanks for joining us. It's a lot of content to binge if you're caught up. That is true. That's true. VX Iceless, thanks for becoming a member. Welcome to the Gearbox. Thought it was a super chat for a second. Shall we? Oh, don't, oh, don't be, don't, don't be judging Tesslane. No. What, 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 don't be judging what's Tesslane. Wrong, what's wrong with Tesslane? It's, it's fine. No, it's, it's fine. fine. You got belts. It's, it's, it's got multi, doing fine. You got some multi belts on, you know. Per perfectly kept bangs. Yeah. 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 All right, Tesslane says. Alizé has been desperate to see you, Tuna and Val, so let's get you to her sooner rather than later. The inn isn't too hard to find, really. You can actually see the top of the rock spires from here. We just need to swing around the ridge, then head south. Come. I'll get my supplies together and meet you outside. I actually said, come on. I'm so used to people just saying come in this game. Well, that, that's what, uh, what, what was his name over here? Uh, Gen Gen. Gen was like, come, come. So, you know, it, it's still come happening. On. Stormblood lives on in our hearts. Ooh, oh, ooh, look at the look at the sand kind of going out there. It's kind of fading oh, yeah. in the mist. Oh, ooh, yeah, ooh. Yeah. All right, Tesslene says, I've got a box. All set? I should probably mention the wildlife. While most of them will leave you be if you keep your distance, the local coyotes have learned to prey on folk heading home from the markets. I can usually swing a sword well enough to fend them off, but I may have loaded myself down with too many bargains today. An escort uh, quest. I've, I too have been to Target. Do you think you can handle any beasts that try to make a meal of us? Are they going to do it? Are they going to escort quest? I thought you might. Alice was saying how much you, um, I, I mean, let's get going, shall we? How much I like what? Murdering people? Oh, no. Okay. She's gone. A grand murderer. Hyper, thank you for being a member for two months. Ah, yes, Shadowbringers, the best expansion. Totally wanted to cause discourse within the community. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Start an argument. Makes the chat go faster. All right, let's oh, see here. Oh. Tesline. We got, we got dogs. Do we? Oh, yeah, we do. We do. Oh no, there's some poor sand mole. Sand mole, no! Sand mole, no! No, innocent bystander. Sorry, there wasn't much time to shout a warning. Were you bitten? Those things can be nasty. And yet, hardly a match for you, it seems. I'd always thought Alizai was strong, but in her mind, she was never... Mm, now it makes sense. <sighs> well, we should push on. It might be best if you scout ahead and clear out any coyotes that have our scent. I'll wait here so you can fight without any distractions. Very well. All right, let's do it. On bananas. What is? We can make a request to the lovely folks following us. Give it. Give us a little bit of a wider berth, if you don't mind. So we can target what we're targeting. Yes. Yeah. Get a little crowded in here. Looks like Get we a have crowded in here. a destination. And a turtle. Oh, I'm getting attacked by a. I don't want to kill the turtle. I know. Cute. I know. He's, he's cool. Huh. This turtle uh, didn't hurt anybody. This is Ulda, then. Those turtles chill outside of Ulda. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, the sand moles are cute, though. I got the coyotes. I'm guessing we'd only be fighting one, but since we're both channeling, two showed up. You know. Oh, hey, there's even oh, more. There's more, yeah. Good. Now there's more than three. And there's people closing alongside us. Oh, yeah, 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 some people were saying they uh, New Game Plus themselves back or even synced up on a new character. Oh, yeah. And what? Oh, back? Oh, and we got to go back. another one. We got to go let her know it's safe. Dude, this battle music is just ripping. 
I'm curious to see how they evolve it. Because they always like doing that. And I'm working it into... I want to hear the boss song. That's the one I'm most excited to hear. Mm. Oh, thank goodness you're back. I could hear the howling and starring from here. Frightful creatures. Let's hope the rest have seen your handiwork and know to avoid us now. I need to get these supplies back to the inn. Yes. Coyotes, known to have an understanding in that way. Well, I'm not making any sort of statement on my uh, my job selection today. My samurai is level 77, so it doesn't need any of this XP. Yeah, I didn't get anyone else's 70, though, so my scholar, my, not scholar, my summoner, well, not scholar, are very close. They're 68, but I meant to get in more hours this weekend, but uh, cleanup yesterday took my entire day. I didn't think it would be so bad, but oh, boy. Hurricanes, y'all. Is that the wall of light out ahead of us? Or is that just rocks? I don't answer uh -huh. that question. They look like rocks to yeah. me, Kyle. They're I'm excited to see the wall is all, I'm, is all I'm saying. The wall of dungeons? Yes. This is it. Thanks to you, I didn't have to drop my shopping even once. Come to think of it, I'm glad I didn't have to make the trip alone. It seems you ended up exhorting me. I'll have to repay the favor somehow. But first, let's head inside, shall we? It's disjointed, but I prefer it. I like the not actually escorting escort quest. Mm, that's fair. Alize! You at? I don't know. They're trying to make us feel bad. All these exposed beds. Welcome to the inn at Journey's Head. You might find, uh, might be our first visitor from the Crystarium since Alice arrived. It's, it's not much, but it's home for the afflicted and a handful of carers. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I have a bottom option. Nice. Post 22 or post 2020. That bottom one feels apt. I, I got a third option since I'm healing right now. It says oh. I have some skill with healing. Nice. I'm going to go with the afflicted. Let me know what it says. You don't know? Oh, mine just says, I'm not sure you can help in that case. But that's good to know. I don't think I've met anyone besides Alice who is so fam unfamiliar with our situation here. Most folks have grown up knowing someone who knew someone. <laughs> I might leave out something obvious, so it may be best to have Alice give you the full explanation. Yes, please reunite with my friends. Yes. I think this is my least favorite quest complete music so far. If we were to wall this. Oh no. Yeah. I don't, I don't think I don't think it's as good as Stormblood's or Heaven's Words. I have to think about it. Stormblood really grew on me. I didn't like Stormblood when it first showed up. I don't remember a Realm Reborns. I don't really remember either. Yeah. Oh, that's an ominous picture. I'm gonna rank it right now. Put it on the wall. I never look at the pictures. Oh God, that is ominous. Now, where is she? We'll do a wall of quest complete music. Hmm. I think she might be out on patrol. You could wait, I suppose, but why not go and surprise her? She usually takes a look at things from the watchtower first, so you might be able to catch her there. It's not far. Head out the south side and you'll soon see it. I'll stay behind in case she comes back while you're gone. Is a year still a year though? Cause days are really fast on Eorzea. So do, is, is a year a year? Oh yeah. It, it doesn't matter. Grahatia took three to four paragraphs to tell us it doesn't matter. Yeah, I guess it really doesn't matter. Well, it's not I'm, to think I'm about curious, it. You know? I think the only thing that's Ooh. truly important from a story standpoint. Oh, that's sick. Yeah, I, 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 that looks good. Man, look at that. What's going on? Is there like a half dome that's like cracked? That's badass. Oh, my God. Um, I think the only thing that really matters from all that whole explainer is how long our friends have been here. Yeah, I think that was what we were meant to take away from that. That's Thinking solid. Out loud. Oh, look at these little dorks. Oh, I love them. They're so derpy. 
somewhere between like the the demi dogs from Stranger Things and the the weird mini tremors with legs from one of those bad tremors sequels. Yeah, I yeah. Two before they part and fly off. I think that was the same one where they learn how to fly. Uh, there's an ether current right here, bud. Oh man, I like I like the wall of light how it just like crashed everything. Oh, it's like mid wave. Oh, I think yeah. it's the frozen wave, Kyle. That's yeah. what happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I, now, I'm pick, so, now I'm picking up on and it. And then that asks the question, like, why did it stop? Don't tell me. Oh, dude, if you look down, like, on the cliff, there's, like, rocks falling. Like, little streams of rock and rubble falling down into the abyss. That's a nice touch. This looks good. Yeah, that's a cool, cool set piece. Still looking at MMO. All right. I'm going to click on the destination. Destination. I'll say it's nowhere to be seen, but you spot fresh footprints on the ground. They look like they might be the right size. Wait, I thought PS3 no. died a long time ago. PS3 died back in the end of Heaven's Ward. Yeah. We ride. Small footsteps. Oh my gosh, Kyle. If you read it, you would know that it's small footprints. <laughs> <laughs> I have this terrible condition where I have to care about things first before I note lore. <laughs> That's why I'm here doing this quest instead of going to Alphano. Same. Because I saw someone mention, you know what that wall did? I'm like, well, did I? Because I don't remember, but it doesn't matter. I'll figure it out later. I'm starting to care now, see? It was the, the illustration with the librarian and it showed Minfilia holding it back. Oh, oh, she, okay, okay, Or the yeah. Oracle of Light. Yeah, okay, so she she popped a bubble. Yeah. And caught it on her divine shield. Yeah. And abruptly in the sand. Oh, oh, shit. Suddenly cinematic. I oh. missed my friend. At least I'm looking. Where's my friend? Come on, look cool when Alze shows up. Well, you are dressed cool. Yeah, not dressed as a barista today. Barista of light. When are we gonna get you a, a, a lookalike apron and you're, you can you can actually dress the part? Oh, it's a sin eater. <laughs> With the motion. Is that? It can't. Don't crash. Pay attention. She's looking at us while she's falling. Oh, she got a new outfit. Still won't cover those thighs, though. Nah, it's hot. They said it gets cold here. Oh, that was up in the air. He was like flying, you know, he had altitude on his uh, side. Uh, uh, I'm not going to chide, Alizé. I'm so happy to see her. I'm going to tell her that was impressive. Are you going to, what are you going to go with? Uh, well, we'll have to sync up at the end of whatever we pick anyway, so. What, 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 what are you talking about? We're, we're here to pick now. We can sync up on this. Well, I'm not on auto. Can we auto roll behind this? Can I do a space bar? Oh, yeah, cool. All right, I'm auto rolling. Yeah. All right, perfect. Wait, what? Okay. Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. Enable auto advance. I see what you're saying. Yeah. All right. Yeah. You ready? You're doing impressive? All right, let's do it. Three, two, one, go. Stadia died for this. <laughs> Just a lesser sin eater. Nothing to write home about. I knew you'd turn up sooner or later. But I had been hoping for sooner. Mm, oh, mm, mm. Yeah, I thought she'd be all upset. Wow, it really. <laughs> really showing off the stars. Yeah, really making us look, huh? I don't want to. How look. are you? Lots happened. I did some extremes, you know. <laughs> Let me tell you about Tsukiyomi. Oh boy. We fought them to a standstill then. The Exarch did say that the Empire seemed to have drawn back when he last looked in on the source. But without knowing for sure how fast time was passing there, I couldn't help worrying that a lot might have happened since then. I'm heartily relieved to hear that it hasn't. 
just as Alphano must have been. As you can imagine, both he and Orianger were desperate to hear the news from home when I arrived. I haven't actually seen Thancred and Yishtola yet, but they will have heard all the latest developments from the Exarch by now, or should have at least. When I think of how frantic Tataro and the others must be, I want nothing more than to rush back and reassure them. But we still haven't found a way to reverse the summoning. And even if we had, we couldn't just ignore Urielje's vision. He may use ten words where one would suffice, and they may often obscure as much as they reveal. <laughs> but on this matter, he was as clear as day. I do not doubt for one moment that he saw what he claims. Nor how difficult it must have been to speak about them. The Eighth Umbral Calamity and your death aren't exactly topics for idle conversation. As much as I might want to go home, I don't want to go home to that. We can't allow the rejoining to happen, which means we have to save the first from the Sin Eaters. Elze's got some resolve. Yeah, now they're doing a good job. That great wall of white is a remnant of the flood. I pieced that together because I paid attention to the library. A hundred years ago, the balance <laughs> in the first tipped decisively in favor of light. From that moment, it rose and swelled with each passing day. And then, without warning, it burst forth like water from a broken dam. A colossal wave of pure light, drowning everything in its wake. Only Norvrant was spared. This is such a cool setup for a world. For the most part, living things are composed of ether of various different aspects. But when exposed to such a flood, their etheric harmony is shattered and their natural form breaks down. Then they either perish or are warped into mindless abominations. Yes, that's how the Sin Eaters came to be. They were once living creatures, or people, that were caught in the path of the Flood. Once the change is wrought, there is no going back. In that instant, they are gripped by an insatiable appetite for ether, and will happily gorge themselves on any living thing within reach. But even that is not the worst of it. The stronger Sin Eaters can plant light in us, like seeds in soil, corrupting our ether and triggering the birth of new monstrosities. Bad so, uh, light zombies? They yeah. are creatures of base instinct that exist only to feed and to multiply. They feel no pity, know no remorse, and are utterly deaf to reason, which is why they must be destroyed, every last one of them. The infirmary is full of the Sin Eaters' victims, left here to spend their final hours waiting for the change to overtake them. Uh, okay. Sweet. Ah, that's what's happening. But surely we can battle it. Yes. Have you not heard how special I am? It's just a matter of time. More for some, less for others. Those patients will all become monsters in the end. And to add insult to injury, the afflicted are feared, shunned, cast out of society, and exiled here, to the edge of the world. The only good thing I have to say about this hellish place is that I've ha it has served me well as a training ground. Teslin and others have also been kind enough to share their knowledge of the Sin Eaters. Which is knowledge I can now pass or share with you. While you help me finish my patrol, of course. Da, 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 da. They did a good job with the passage of time, like having her act just a little bit different than when we last saw her. A little yeah. more confident. I thought there there was some techno going on, but it's just the helicopter mount to our left. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not in range of it. Here's what we'll do. I'll take the east side of the inn and you clear the west. That way you can have an undiluted experience with the resident terrors. 
these marks on your map are where the trouble spots are. You can assume that any beast with a white hide or carapace is a sin eater, but you'll know for sure enough when they come slavering after your ether. Remember, it's kill or be killed with these monsters. Once you've slain whatever's prowling around there, we can rendezvous back at the north entrance. Good hunting. Let us patrol. Finally get to fight some Sin Eaters. Patrol. <laughs> yeah. Callow, thank you for the super chat earlier. Oh. Chat slash people in game. Don't chill out. Remember the ha that hassling streamers by swarming them is a bannable offense in game. I don't feel swarmed. Oh, no, no, no. We're, everyone's doing great. Everyone's doing great. Just, just, yeah, just, just keep your you know, a little, little bit of a wide berth. You don't yeah. mind. This is the main thing that so we can target. Like, it's all good. There's more than enough instances where this game gives us time alone with cutscenes and everything else, and like, yeah, independent trials and stuff. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, I don't mind. This one's this one's mad. Destination. God, Jesus. Battle music is just so extra. Forgiven cowardice. Tender love, Kyle. Huh. That's an interesting name for a monster. Hmm. Rich Boy Winston, thanks for the super chat. If chat argues hard enough, it would be too fast to read any spoilers. Five head. <laughs> <laughs> maximum strategy. I did, I did see it. I did see it speeding by. And Gearnix, thank you for the super chat. Late, but all combat job at 80 RP. Are, what? 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 Equals a Mara mount? What is, what is, what was that what? jumble of letters? All combat job 80, Reaper Sage, Amaro Mount. I don't know what, what is that. Amaro Mount. I don't know what Amaro Mount. I don't know Mount. what the Amaro, what, have we even seen an Amaro? I don't know what, oh, oh, was that the, maybe I was noting that lion I passed by? Maybe it was a mount I passed by and I was like, ooh, look at that thing. I don't know. I don't, Probably I don't know. Probably my fault, I don't know. I don't know what they're talking about. Amaro is something very different for me as someone who likes making cocktails at home. You sense a hostile presence. Then we got more forgiving cowardice. I'll try out my new spell, new card. What does it do? Um, what, what does it do? I've drawn it. I don't know, but we're about to get tender love. What's tender? Does the song say tender love? No, wait, the, the cast bar. Do you still not have cast bars where you can see them? <laughs> oh, I'm not looking at it. I'm not looking at it. I'm not, I'm not, paying, I'm not paying too attention to a bunch of trash and what they're casting. You want to see their names, but you don't want to see what they're trying to kill you with? In this case, Kyle, it's tender love. Tender love. They're trying to tenderly love you to death. I see. Death by tender love. Death by tender love. Clairvoyant Nara, thank you for the generous super chat. The thing I love about this expansion that streamers and launch day players don't get to appreciate is how lonely uh, Shadowbringers is. A friend was sitting on a bench waiting for me after a very oppressive segment and I started to cry. Hmm. What? What, what, what? Oh, you just mean the overall vibes? Yeah. Oh, like if you're doing it after launch. Yeah. Gotcha. Hmm. Engage I would assume most of it would feel empty if you were playing it after the fact, right? I like that. I mean... I liked it in uh, A Realm Reborn, right? Because A Realm Reborn were just adventurers. So when I started playing all by myself, I was like, yeah, of course I'm by myself. Very chill. Mm, good point. Good point. <clears throat> Shall we engage the Alice? I'm engaging the Alice. I'll say engage. How did you fare? Ah, I thought there might be one or two lurking on the fringes. Nothing out of the ordinary for this area. I expect you noticed it yourself, but... Individually, these lesser sin eaters are no more deadly than any natural predator you might encounter in the desert. It's when they appear in number that they pose a threat. Much like the Void Scent, they have an unfortunate tendency to flock to the strongest of their kind. Thus, when a powerful sin eater goes on the hunt, it might be attended by a veritable swarm of weaker kin. 
imagine an army of such creatures descending on a village or hamlet. I have a feeling that's going to happen to this poor place. Mm. That's the basic idea behind my patrols, to call their ranks often enough that the numbers won't be overwhelming when the big ones come out to play. And you've certainly helped on that front. Let's report our victories to Teslin, shall we? Teslin. Oh, Kyle, some of these people have the mount with the hat that you don't like. Sit. <laughs> Kill it. It eats sin or something. I don't know. I've only seen the trailer. Kendrick, thanks for the super chat. If the battle music ever gets to be too much, you have an option to turn it off. I did after a while because the zone music in Shadowbringers is just so good. That's fair. I think if I was playing by myself, I might be like, whoa, whoa you're breaking the mood. This is supposed to be like sad and melancholy, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> LSD tells me you helped her out on patrol. You have our thanks and my apologies for leading you from one battle to another ever since the moment we met. <laughs> In any case, I'm glad to see the two of you found each other. You have no idea how badly Alizé has missed your company. Everything is always, if Tuna and Val were around, they would. That's an exaggeration, and I don't sound like that either. I was simply trying to view matters from another perspective, and I respect Val and Tuna's methods. <laughs> Honestly, after seeing them in action, I can understand why. The way they leap into the fray without hesitation, it really is something to behold. Like a lobster, huge and red, sorry. Uh, I might be a little smitten myself. Happy October, everybody. Yes. <laughs> I'm only teasing, though I've no doubt they deserve all the admiration they get, just as you do. I like that she's still red alpha now, by the way. Yeah, keep the color scheme. Color scheme. Air of being pulled in 10 directions at once. I'd love to lay out a welcome meal, but duties I put off when I went to the market are still waiting for me. Arg, there are a hundred and one things I need to be doing. I'm sorry, but would you mind waiting for waiting here with Alizé? What, and twiddle our thumbs while you work yourself to death? Surely there's something we can help you with? I could do with a hand, it's true. Thank you. You can start by helping me sort out the larder, Alice, eh? While we do that, could you tend to a few patients, perhaps? There are three in particular I meant to visit. It's just a matter of saying a few words to them, and seeing that their skin isn't caked in sand. Their names are Ponil, Todden, and Halric. They may not give much in the way of a response, but I promise they'll be pleased to meet someone new. I'm heading to Ponel. All right, on to Ponel. This, uh, th there's a witch sitting up here that doesn't look too sick. No. I doubt your injuries. <laughs> Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Ponel says, oh, let's rub yep, Ponel. Yep, yeah, yep. rub away. Yep. Hold your applesauce until the end. Thank you. Hi, Ponel. Oh, Todden. Todden's right Todden. here. Todden. Right, hey, right, right, hey, right, 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 I'm just gonna rub you, Todd. Don't, don't worry. Ugh. Dot, dot, dot. But the, you notice the tension in his face eases slightly. Cool. We did Good it. Good to know. Who else do we, who do we rub next? Uh, Alric. Oh, there's someone to rub on top of me? Nope. Oh, oh, I see. Okay. Where I am. Oh, cinematic time. Aldric. I'm still rubbing. I'm catching up. <laughs> What's up? Halric remains utterly still as you wipe the sand from his cheek. The texture of his skin is auto-advancing. <laughs> Hardened into something akin to plaster. Mm-hmm. We're gonna have to kill this kid. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, kid. Ready to sink? Rated M for child murder. You're ready. There's no point in sinking. No? Oh, oh, I thought, okay. Why, why did you suddenly think we needed the sink? Well, because it was internal dialogue, so I thought, you know, it might be... It might be going. Oh, might be duty, duty time or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, gotcha. Ah, uh, Tesleen says, "You've seen to the patients. How were they?" Good. That's good. I, I knew they would enjoy meeting you. I am concerned about Halric, though. I'll have to speak with the other carers, but I think this time may be, or his time may be near. 
Oh, Dexter. What do you have to say, buddy? Dexter wants to say hi. Hi, Dexter. Oh, you are so big. Say hi to the chat, Dex. Say hi to the chat. Oh, your whiskers are going in my mouth. How you doing? Hmm? Hmm? How you doing? All right. Chill on my shoulder. You massive cat. You massive freaking cat. He does not look pleased. That's just Dexter's face. <laughs> That's how he looks. <laughs> Ah, oh, all right, Alize, what do you say? Uh, pardon me? Uh, what? Uh, what? I suppose one thing? Wait, Alize, what? Oh, okay. I read everything uh, Tesla had to say. We shall leave, uh, leave you to have that discussion, then. I was going to take Valentuna to Mord Souk, if you have any errands there that need doing. Well, I suppose there's one thing. Okay, okay. All right. Hey, you came in here singing me the song of your people. I thought you wanted love. All right. Would you pick up a nectarine from the markets, please? Cassard's caravan just passed through, so Ron Ron should have some fresh fruit. We're not done shopping, Kyle. Nope. Come then, Val. Tuna, there's something I want you to see. Right after we stop at Ron Ron's stall, of course. Oh, cool. I'll say has something important. Oh, we can just, like, pour it over there. Oh, teleport back. Mm-hmm. I'm seeing if anyone's being cool and weird. Mm. No one's being Wiggle cool. abiding, thanks for the super chat. If you get all jobs minus Reaper and Sage to 80, you get a mount. That's what they were trying to say. Oh, cool. Cool. Caddy, thanks for the super chat. Lift up your hands and give the moderators energy. I think we can do that, Kyle. Yep. Come give on. Give them the Come power. On, Kyle. Do it. Do it. Give it. Thank you, mods. Uh, Liminal Space, thanks for the super chat. Hi, Dexter, I love you. He loves you too, Liminal Space. <laughs> and I'm not just being nice. He is the most, like, he loves everyone. He's the, he, he greets strangers at the door when if it's their first time visiting. And our Wojo, thank you for the super chat. It says 3.5 thousand votes, 2.4 thousand watching, only 1.2 thousand likes. Don't make me do it, chat. Smash it like it owes you money. <laughs> Our Wojo is home from work now and going to continue to shame Doing you that. all. Yes. If you don't yes. remedy this. Can I come visit, says Christian? If you're in Florida, hit me up sometime. Get together for a beer, whatever it is you're into. Ron, Ron, triggered a cinematic. Oh, ho, back again, are you? You'll need another taste of Ron Ron's wares. Actually, we're looking to buy a nectarine. Do you have any in stock? Oh, yes! Nectarines, peaches, grapes, fresh and juicy. Hmm. Given how richly you cracked your coin purses with me, I might still owe you food. Here, take this one. Be a charge. Now Ron Ron's lifting up his arms to give the mods energy. Gods. I've never seen a moored merchant give away something for nothing before. How much coin did you spend here? Oh, yes. I'll take a jar of honeyed worms as well. <laughs> hmm? Oh, no, they're not for me. It's an offering of sorts. I just assumed she had grown a taste. <laughs> the, the worms, if you please. Only the best regulars for you. Come again, my friends. She, like, got a shrine to Gabu out here? Right. That's our shopping chore taken care of. Let's head up past the etherite to the main tower. The view I want to show you can be only seen from the very top. With these worms in tow. Yeah, uh, I'll, I'll take the embarrassing order. Uh, it's, it's for a friend. <laughs> Just, it's for a friend. Hey, you know, if you want to eat worms, you know, go for it. Ain't, ain't no judging. Yeah. Fantasy world after all, they could be delicious. Oh, um... Quick break. Sorry. Okay. I need to, uh, the dogs are restless. All right. Um, Go and the out dogs. Shopping. I think they need to take a tinkle. Mm. I'll be right back. Fair. Fair. Hi, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hope y'all are doing well as we head through the Alize quests. Our plan right now is to continue MSQing for a bit. So we will see future streams will likely be MSQ oriented. And then as we gather the footage for our YouTube videos, 
you'll know because we'll stop doing MSQ for a little bit because we'll fart off and probably go do some extremes and stuff like that. And honestly, we might have to uh, go revisit some dungeons that we did like over four months ago because we don't remember them very well before we do the next wall of dungeons. Release the hounds. I do not have any dogs. No, I have a cat. A cat named Carthonassi. Car's doing the right thing there. Letting you know about the Discord. Check the name of the fate outside of town. Prey destroyed the Waking Sands. Nice. Nice. Wait, was there a... Did I did I forget to get this? No, no. We got it. 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 Have you done any Stormblood Savage raids? No. We want to do X death. Uh, but we're planning to like, do that maybe with like a group. Like we, you know, we formalize a group. We have signups. We watch strategy videos and whatnot because savages are a whole thing. I really, really love doing the blind stuff. I love doing Tsukiyomi blind. That was so much fun. But savages I hear are a whole nother level. I have returned. Welcome back. Shall oh, we... character. Thanks for the super chat. Hydration check, everybody. That goes for you, chat. Mm -hmm. All yeah, of you. Everyone should be hydrated. All of you. People are, oh, I guess you mentioned Karth because some people are very excited that that's what you named your cat. Yep, yep. Karth Onassi's doing very well. Old man Karth. Yes. Yes, we have uh, we have a, 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 a KOTOR reference with Kyle's cat. We have a Return of the Jedi reference uh, for Wicket, one of my chihuahuas. Dexter the cat was named after Dexter the show. Uh, Zelda should probably need no explaining. And uh, Bailey just has a boring name. You <laughs> name them. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell Katie I said that. She named him. I like it. Here are your precious worms. That buys us a trip to the top of the tower, does it not? Those tricklers, you actually brought them? I really shouldn't let you, but just this once, all right? Only once. Never fails, shall we? Uh, the serial killer chat, not the laboratory. <laughs> I would love this game at this point the camera work is getting so nice I want them to play with focus look mm. over there where the wall is broken oh interesting are you prepared oh right uh on broken yep three two one Go. Do you see what lies beyond? That's what the land became after the light flooded in. An empty white nothingness. Like the burn? Mm. Life cannot exist in such conditions. The primordial light would wreak havoc on the body's etheric balance. Nectar in you bought. It's Halric's favorite fruit. My nice factory. <laughs> Most of the patients, Halric included, survived the attacks of powerful eaters. But their fate was sealed all the same. The monster's corruption has entered their bodies, and their very essence is being subsumed by light. The twisted state of the world itself just makes matters worse. Under normal circumstances, a person's ether naturally tends to equilibrium. But for these poor souls, the opposite is true. Sooner or later, every single one of them will turn. Tesline and the patients, they all know this. They know what has to be done before the change goes too far, before the eater within takes over. The preferred method is mixing poison into their favorite food. Jeez. In my time here, I've borne witness to a lot of last meals. I feel just as helpless as before. No matter how hard I fight, it's never enough. But it's a war I mean to wage, nonetheless. 
Speaking of wars, do you remember how I made you promise not to leave me and then promptly collapsed? <laughs> <laughs> well, let's just say I had a few choice words for the Exarch concerning the timing of his sons. But even if the fault lay with someone else, I couldn't shake the feeling that I'd abandon you on the battlefield. So I swore that I'd make up for my absence there by making a difference here. And that's what keeps me moving forward, even when things seem hopeless. On which note, it's time we headed back. The longer we keep Tesslin waiting, the harder this will be for her. <laughs> no, that's not what you should do with the nectarine. Don't put it in your pocket. <laughs> Why? It's going to be mush by the time it gets there. <laughs> They're sensitive. You must be gentle. Tataru did a very good job making our pockets. I'm glad I was able to show you that. When it comes to understanding the catastrophe which befell the first, one glimpse of that empty wasteland beyond the fall is worth more than an hour of Oriange's lecturing. <laughs> she just, just. Yep. She does gosh. not like it. Digging a hole for Oriange. And I needed you to know that beyond a doubt that Tess Lean has no other choice. The nectarine will be a kindness. It isn't just the threat posed to others. When a person becomes an eater, the pain appears to be excruciating. The carers are truly fond of their wards and would spare them that suffering. It is their way of fighting back against a fate worse than death. Damn, what a cool twist on corruption. It's, it's uh, not like a big deal. You're like, you, hey, hmm? stop. What? Stop. Stop what? If we were in person, I would be getting in your face right now. Stop moving. Oh, oh. Stop is, moving. Oh. I am inspecting you. Oh. Why do you have my haircut? What? This is the haircut I started the game with. We both have you the have same haircut, haircut back in the day. You have my haircut. This is my boy. It's not yours. You you haven't had this haircut? Yes, I have. When have you had this haircut? Back in A Realm Reborn. I can literally put up. I well, can it doesn't put, count. What? No, I wanted to get back in my astrologian outfit. I've you got my, my haircut. I've got my astrologian hair on. That's my haircut. Nope. Nope. It doesn't belong to you. It's everybody's hair. This is the Warrior of Light's hair. I've had hair. the same haircut the entire gameplay. The entire playthrough. So I cut my hair for uh, being a samurai. And now that I was going back to being astrologian, I thought I'd change my hair back to the way it was. <laughs> I'm getting whispered Tuna's haircut, TM. <laughs> Here we go. Here's me. Here's me in the Crystal Tower. I can't see you. Put up the stream. I'm not putting up the stream so you can win a fight. Yep. No, nope, it's already <laughs> That's not how this works. It's right there. Here I am doing Manderville. In, oh, this in this is so haircut. embarrassing. It's like showing up at homecoming at the same dress. Yep. And then my my tower cue popped right as I was doing it. And there there there's somebody. I don't remember who. Somebody went into the darkness. There's Nero. How doing dare stuff. you? There we go. How dare you? Yep. Yep. I have footage. I have footage e evidence. How? You. But you know, if you're if you're not confident enough to pull off the same hair as me, you know, I can change it if it makes you feel better. No, I just wanted to point it out that we have the exact same freaking haircut. <laughs> I was one hundred percent having fun with that. It's good hair. All right. I guess we oh, can yeah, teleport we can te down there. We can teleport here, again. You paid, the for the, you paid for the last one. I, I got this. Uh, that's I got, I your money's it. no good here. Your money's it. no good on the first. It. I already clicked it. Your money's no good on the first. Marty, thank you for the super chat. There's an option to enable depth of field and cutscenes. There is. An official one? I don't have to get G-Shade and spend four hours trying to figure out how it works? Let me close this window. I'm, I'm getting bathed in light. <laughs> in real life? Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. System config. <laughs> I'm going to out Gideon. Mm. Gideon just whispered me and said, Kyle is about to draw you up a diagram, yo. <laughs> I uh, I did start this game before you with that haircut. Your unwillingness to change your haircut is what led to this current predicament. I don't change my stuff. I, I am what I am. That's this why, is me. That's what I'm saying. This is who I am. I know. And I, and over time, you may have staked claim to it. I, I oh, okay. So I have depth of field enabled. Apparently. Oh. 
very it, I, i've yet to see it really be used hmm. yeah there's never yeah, been like a scene where apparently. they kind of pan over and then they like you know you see the that would be a focus the, rack yeah the, oh, ooh, the focus be racking rack. focus we racking would rack focus. focus yes it is something i am frequently impressed with in in television these days for as much as you don't like, you know, uh, you know, uh, 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 shot reverse shot kind of a thing, but mm -hmm. th uh, there's there's sometimes they they kind of uh, they do that by racking focus from one character to the next as they speak. They did um they did some cool stuff with that in the opening of Jedi Last Order last night. Uh, that'd be Fallen Order. Fallen Order, yeah. Outcast, Fallen Order. Uh, I don't remember. Haven't, haven't I played it when it originally came out? I don't really remember how they stylized stuff. But yes, that would be racking focus. That would be racking focus, which is what I want. I want more of that. I want that in this game. Rack, rack focus. Rack focus. Also, if you could do some shot reverse shot, more of it, please, just to make Kyle mad. That'd be great. I'm ready. All right, let's talk to Tesleen. You're back. I hope you had a nice time. Did you manage to find a nectarine? What's with all the weird pauses? Did, Wait, she's about to kill somebody. Oh, she's about okay. to mercy kill someone with a nectarine. Yeah. I wouldn't be happy about the sea. I have a very sad story from the hurricane that I'm, I, I don't really want to share on stream, but I would like to tell you about it personally because it's been eating me up inside. Okay, we'll, we'll talk about it yeah. on stream. Yeah. Thank you. Alice has explained why I wanted this, has she? Wait, yes. I can see it in your eyes. But we may not need it just yet. I spoke with the others and we decided to keep an eye on Halric for now. Thanks to you, though, if uh, his time does come suddenly, we'll be ready to send him off on his way with a taste of happier days. <laughs> Victorious music. Let's do it. All right, everybody. You're going to euthanize someone. Yeah, but you know, it's not it's not going to get this is your time in the story to build the example, right? Like, you know, there's no way there's no way this goes smoothly. <laughs> cheering for euthanasia in the in the chat oh my goodness you you dark evil souls well nothing is going to happen for a little while yet so let's see if we can't lighten the mood we don't want our gloomy faces worrying the patients no nah. i think it's time for that welcome meal don't you take a seat and i'll make us a nice stew yes i want nope. the person who puts poison in food to make me dinner nope. that's exactly what nope. i want you're, see you're gonna raise spirits so you can crash them down no this is this is the roller coaster don't do it let's just get done just, just, just go straight to the darkness. Bad idea. Let's Why, go. Who got out candles? It's always day. Who would do this? It's a waste <laughs> of good wax. Because you love candles. I do love candles. I, I actually would like candles, even if I was in a dimension of always day. Speak Stop showing me that nectarine. I made a little bit more than usual today. I have disabled auto advance. Uh, today. Okay, I'm good. Ready? Ready. Three, two, one, go. And you've added something special to the broth. A little if I'm rusty on our duo, I must get. I well, it's not often we have visitors from the Crystarium, so I may have thrown in a few extra bits and bobs. She sounds like the lady who poisoned us in Heaven's Ward. Yes, you're right. Bits and bobs. Uh, I'm going with. I'll have another bowl then. Yeah. Sounds Three, good. two, one, go. It's what Goku would say. That's what I like to hear. Give me a moment to warm up the pot. No, no, no moments. Taking a moment's bad. Bad Movie stuff. Lighting. In a place like this, you learn to take what moments of happiness you can get. Oh, don't talk about how things are going to change and get bad. Don't mention it. I remember when I first came here with my mother. She was showing the early signs. <laughs> oh, this is great table conversation. Yeah. I knew there was no way to save her, but I just couldn't face what needed to be done. That's the way of it for most people. Why they travel for moms to stay here. Beaten, broken souls come to wait out the inevitable, to receive the mercy of a painless death. They look like they're from Ishgar, that person sitting down.
When my mother finally left this world, I was mad with grief, but also thankful that her passing was a peaceful one. It's never easy ending a life you've cared for, even when you believe they go on to a better place. I often find myself wishing the warrior of darkness would come and do that part for me. Hmm. The warrior of darkness? You've never heard the tale. I'm not sure where it began, but every child in Norvrant could tell you a version of it. Warrior of darkness, servant of death, take care of our souls at our dying breath. Let sinners and eaters of sin go with thee, that all may return to the sunless sea. Well, that's the version I was taught anyway. It's just an old bedtime story. He certainly never deigned to visit us here. Which is a good thing, surely. He sounds rather ominous. Do you think so? I always liked the idea that he treated every soul the same, even the Sin Eaters. Good things always Desley. happen when someone says they're coming. Have you seen Halric? I swear, I only took my eyes off him for a moment. Talking to Tesla. Yep. Do you know, Val, Alize, we have to go look for Halric. I don't know what's gotten into him, but if he's wandering out there alone. We'll assign a search area and split up. Any idea where he might be headed? No, he's never done anything like this before, but I, it can't be a coincidence that the other patients are suddenly so agitated. They can sense something. In any case, let's keep the search close to the inn. Howark isn't very sure on his feet, so he won't have gone far. I'll search the east side. Please, Howark. Please be all right. I'll cover the north and west, then. You take everything here to the south. Nodders. We're being told to ignore chat, and a lot of uh, uh, smiles are being spared. Okay, sounds good. So I'm, uh, I'm I mean, just not looking at chat. It's getting down right now. Like, I, I, I personally am nervous. I'm nervous for the story. Because someone's going to get bit. This, well, yeah, this is their this is their moment, right? Like, this is where they sell the world to you. They're currently running at the springboard, and they're about to do a couple jumps. You know, they're going to do some flips. Let's see what the judges think. Oh, oops. There we go. Further west. Even further. Yeah, I'm gonna turn off battle music. It is, I like, <laughs> I really like the track, but it is so unfitting for the it, story. It is, it's a, little here. it's a little serious. You're going west. Oh, I am going west. Sorry, I was trying to <laughs> run okay. and disable disruptive battle music. It's a really good track. I do not mean to mis dismerge the track, but it is really taking me out of this somber story that we're being told out here i will oh what what are you, are you angry he's chilling right now okay let's get rid of the oh my god there's so many i guess that's what we're here to do okay never mind i find yourself under attack under attack you don't say 
He has to do the white anime hair. It's a great, it's a great bit. What? Just the, the corruption through light kind of idea. Hmm. North. It's north. It's north. Ooh, what do we got here? Gilman? Hmm. Interesting. Like, like the famous street in Northern California? I don't know about that street. Why, why is it famous? Uh, it's uh, where famous uh, East Bay punk acts like Rancid and Green Day came out of. Oh. They played at a club called Gilman Street. Huh. I got an ancient lizard. Aw, oh, ancient lizard's interrupting me. He's cute, too. Click in oh, on the destination. Nope. Never mind. I got a lizard. Oh, oh, oh nice hit. I'm surveying. Okay. You're I'm on surveying. your own. I'm surveying. Oh, cinematic. Okay. I'm right behind you. Any sign of him? Oh, crap. See you on the next line? Yeah, that was a fast one. No luck then. Oh, the music. But he surely can't have gone far. Oh, yeah. The Saul is hanging yeah, out somewhere. Doing, doing the Saul's line. All right, I'm at far. Are you at far? Yep, I'm here. Three, two, one, go. We should keep looking. The Sin Eaters are out in force, and if we don't find him soon, you can be sure they will. Why is this music playing? Oh, they killed it. Oh! Oh, hey! I fought you. Well, someone similar to you. Yeah. I remember them having eyes, though. I think Gusty Did you see the size of that thing? It must be one of the nasty ones. There are not nasty ones? Wherever it's going, it can only mean trouble. After it! Let's go! Let's fing go! That looks crazy. Yeah. It's a cool look. Halric! She undersold we how good she run. is with a sword. Yeah, seriously. Oh no. Oh, damn. Tessling, no. Oh shit. Freaking omen child. Right. We all deserve happiness. Wherever we can find it. The time left to you is precious. No one should die in pain. Mother. Mother. I... Whoa. Oh, we're gonna see one of these transformations yeah. in real time. But you gotta do it right to sell the world. We gotta see it. Oh, oh gross. Oh, I'm just a kid staring on. <laughs> Thank you for adding a room. <laughs> Oh my god. What? Uh, <laughs> what the fatal frame? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, waxy. Oh. Oh, that's grotesque. Oh, nice. Oh, put your tongue back in your mouth, lady. Ah. Oh. Okay. Got a little cocoon. Oh, that's a cocoon. Action. Okay. Oh, uh, whoever nice. did the foley work for this needs to be put in prison. Chicken bones and the mayonnaise. <laughs> Jesus. Oh no, is she a boyfriend head? Oh no. Oh, oh my oh. god. Oh no. No, 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 no. Oh, oh it's full metal. Oh. Over 
again. Oh, that is an excellent monster. Oh, I hate, oh, god damn. Yeah, it is, but I hate it. Forgive me, please. I love it. Nope. That needs to die. Also, that kid should just be thrown off a cliff. That's an omen child. There's nothing left in that in that kid. That kid is gone. Oh my word. I'm going to assume at the rate that the chat is screaming by that that is the welcome to Shadowbringers moment. Is that moment. it? Is that the moment? The moment people like? <laughs> okay. I am so pleased. <laughs> I am so happy. Yeah. It's a weird thing to say. I really dug that, but yeah. I really dug that. Well, you had to sell it. It's very important. It's an important moment. You know, we need like, some we're fighting angels and shit. Yeah. And like, that's not, this is things don't, things that are this horrid don't usually look the way they look. Yeah. Right. Like. Boy. God almighty. Yeah. You know what? <sighs> And I'm impressed. I've seen a lot of thumbnails. I've seen I've seen faces on thumbnails. They didn't include it all. There was still more surprise to have. Well done. Well done. Whoa. That was cool. Yeah, that was neat. Yeah, now now like the boy, talk about selling your monsters that yeah. you're gonna go fight. Yeah, man. This is where you and I uh, converge on respecting the same shit. You gotta put it down. Yeah, that is uh. And you, uh, and you can like save them from it. Like now you now you got some good monsters to fight. That's freaky. Yeah. Dude. I like it. <sighs> Yoshi P said they had to tone it down for at least. Well, it is still T for teen. Like it is still a T for teen game. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I mean that, that's some proper horror right yeah. there. But I, I wouldn't say. I mean, we're not. It's not like we're in like saw land or no, something. No, no, yeah, we don't want to no, you know, disturb the children. This is like we're getting to like existential horror here, Ow. which I really like. That's that's terrible. That's cool. If they wanted me to feel, uh, you know, sympathetic toward this 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 omen child, there uh, that 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 did not land for me. This kid is a wow. this kid is a husk, yes. and he should he should we should end him now. Um, but uh, poor Tes Tesla, like. She was cool, man. Yeah, they introduced her quickly. They they showed a stake, which I really like that a direct hit can cause faster transformation. So we have certain I'm assuming, right? Like if it's essentially would be fatal, right? Yeah. What happens if they dismember you? Like if your head comes off? Well, maybe you Is become a boyfriend instant? head. Oh. Yeah. Hey, maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Or a, a vertigo, I think they're called. I think that's what a disembodied flying head is. Uh, I've never heard it read maybe. aloud. I've only seen the word. You got one on me, man. You got one on me. Uh, we have a lot of thanks to dish out after that. Yeah. Yeah. That was, a lot of, a that was, lot, well, a lot of um, thanks. Let, let's, let's finish, let's finish the arc. I want to, let, let's finish the little story that's going on here and then we can chill. Okay. I, we, I got, I, I believe there's a sad Alice somewhere nearby. I'd like to. Yeah. She's by <laughs> Omen child. I'd like to resolve. <laughs> She's she's over by Damien. Yeah. I I'm sorry, Valentina. I tried to tell the cares what happened, but I can't be the shoulder they lean on. Not like this. Oh, so we gotta go tell Oh, the, oh we gotta yeah, go bring we them. Gotta, oh, well. Well, you know, we're, we're welcome we're, to Shadowbringers. Yeah, yeah. Everyone go around and tell everybody what happened. What you saw. It's just so unfair. Tessleen was always so cheery with patients, telling them not to be scared and that there wouldn't be any pain of all the people in the world to suffer their fate. Oh, did they purposely kill the music in here too? While you walk around? That or because I turned off battle music, I'm just assuming the battle music <laughs> yeah, would be Yeah, the whole place sounds like battle time. the whole time. I imagine you're just as shocked as the rest of us, so I appreciate that you're doing what you're doing here. Me, I can barely, I don't know the words. Without a body, 
We can't even give her a proper burial. And she cared about that sort of thing. About giving people the chance to say their goodbyes. That's a good point. Yeah, I wonder where they're gonna put her. Will they um jump her to boss or will she just show up randomly in the future? No matter where they put her, it's gonna be Yeah. A big moment. Uh, the empty husk masquerading as a child yep. says Halric is unresponsive as ever. He stands motionless, staring into the sky where the Sin Eaters made their escape. The time left to us. Alize says, Oh, she's lost in grief, perhaps in a cutscene. Yep. Cutscene time. I'm just going to say her name. Yep, I'm going with that. Three, two, one, go. Thank you. What you're doing, it it means a lot to them, to me. Oh, it's a talk to here, Reedy. Sorry to interrupt. We, uh, we realized we hadn't thanked you for rescuing Halric. You weren't hurt at all, were you? Hurt? There wasn't even a fight. I was too late, too slow, and I thought I could protect you. You can't blame yourself for things beyond your control. You brought Halric back safe and sound. No one could have done any more. I'm sorry, but I've come to a decision. I won't be continuing my role here. I hope you will forgive me for leaving you, and that you will... Delay Haldrick's last meal for as long as you possibly can. Not until it's too late, of course. Just give him what time you can. We always do. Of course. She would have done the same. Farewell, Haldrick. Keep Tesleen's words close to your heart. Oh, it would be very Gabu for her, too. Mm-hmm. Wait, you're leaving this very moment? I understand how you must feel, but surely this is a bit hasty. Did you even... Do you even have anywhere to go? I have a destination in mind, yes. And a purpose. This damned light. Building without cease. It's the reason we can't save those corrupted by the eaters. What if we corrected the balance? Even if we were only, even if it was only by a little, even if it took years, it would surely make things better. Now, hold on there. Everyone knows there's too much light, but how could you ever hope to get rid of it? You'd have to change the whole world. That's right. We should return to the Crystarium. I may not be able to repel the Eaters on my own, but I can still use the skills I've gained here to hurt them. <laughs> oh, shit. Right. Chancellor Palpatine, changing the entire world is our speciality. Let's. Uh, I'm, I'm going to the bar, man. We're going to the Crystar Crystarium bar. It's Crystarium bar time. Yeah. Pour one out for Tesseline. Go find a seat. Welcome to Final Fantasy XIV, where we make you care for a character in the opening moments of an expansion just so we can watch them die in a horrible fashion. Just leaning over the computer, Yoshi P's like, make them care, Master. <laughs> Uh, well, we've already killed her mother. What more do you know? Make them care. Make it more horrific. Make it more. <laughs> Give them a child. But, but, sir, we can't do it. I'm nectaring. What are you even talking about? Actually, you I know what this needs? What? Puke. Lots and lots oh, of puke. And I hate puking. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah. Who Which, likes... Nobody likes puking. Where where was the bar, anyway? Where? I'm in the, the market. There's the thing... Is it back this way? I don't remember where the bar is. 
There's like a bunch of chairs. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Up the, up the hill. Up the, up the stairs where people are jumping. Don't we want to still talk to Alice before we take a, take a breather? Drew, do you want to go close in and... and Wait, where's she, where's she at? Oh, wait. Here's in the sand? Oh, I guess she... We meet her at like the exit. So she doesn't come oh, straight here. Oops. Yep. Okay. Back to Mord. Oops. Yeah, she's got a ride. She's got a ride all... Uh, I'll, I'll roleplay style. She said style. go back to the Corsarium. I know she did. But, you know, she's roleplaying. She's roleplay walking. Actually, too. Uh, she's in the tune. Oh, there's, there's, sh okay. All right. Wait for me, Val. Okay. We ride together. Come on down. I'm here. <laughs> we, we. Confused everybody else, so we get to ride by ourselves. Oh no, there's a car. Never mind. <laughs> Never one can catch up. Yeah, because they have flying, right? So they'll be able to catch up. Mm -hmm. But for the briefest moments, we rode in sad silence together. Riding home? Yes. Very sad riding home. Riding home. Just a dangle bit. Yep. RP, Silent Ride. The music is fantastic. Yeah. Lo-fi. Yeah, I'm sorry, Alize. We're here now. Forgive me, Val. Tuna, I couldn't stay there a moment longer. But I was serious about what I said. While the men and women at the inn battle against the blights with kindness, I must fight it in my own way, with steel. I'll go with that first one. Hmm. Gods above. It feels like an age ago now. Oh, uh, Miss Salze? Is there anything I can get you? Your swiftest Amaro. I need to return to the Crystarium immediately. Oh, uh, and we travel wish. via Amaro, apparently. <laughs> I gotta see Amaro, those bird camels? Yeah, yeah, the, the, this world's chocobos. Oh, I hadn't thought about it that way. Uh, remind me to wear goggles if we ever fly over am a run again. I've barely gotten the sand out of my eyes. But the wind did help clear my head, at least. I think I'm ready to meet with the Exard. We need to talk about how we're going to wipe the Sin Eaters out. Shall we? I assume he's going to be like, I'm not into the Lalfinos here. Oh, I don't think I got this one. We couldn't possibly before you do both zones. Oh yeah, I guess I can teleport. I was about to say we were over here quite a bit already. I figured you would have idly clicked on that crystal. No, no. Where'd you go? Did you go straight to the the gate? I, oh yeah, there you yeah. go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I clicked on the. Oh, I'm having a tune there. Okay, I gotta walk. The docile. No. Like Alize yeah, before we were me. Hanging out here so much, I just assumed you had it. Yeah. No. No. Like I was there before me, I didn't attune. <laughs> Lollafell's book in the distance. <laughs> I see a Lollafell running up the steps extremely quickly. Oh, here finally comes the uh, Here we go. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Making time. his way. Say the word. I say the word. I'm entering the ocular. Brr, brr. Ah, Alize is here. Yep, yep. Looks like we got to fill the room. Thank you for seeking me out, Val and Tuna. It's meant a lot to have you there at my side. I was tempted to set off again the moment we had decided upon a direction, but you have still to visit Alphano, haven't you? And if I know my brother, 
He'll be on the cusp of discovering something vital to our success, if he hasn't already. I'm content to stay here and consider our options for the time being. But don't keep me waiting too long, eh? You didn't say is. A correctly. A! You, you talking like Solace? Yeah. I need that on my soundboard. That and by design, <laughs> but... A! You've got a something a something in ya. A! <laughs> Alright, I'm going to the bar. Alright, I'll meet you at the bar. Bar time! Bar time! While we transit, we can begin our thank yous and welcomes. Yes, as uh, traumatized as they may be. I'll start at these these uh, these three very generous, brightly colored ones at the top here. Uh, Ninja, thank you for the very generous super chat. Said, "Welcome to Shadowbringers. Your complimentary emotional support gift bags are by the door." <laughs> <laughs> Where, what's the closest crystal? Where are we going? Uh, we are going to. I don't think it has a. Oh, the Wandering Stairs. So the closest crystal would be the Pendants or the Market. I don't think I okay, know. I'll head to the pendants. One on. No. Yeah, I'm gonna need those emotional support gift bags, please. I hope they're full of puppies. Ah, oh, yeah, it's right here. If you go to the pendants, there's already there's already an after party. I already mean puppies. The only way I'll recover. Uh, this table looks uh, oh, yeah, clearish. There you go. There you go. We'll, it's, got an, it's got an attendant too, so yeah, we'll be well taken care of. Yep. Uh, let me, uh, hold on. If we're at a bar, I am not dressed correctly. Are you going to put on go. some casual wares? I have my, my tiki clothes. Mm, let, me, let me see what I got in the casual department. All right. Uh, Ritolia, uh, that is a wildly generous super chat. Thank you very much. It says, welcome to Shadowbringers. This ride ain't stopping anytime soon. Ooh. Have fun. <laughs> Especially at the rate we go through. Am I right, Kyle? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Rotolia. That was very generous. Much appreciated. Yes. Yes. I and mean, everyone can enjoy your super chat for a long while. It will be pinned up there for quite a bit. And Blazing Angel, thank you for the very generous super chat. It said, welcome to the light fields. Whoa. The, the, the light monsters are freaking evil as shit. Man. Yeah. What a reveal. What yeah. a reveal. Dear God, that was a lot. That was a lot. Well done, though. It was good. It was a nice yeah. little, you know, turnabout, turnabout face, you know. Hey, hey, man, would you rather go do the Stormblood intro? Uh, yeah, I, I appreciate with time, you know, I'll get, I'll get back to you on that. I'm just happy because, <laughs> you know, of course, I'd seen a crying face before in white because thumbnails you love that thing. So I knew something was going down, obviously. People mm. clearly put it as their thumbnail on a lot of videos. But the fact that it actually, like, went somewhere, like... Because, you know, I thought they were using the clip. Like, everyone was using the picture that you're going to be like, oh, I've seen this before. The fact that it actually had way more to it was, uh... As, as gross as it may be to say, a delight. Yeah. I like nasty monsters. Hmm. It's a... A rough transformation. Yeah. Rough Nasty. transformation. Oh, well, we've got a lot of supers to catch up on. Yep. Uh, starting with Argent. Thank you for the super chat. Listening to you guys play through this brings a smile to my face. Glad to be here to watch your journey through the first while I recover from COVID. Cheers, oh. guys. Oh, my God, Argent. We're doing well. Good luck. I went through COVID earlier this year. Uh, it was my first time. It was horrible. So I wish you a swift recovery. Rami Rain. Oh, oh, oh freaking. Why does it do the jump thing? I don't want it to do that, YouTube. I never want it to do that. Rami Rain, Bryce59, and the Madman all became new members of the Gearbox. Welcome, welcome. One after the other. Thank you. Thank all of you for your support. Voice super chatted that uh, is the nectarine poisonous or venomous? It is clearly poisonous. <laughs> clearly. Balthulu super chatted man Tesline sure does bring down the mood during yours and Alice's romantic candlelit dinner it's not romantic she's six, 17 now right because oh, the year went by I, we're just besties like th there's so much we don't it's not the relationship that's not the relationship regardless even without the age, age being brought up that's not the relationship you have with Alice it's she's been friend zoned by me anyway <laughs> So, 
It's like saying Aragorn and Legolas had a romantic relationship. They're 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 warfront buddies. Yeah, no, she she's such she's such an amazing character. Yeah. Uh Anagim super chatted. I just want to say before I go into physical therapy and miss this next story beat live, but welcome to Shadowbringers. Ah, oh, so sorry the timing didn't work out for you, Anagim. Uh, hi from the future. Hello from Hope the future. Your physical therapy went well. Bryce H also super chatted. As they say, welcome to Shadowbringers. <laughs> as Boopy. they say, apparently. As they say, oh, what a place to put a welcome. Uh, Boopy super chatted uh, 2.7 thousand viewers and uh, only 1.4 thousand likes. Also, here's your welcome to Shadowbringers. Thank you. We got a lot of these. Yeah. Uh, Caslo said, welcome to Shadowbringers. Screw you. Screw you, Shadowbringers. <laughs> That's how it feels. <laughs> Eric Ramirez, thank you, said, uh, now we can officially say welcome to Shadowbringers. We did it. Jubo welcomed the fellas to Shadowbringers. Das super chatted that. And this was the moment I cried on my stream. I miss you, Tesleen. It's pretty intense. It's a good build it is up. A lot. Speed running those emotions. Yeah. Our Wojo hit us with a generous super chat and said, Welcome to Shadowbringers, guys. And if you're not looking at it right now, Kyle, it has a, a, a bawling emoji. Yeah. Just yeah. bawling. Yeah. Very Thrashy Nuva super chatted, Welcome to Shadowbringers. Sarcastic Geek celebrated four months by saying, Welcome to Feelsbringers. Feelsbringers. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Satterbringers, yeah. yep. Satter, Satterbringers. Amar, and thanks for the four months. Welcome to Shadowbringers. Have fun with this expansion. Happy fun times ahead. <laughs> Boy, howdy. Nothing but happy fun times. At least it's fantasy. Is that what she was things. doing? Smiling to death? You know what? It's at least it's fantasy Barfing bad things. happiness until it, death. It's not just horrible parents and like, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take this any day. Star Johnson and the Madman, thank you for your super chats to say welcome to Shadowbringers. Madman added on, your pain has only just begun. Keep hands and feet inside the ride as there are no breaks. No breaks. Uh, except the ones we take to yes. make videos. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. Good if we get the footage. Yeah. Amlet O'Clock said, has anyone welcomed you to Shadowbringers yet? <laughs> no. Well, thank, 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 you you so thank you so much. Yeah, thank you so much. Yes. VS9 super chatted, now we can officially say welcome to Shadowbringers. Enjoy your sleigh. Enjoy your slay. Slay. Ah, yeah. Nice. See what you did there. I like it. I like it. I, I want to go slaying. Yeah. Yeah. Seth and all uh, 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 is celebrating five months by saying, Welcome to Shadowbringers. The fields have only just begun. Yeah. Interesting. XAV1 Ninja. Thanks again for that generous super chat. Chris Scully, super chat of Welcome to Shadowbringers. Thank you. Chris. Squid Parts, super chat of that meme unlocked. The true welcome to Shadowbringers. We get to reuse that graphic again, Kyle. Now we need to dig it out. The meme unlocked. Yeah, that's true. That was from the little sun. I, I mean, it's was not the first quite, time we used that. Not quite a joyous. Uh, no, but it is a meme not unlocked. Quite joyous. Yeah. More like, again, like for me, it's more like thumbnail unlocked. The thumbnail I've been seeing for the past <sighs> year and a half is finally understood. Oh, you're right. I did see that forever ago and I didn't understand. I completely forgot. Yeah. Like, I remember I saw a couple like YouTube was like recommended. Welcome to Shadowbringers. And there was like a creepy face. And I'm like, yeah. what? What bullshit are people pulling in Photoshop? Clearly yeah. The game could never look like this. How wrong I was. See, everyone wants to be like, I, ah, you know, it's all good faces. You know, we couldn't have Solus without uh, Manderville. But no, we this is what we get. Thanks to Manderville. Yeah. Thanks, Manderville. Manderville. Gives us this horror. Con man, thanks for the super chat. Full Metal Alchemist flashback and PTSD. Yes, that's exactly mm. what it made me think of. <laughs> uh, Fionar Blackbird, thanks for the super chat. Welcoming us to Shadowbringers. Micah Thank Boy, you. welcoming us by saying Shadowbringers is filmed in front of a live studio audience. Live studio audience. Yes. Your City discretion Thunder. is advised. Yes, yes, it is. Jesus Christ. Uh, Thank you. Said an angelic looking being turning put kind people into horrific nightmares through excruciating, painful, and nightmarish transformation. <laughs> I smell Yoko Taro's influence and his big, goofy mask. <laughs> mm. <It's>, yeah. <laughs> Take out, thank you for the super I sticker. would do it, too. I would do it, too. Rotolia, thank you again for that extremely generous super chat that we read earlier. Yeah, Winkle, you. welcoming us to Setup Ringers and saying, F you! Jonathan Harrison uh, put in 
uh, here, her horrifying monster transformation. Welcome to Shadowbringers. Gotta have them. Yes. Gotta have <laughs> Cuddly Zombie uh, Super Chat, exactly what you were just saying a bit ago. Oh, Kyle, there we the go. The fruits of the Hildebrand animation experiments. Perfect. Buh. Buh. Moonstone, thank you for the welcome. Thank you. The dragon celebrating five months saying, what in the Resident Evil is this? <laughs> yeah, you knew. yeah, that works. If it that wasn't works. five months, I would have thought you just stopped by not knowing what you were seeing. Uh, I'm always a fan of this, Dino. Uh, super chat that escalated quickly. Yeah. Quite the tone setter. Thank yeah. You, Dino. Super Sideswiper, thank you for the welcome. Aloive, rated T for teen. Yeah, yeah. I'm stretching it. Yeah. I think you should, yes, this is proper horror for a teenager. I think yeah. it's fine. Yeah, no. I, I think you should, I think teenagers should be exposed to horror of this caliber. I think that's yes. fair. Yeah, I mean, granted, you and I both grew up in the end of the 80s when, like, RoboCop was shown to children. So, you know, it's... It wasn't, RoboCop was rated R. We weren't supposed to be watching I, that. Maybe, I don't know what happened then, because, like, I watched... Terminator, I watched Robocop, I watched oh, yeah. Ghostbusters. I watched Alien when I was seven. Yeah. Ghostbusters wasn't rated R. Ghostbusters was rated PG. I think it was PG. It was before It was before the it was before Temple of Doom, yeah. which what is what uh, one of the movies that helped usher in PG thirteen. Yeah, yeah. What did I watch over the weekend? Oh, I watched um Beetlejuice. Sure. Beetlejuice. Which yeah. is rated PG, and I completely forgot that he drops a hard F bomb in there. Wait, he does? I don't remember that yes. at all. Beetlejuice drops a hard F bomb. Wow. It's fantastic. It's been a while since I watched Beetlejuice. I, that movie's fantastic. Now, it's when they so like good. stretch out their faces and put the. Ugh, oh, there's cool. a straight strip club joke. Yeah. Like, when they show the strip club, like, that, that show, that movie is very, very adult. Yeah. Oh yeah, nice fucking model. That's what he yells. I oh, couldn't remember the quote. And then they, and then yeah. they were like, "Hey, you know what? This needs a kids show. Let's make a kids show yeah, exactly. about this." You know what this 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 extremely perverted character needs? A kids show. Yeah. Where he's the lead. We had the mass kids show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He tries to marry an underage girl, and then they went and made a cartoon where the two of them are hanging out. Yeah. Anyway, I love the cartoon, but if you think about the movie too hard, it falls apart. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Imaran, thank you for the super chat saying this is the toned down version. Yeah, yeah, we saw quite a few people in the uh, chat making is there, that. Is there like documentation of that? Like, is there a video? Yes. Please, if anyone has a link to an interview or an article where they talk about how this needed to be toned down, I want to know the source. I yes. always want sources for this stuff. Yes, we have a content and streams uh, channel. Oh, if, you have a, if you have an interview you could post in there, we'd love to watch it. If it, yeah, you know, tell us the timestamp if we need to stop it. Please. Thank you. Yeah. Del Kess, thank you for the super chat, welcoming us to Shadowbringers, saying this is the toned down version, by the way. We wanted mm -hmm. to keep it T. Yeah. Blazing Angel, thanks again for that generous super chat we read earlier. Logan, celebrating five months, saying this is the toned down version and welcoming us. Konogami just said Ed word. <laughs> Konogami, can I send you a refund so I can cuss you out for <laughs> making me think about that scene? Is that something I'm allowed to do? Wait, 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 wait. What's the scene? What are we talking about? What are we talking the, about? The freaking, the, the saddest homunculus ever in... Oh, oh, right, right. Did they redo that in the in the, in the new oh, one? It, well, I haven't seen the original, but it's the girl and the dog. Yeah, yeah, I've seen... Oh, I've only seen the original. I haven't seen the uh, redo. One. It's the saddest it's, thing It's I've probably ever, worse. It's probably worse than the redo. the saddest thing. Oh, sorry, Kamira. Uh, it's been years since I watched it. I don't remember proper terminology. Um, but you, uh, you should watch Brotherhood. It's it's great. But I know it's very good. Plus, they skipped the bird no, part. They but there's the no part. filler, and the animation's better. Yeah, true, true. I just saw the yeah. original too many times. It was on uh, what you call it? Adult, Adult swim. swim over and over yeah. again. Yeah, I skipped it. I thought it looked dumb when I was a kid, and I was so wrong because when I finally watched Brotherhood, holy shit, it is one of my favorite anime. Uh, D Bellboy super chatted her OG pr transform was scrapped. We're getting that echo here. Mm. I want, I want the source. Yeah, I want the source. I want the source. We're excited. Michael, thank you for the generous super chat welcoming us to Shadowbringers. Thank you, Echa, thank you. Thank you for the welcome. Uh, said part two hits you in the fields with a folding chair. <laughs> with a folding chair. Give him the chair. Aura welcomed us and said, "Fun fact: This was actually originally uncensored." And the cocoon was not there. Hey, could you see the original version? Is oh, that up to see? Oh, interesting. The cocoon like covered up even more grotesque transformation. 
It's we're all oh, okay. Then we definitely need to see this. Yeah, we definitely need to see this. We need to work this into our video for this when mm, we do it. Yeah, our next movie night. Yeah. Please link us in the Discord. Uh, Halloween's Please coming up. We'll have a Halloween movie night. Uh, let's see. I was thinking we'd just watch it and work it into our video. Because I don't want to put out a video before seeing it. Um, buka, 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 buka. KMCA. Thank you for the super chat. Said, remember, this is rated PG-13 so kids can watch Test Die in Full HD. <laughs> yep. E-Rock Baby. Thanks for the super chat. Square Enix, remember when we made horror games? Lots of fans know. Square Enix, yes, you do. Yes, you do. And here's a reminder. <laughs> Interesting. What horror games what? did Square Enix publish? Uh, let's see. Square, maybe Soft? That would have been back in the day. Uh, Parasite Eve and Parasite Eve 2. I'm not familiar with those. Off. Look like they were PlayStation 1 titles. Hmm. They're, oh, they they did back in October of 2019 on the official Square Enix website. They had a blog post called Five Spooky Square Enix Games to Play This Halloween. Okay. That includes Tokyo Dark, Murdered Soul Suspect. I have heard of that game. Just Cause 4 for some reason. What? Sleeping Dogs Definitive Edition Nightmare in North Pole. Oh, I haven't played. Oh, I love Sleeping Dogs. I didn't play this add on. I need to do that. Tomb Raider? There's, there's none of the original Square games are on here. Uh, uh, Tomb Raider, I guess, had some spooky parts. Well, this is funny because they sold off all these freaking yeah. studios. Please make another Sleeping Dogs for the love of God. It's one of the best action games ever made. Have you played Sleeping Dogs? No, no. Dude, I know how much you like Kung Fu movies. You need to play Sleeping Dogs. Yeah? Yes. It's old now, but God damn it. It's the best combat to ever be in a GTA game. I remember looking at the trailer and it reminded me of the the video game with the guy with the husky. <laughs> what are you even talking about? <laughs> On Xbox, about? he was a cop, he had a husky. You did like quick time events with a husky. You went into a strip uh, club and my dad walked in, so I turned off the game and never played it again. I have no idea what you're talking about. There's no dog in Sleeping Dog, so I don't know why this reminds you of anything with the dog of game that I've never heard of. There's no dog. Then why did, the dog did, sleeping? Did you just think it had a dog? Dead to rights. Dead to rights. Dead Thank to you. Rights? Dead to rights. Oh. Dead to rights. There's a strip the of your show dog. Got it. So you turned it. Did you not play GTA? I played GTA. What, what, what number? What number? Any of them. They all had strip clubs. Oh. No, I mean, you like, did you go into strip club? I don't know. Actually, I don't know if three did. Anyway. I, the three was the main one I played. Lord knows it had enough prostitutes running around just randomly. I like, uh, let, yeah, I love the idea of your dad coming in and be like, are you running over people and doing mass murder? That's totally fine. <laughs> well, in a strip club, you're grounded for a month, mister. Well, I mean, uh, GTA 3 was a disc that was passed around my school and we all had, you know, we knew it was secret. This was a game I rented mm. from the grocery store, Dead to Rights, and my dad walked in mm. and was like, are you winning, son? And I was like, oh, no. Uh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, where did we leave off? on the list? The super chat that said at launch, all I can recall of the Tesling moment was periodically in zone chat. You would just see Jesus Christ posted <laughs> in the chat and everyone knew why. It's like the people late game farming, like looking for nodes or something <laughs> like that. And they're like, mm, there goes another one. <laughs> Welcome to Shadowbringers. Followed up by a lot of people typing first time. Yeah, very first time, first time. <laughs> D-Man, thanks for the super chat that just says hashtag trauma bringers. Yeah, yeah. I can see that. Mox Opal, uh, thank you for the Gemma super chat that welcomed us and said the uh, that is actually the censored version of that cutscene. Yep. Need to see the uncensored version mm -hmm. now. Allie, thanks for the super chat. Welcome to Shadowbringers. Alice, let's play. No. Happy to have her back. It's good to be back with Alice. Defuncted Rebel super chat. Does it make sense that Daykoth likes Tesseline now? Oh, God. <laughs> It was a spoiler. Oh my God, he got it away. Was. He can't get keep getting away with it. Just, oh my God. Oh, you monster! Literally. Vora Abaddon, thanks for the super chat. That said, A, this is a moment I stopped being a fan of Final Fantasy XIV and became an addict. B, fourteen, which uh, Yoshi P is. Oh, sorry, fifteen, 
which Yoshi P wait, 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 wait five six six team. There you go. I'm gonna get this right. Which Yoshi P is producing has a mature rating. Dear God, what horror awaits? Ooh, I didn't realize it was rated mature. Interesting. I'd be interested to see that. I'm looking forward to sixteen. I'm gonna play. Yeah, I'm gonna well, play. Of course. Of course. Omega Gilgamesh, thank you for the super chat. I'm just going to throw this out there. Hospice workers deserve the same level of praise as first responders and soldiers. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. The carers here. Yeah. Same amount of praise as our... Which I uh, guess carer Chirurgians. would be a... Yes, I, I didn't really get it until the end, but carer is, a, is this world's Chirurgian. Yeah. Well, it's a different job, right? Like, they're, they're literally, like, guards in this case, too. Yeah. Yeah. Ghost Drac, thanks for the super chat. Tesslene dies saving Halric. Need to have given all that he has remaining. Garrett and Kyle kill Halric with fire. If they wanted me to listen, if they wanted me to feel sympathetic for that kid, they needed to animate that kid to look cuter. That kid looks has a thousand yard death Satan stare. Yeah. Well They also literally gave the kid horns because Auras have horns, but yeah. I, he, I mean it depends. It's all in the eyes. There's nothing in those eyes. Maybe it, it, it depends. We could we could save him still. Like that might be more the the vein that that was conveying. Like we could still pull it off with Alize in tow. We can save this world and the kid. Well, if he's in a vegetative state, they should have made him in a cuter vegetative vegetative state. Vegetable wasn't cute enough. <laughs> Gabu was cute enough. Gabu Halric looks like an exorcist child. Man. Yeah, I would. Yes, but, I would die for Gabu because Gabu's cute. But he was a monster. Like he was the red herring, right? Like, and that's. And and you that's could, true. I also have a I have a predisposition for cute little things, and I think most kids are creepy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Garrett wants to kill. No, no, this is not. Gabu is successful because Gabu is cute. Uh, uh, Halric is not successful because Halric just looks like. Yeah. Oh, um, again, Damien, Omen Child. Elvin, thank you for the super chat. Said so Garrett already has a PowerPoint on the top fifteen reasons why Halric should die, and we are, and we are the Dark Souls. I believe thy doth protest too much. <laughs> that was sent a while ago, but it's extremely. Uh, it, it works very well for what we're talking about right now. Yak de Culture decided to break from the trend and welcome us to Brazil. Very well. What is happening in Brazil? Garrett wants to kill snakes. I have saved snakes. Didn't you watch our video where I saved a snake? <sighs> now I am protesting too much. Kiyoshi uh, said the last bit of consciousness before the light fully take over was one of the heartbreaking parts of the scene. Welcome to Shadowbringers. Yeah. Uh... Yeah. Yeah. But that's the that's the zombie horror kind of thing, right? Yeah. The the sacrifice of it. Yeah. As well. Calzone said Alize revenge arc commencing. Hell yeah. 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 Seth and all said Ishikawa loves hurting us, apparently. Well, and that and that's not fair. Like, uh, it's, it's a little unfair to Alize, right? Like, she finds all this resolve. She feels like she can do it. She's finally in a position where she has an impact. And then they're like, and here's another thing you can't save, Alize. Back into your chamber. It's not fair. Not fair to Alize. <laughs> but it's a good it's it's a good storyline. Hmm. Uh, Creed, thanks for the super chat. This is what happens when the writers decide to not slow burn the opening Stormblood style. I mean, mm -hmm. they still explained money and made us do a, a food quest, they but did, yeah. yeah, it got there a lot faster. If this was Stormblood, we would have had like six more explainer quests where we run around the whole town and talk to like every individual townsperson. And there would be one old guy that we have to talk to seven times that just doesn't want to fight and yell at us. What's that mean with Mr. Incredible, like sitting there normally and then sitting there in the shadows? Like that, oh. <laughs> that's people who do Alphano's storyline then people who do Alizé's storyline. <laughs> people who know and people who don't know. <laughs> Like everyone's on Reddit, like logging and like, oh, I'm loving Shadowbringer. It's such a great day, you know. I'm kind of getting involved, you know. The politics is kind of interesting, and everyone who did as they first is just like, oh. I hate everything. Oh, I mean, we haven't seen Alphano's introduction, right? Something ho more horrible could happen there, for all we know. Could be, could be. But knowing Alphano, the, the hedonist Makotes could could have some dark turn. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Jubo super chatted. Alice is basically your niece. I'm assuming this came in back when people were like talking about a romantic candle to dinner, and I took issue with that. Sure. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah no, 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 this is a different 
it's your your like brothers in arms for lack of a better term uh your war buddies you've been through hell and back you've been in the trenches together that's the type of relationship we have with lsa at this point and i got yagiri you know i'm not gonna upset yagiri whatever you would you would romance at L you would absolutely be romancing yagiri you're not gonna you're not gonna walk that back we know it we know kyle we know yeah absolutely we know, absolutely. We know who your tally is Slice of Jay said, welcome to Shadowbringers and also equally appropriate. Happy October 3rd. Don't forget. Oh, that's right. Today is October 3rd. Don't forget. 3rd of October, Kyle. What? What's the 3rd of October? Full Metal Alchemist. That's what's inscribed in the stopwatch. Oh. <laughs> or not stopwatch. It's uh, a I, watch, I but, see. Yeah. I see. I didn't, I didn't realize we were doing it on the day. Yeah, apparently. Tommy Springfield. Thank you for the super chat. So she's 16, but it's been here years. She's 17, but her body didn't come. So she's 17 in Sprite and her body is 16. Oh, you're right. You'd be aging mentally, but not physically. Maybe. Who knows? We don't. Yeah, we Well, no, the, the crystal Exarch hasn't aged. Because they mentioned that. But, but, but the crystal has. Yes. Yeah, starting to take over his body right right but he well then oh yeah so uh if, if everybody stays here too long so there could be a storyline where orianje is like i'm staying here because this world still needs me when it's all over and then you're like oh uh, beware of the crystal orianje don't hang out too long again that the entire point of that line of dialogue was to tell us not to think about it too hard yeah yeah it's true it's true yeah yeah it's just setting up how long our friends have been on this world mctimmington the third Love that name, by the way. Man, the time jump was amazing. How was see, meeting 35-year-old Ali? What? <laughs> this isn't uh, Dragon Flight, which also isn't even that big of a time jump, so I don't know why they're making a big deal of it. <laughs> How Buzz. long is it? Okay, you know what? We'll talk about Dragon Flight another time. We'll talk about Five or seven years or something. I don't know. It's an amount of time where you go, why even bother? Hmm. Yeah. Boz super chatted, no illusion, no metaphor, just an effing George Romero transfer. Yeah. 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 Yep. That looks like straight up the, the creep show zombie coming out of the ground. That's what that looked like yep, to me. Yeah, the thing ejecting your face, whatever. Like, mm. yeah, very much the... <laughs> Big Timmy the third followed that up with looking forward to your wall of battle music and zone musics. We'll probably do that eventually. Yeah. It'll be like a, a one more current uh, project. Right, because we'd, we'd need footage to match the music, there's, and it'd be an undertaking. There's too, there's too much music to go through at this point. It would delay us too too much. Yeah, our, it'd be much easier to do, video. like, all the battle Oops. music, all the boss themes, like, do it when we're done. Yeah. Zervon, thanks for the generous super chat. Well, this expansion isn't dark at all. This is the darkest thing I've ever seen bathed in so much light and angels. Yes, and that's the fun of it, right? Is they took a, yes. a normal, a thing that happens a lot in fantasy, darkness and evil corrupting, and they took the light and put it to extreme and cranked it to 11. It's a yep. it's a fresh new idea. They did what, what Star Wars hasn't done, which is show me what happens when the Jedi are the bad guys. <laughs> well, I, I think the prequels were kind of in that camp. You know, when you couldn't like In love. the most boring way possible. Yeah, in the most boring. Yeah, yeah, politics. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Like they're bad bureaucrats are like, the, <laughs> it's like, oh no, you can't love. Except for Obi-Wan loving his way across the galaxy. Yeah, and then, you know, Qui-Gon was like, I don't give a shit. Yeah. Just implied. It's just... <laughs> uh, the jungle. Thanks for being a member for three months. Uh, want fun, funny kobolds? Here you go. Now, how about some horrible sadness you gotta build it up it's how you do it you know yep. that's why we had to have a little hopeful dinner there and a nice little candlelit you know conversation even you though the need, candles were useless you need the happiness to make you realize how horrible the sadness is yeah you need it you need, also we needed to care about Desline. that's true Silvernode said uh, there is an official doc covering the making of Shadowbringers directly from Square Enix by the way oh oh cool Okay, well, we'll have to, cool. that, that's probably a ways out that we get to watch. Why are we talking about KOTOR 2? I don't, oh, because... Oh, oh, probably Bad Jedi, I guess. Yeah, KOTOR explored a lot more of that. Um, mm. I played through as a Grey Jedi, and they didn't give me any prestige classes, so I had to restart the whole game because they didn't have Grey <laughs> Jedis figured out for it. I'm, I'm sorry, I have not seen Chaos Squall's copy pasta for joining the spoiler channel, and I just want to give it a round of applause. <laughs> well done, Chaos. 
can't contain yourselves getting sniped left and right join the discord we have an ongoing st stream spoiler chat i love this that's yep. fantastic what a fantastic copy pasta we will not be reading it it's all yours be kind to our mods yep i did end up on there accidentally because every once in a while i'll uh search my name to see if i missed any mentions because mm. sometimes i get notifications while we're streaming and then i go in and i check it and then i'm like i'll come back to this and then i lose it because it's discord and chat fills up i have made it in there on accident a few times but yeah, yeah. But we can't stop ourselves from having access to it feel free to mention me in the spoiler discord just don't put it on the same line as a major spoiler please or Thank misspell you. garrett when you're in there yes do one t <laughs> you can do that i hate it when people spell my name with one t but this time you can You'll use never it as a force it. for good yeah yeah yeah. Elvin super chatted that uh, friendly reminder that Daykoth is on ban alert. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Winkle, thanks for the super chat. Welcome to Parasite Eve. There is no original uncentered version of the sea. It was only said that they had to tone it down during development meeting. Uh, yeah. Well, I want to see what's in the cocoon. That'd be, it'd be interesting to see, but, you know, I totally get it. Yeah. Uh, there is, uh, oh, I can't read this because it's in another language. Yeah, I don't know this one. Let's see if, uh, you know, it could be amusing to run this through a translator. Let's see what it says. Let's see what happens. Let's see. According to this, it's two legs anime skull. Okay. Let me know if that's a vaguely accurate, uh, translation. Uh, thank you, Anime Skull. It says there is making of Shadowbringers on the official channel, which shows some sketches of the scene, but it spoils a bit up to 5.3. Yeah, ah, yeah we'll save that, that for warning. much, much later. Yeah. Johnny, be quick. Candlestick, your name's amazing. And uh, thank you for the super chat. Remember when the game had too much cuteness? Now y'all asking for more cuteness. Just I'm just asking for make the make me care about the kid through a cute face as opposed to. Yeah. I've said my piece. Mm. Said my piece. Mm -hmm. I will not be moved on this. Unknown character, thanks for the super chat. Reliving the MSQ with both of you made me realize how much they put into the lore and plot while presenting it in a, at a very good. I mean, yeah, this is all right. This is leagues beyond uh, the start of Stormblood in terms of quality pacing. No, and I, I stand by our choice too because I like. Uh, again, like I have to care. Like I need to see some action before I go. Now wait a minute. What does this mean? And now I'm excited to see Alphino's bit because. Hopefully it'll get into more of particularly the the there's like faction warfare kind of going on. People aren't, you know, taking care of the refugees and possibly not in league with the Crystarium here. Mm. Maybe angry at it as a new city yeah. on the block. Yeah. Oh, and uh, we're being told that's correct. It's bipedal anime skull. So two leg ah. anime skull is pretty damn close. Okay, no. Well, anime skull. well then Google. Arjun I super assume? chatted. Yeah, I plugged into Google. Argent super chatted Garrett uh, spelled with one T. I don't know who that is. Uh, if you liked the storytelling of the Dark Knight quest line, then you'll love the rest of Shadowbringers. The head writer of this expansion was all done by the same writer, Ishikawa. Yes, well, I am aware. Yeah. I've been told that a few times. Thank you for the super chat. Replays celebrating five months. Replays. Thanks for being with us for so long. So glad I could catch part of the stream. How's it going, boys? Fun fact: They studied how constant light impacted plants IRL for the coloring on the first. Kyle, you had a question nice. about yeah constant light on plants. Yeah, I was worried that uh you know they wouldn't grow, but I guess you can supply them artificial shadow. But up in the garden there, over in the crustarium, uh they're just out in the on the sun. But maybe they put up little mm. tents every night. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Daykoth. Thank you for the super sticker. <laughs> the sweaty, sweaty sticker. A sweaty, Your... sweaty sticker. Yeah. Well, that's a hell of a ride. Yeah. What, what are you typing? Yeah, where are you, where are you? Um, the fashionista is uh, saying that they couldn't figure out how to download YouTube clips because they wanted to feature us. Oh, neat. To which I'm replying, what if what if someone sent you a clip? Oh, <laughs> sure. That would work. We, we do happen to have all these clicks. Clips? Excuse me, I was reading the word clicks at the same time I said it. Well then, I will go ahead. And we'll get to messaging while we press this button and names zoom by. All right. So what we're going to be doing is uh, Thursday, we'll be back here. 
We'll be back doing some MSQ Thursday. I'm going to get that up this afternoon. You all can be sure to follow it, set your alerts and whatnot. So 5 p.m. Thursday, we'll have at Alphano's part as we continue our adventure in Shadowbringers. Thursdays won't always be MSQ. Of course, we'll let you guys know. They'll be the... Fo follow well, the this Discord. Thursday will be. Yep, so follow the Discord. Join the Discord. Take a look at that. Uh, that's the best way to see the announcements as stuff goes off. Of course, subscribe to the channel. Uh, excellent way to keep track of everything we do. Wednesday's new video. Uh, this week will be the Shadowbringers cinematic reaction that we recorded offline. So you may have seen our live one, but we do a little bit of a deep dive of our own design and it was awesome having you all here today thank you everybody who joined and hung out and celebrated and then uh but co-traumatized alongside us we appreciate you <laughs> appreciate you joining yeah this is uh this is my this is definitely the most eventful start to yeah. an expansion yet yeah good sell good sell yeah Hey, Lloyd, thanks for the super chat on our way out. Said they did put up a talk about how they made the test lean scene at PAX 2019. It's also where Ishikawa got a standing ovation and cried tears of joy. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. I'd be really interested to hear her story. I don't look her up because I, it might have, you know, my, and when she was writing Endwalker and she, <laughs> she like wrote something <laughs> random and you're like, oh, okay, okay. So, but someday I'd love to hear her story and kind of get yeah. into the, the team and the background. Watch all those yeah. soaking videos I keep being sent. <laughs> All right. We'll see you. Well, thanks again, everybody. Yep. We'll see you Thursday. Bye, everybody. GG.